Guild Wars 2 is dead. Confirmed. <laughs> it's over. Guild Wars 3 is taken over, gamers. I am no longer Guild Wars 2 streamer. I am a Guild Wars 3 streamer, guys. You heard it here first. This game is over. This game is dead. And it feels good. Yeah, Trigger's here. Guild Wars 3 developer Trig. Guild Wars 3 leader Trig, actually. I don't know if you guys knew that. I knew that, though. Guild Wars 3 leader. Feels good. 
We're in business. Here we are. I've got some grapes too, guys. Get, um, you guys are getting some, like, grape-eating ASMR stream, you know? Let's go. Nice. Very good. We're good, yeah. Grapes are pretty good. Yeah, grape is S tier, yeah. For sure. Hmm. What's first, Alliances or Guild Wars 3? The funny part about that is, is that it might unironically be Guild Wars 3 at this point. Yeah. Very good. Um, Guild Wars 3 Omega lol. Yeah, I will admit this, guys. I didn't see this one coming. So yeah, thanks to the, uh, the Twitch Prime. Because to be honest, I, <laughs> I'm going to give you my honest take, guys. To me, this actually does absolutely reek of corporate meddling. This really smells to me like NCSoft is like, you will make a new game and you will enjoy it. Um, I think it's a very risky move. And I'm not really sure if it makes that much sense. But yeah. NC's off saving us once again? I wouldn't be so sure about that. Yeah, it is an insane risk. And to be honest, if I was ANET, I would be very pissed off that NC basically leaked this. Because this is bad news for Guild Wars 2 right now. Or not great news, anyway. I mean, the game's a... Game's a while off, obviously, but, um... This is not good. Like, no proper announcement for this. It basically gets leaked in a goddamn shareholders meeting. That's not what you want, right? It's really, really not good. Has it always been Guild Wars 3? Well, it certainly appears to be the case now, yeah. Yeah, Aina are probably not having fun right now, especially at the marketing team, and Grouch has probably got a goddamn headache. Uh, not very, very annoying to deal with them. Yeah, it's it's very, very annoying, I think, for um, Arena to deal with this. Yeah. Um, Unreal 5 is a good call, yeah. It's a good engine. Hmm. Superior fruit raisins? Well, I don't have any raisins, but raisins are pretty good. Hmm. Yo, Sergeant Alex. That's the prime, man. Let's go. It's not April yet. Why is it titled Guild Wars 3? Because it's actually not an April Fool's, April, um, April Fool's joke. Hmm. <clears throat> Nike will save every mistake they made with God-tier community management skills. That is true, actually. Everyone is fixated on the second biggest news of the day. Yeah, the first biggest news of the day, guys. <laughs> that N Nike is the community manager for Guild Wars 2. Yep. Hmm. Pretty interesting stuff. I'm having the dilemma of spending more time on Guild Wars 2. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the um, the issue with announcing your sequel like five years before it comes out, right? That's it, It's not good. A real pain in the ass for, um, uh, for Aina. But it is what it is. <laughs> the, the best part about, about this thread is it's actually baiting people. Some people think this is real. <laughs> the onion farmer is here to stay from Zojagar. 
Poor guy, you couldn't pay me enough to be the community manager for a game. I wish him the best of luck with it. Certainly isn't an easy job. <laughs> Grats for him. Like someone that has been a critic about the game, now is a part of the dev team. <laughs> like Congrats to Nike. Did Ruby move on for Arena? Or is she doing something else with the company? Like, what the fuck is this shit, man? Why? I don't. How do people. Th I don't understand. Oh my god. That's crazy. That is actually crazy. Yeah. You have been permanently banned from participating in r slash Guild Wars 2. Nice. Scales has been perma banned. It's over. Yeah. I don't know when they mention they're working on something in Unreal. They've been recruiting Unreal devs for quite a while now, actually. So it's been in the works for probably a while. But bear in mind, guys, that like, making an MMO is is over a five year job. Realistically, it's like you, you're going to be going for like six, seven years. Uh, realistically, on that. That's the situation. But yeah, no, guys, it's, guys, this is not a joke. Like, the Guild Wars 3 stuff, I think it's incredibly funny that it's happening at around the same time as um, April 1st, but it's actually not a joke. It's not a meme, guys. Uh, no, it, it's real. Um, like, I, I can't even believe this. I, this is honestly insane. Uh, here's the TLDR, guys, for everyone just kind of showing up now. It got leaked in an NCSoft sharehold, uh, shareholder meeting. I'm not even joking. That's literally what happened. Someone just randomly leaked it in uh, in a shareholder meeting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Who we get the game within three years? I very. Um, phew, yeesh. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I would, three years is probably soon, um, to be honest. Like, it, it's going to be a big project. It's going to be a lot more than that, I think. I think five years, realistically, is probably the kind of ballpark I'd be guessing with. Like, five years uh, for something like this. Yeah. Three is very, uh, very ambitious. And it might be more than five. Like, you know, I, it, it, games take a long time to make. It's a long, long time. It works in 2019 on it, maybe not six years away um, anymore. Yeah, um, but the thing is, I think that game dev is, it's its a long process. And they probably weren't working on it like full force the entire time. They might be shifting to that more now, but we'll see, I guess. Yeah. We'll see. Guild Wars 3 at AOC first. O honestly, probably Guild Wars 3. I feel like Ashes is, it's kind of in the development hell zone, I would say. Did they cancel the Riot MMO? Um, no, it's just been uh, re... It's back to the drawing board, basically, uh, on the Riot MMO. Yeah. Who won't buy that much from the gem store now? Uh, I mean, that's probably a concern, yeah. Like, um, guys, and this is not me. I'm not here to doomsay or anything. Um, you guys know Deroy, right? Deroy, one of the most loyal Guild Wars 2 players. And I actually recall this. You could, someone could find this clip on Tea Time, I would say. Um, we were chatting with, um, with Deroy, and I think it was the topic of Guild Wars 3 that actually came up. And he said, Guild Wars 3 is the only thing that would make me quit Guild Wars 2. Right? And not in a negative way, by the way. He wasn't, like, flaming the game or anything. It was very much like, you know, I like to be working on the most modern part of the game. I like to be working on, you know, the modern release, right? Like the, you know, the most up-to-date version. And if I know that the game that I'm playing is going to be replaced, then I don't, you know, I, I lose my motivation, right? I lose the motivation to play. That's a concern, right? Um, you know, in all seriousness, this is a major inconvenience for ArenaNet because I think a lot of players kind of think about games in a somewhat similar way to that. Like, people are not going to be happy that they're potentially spending money on a game that is essentially going to be replaced, right, um, down the line. It's going to, you know, all of the progress you make may not actually count for anything uh, in the next version of the game, right? Which could be an issue.
Yeah. Like, what are you even playing for then? I've no, I'm not everyone feels that way, but I know some people do. Right? It is what it is. Uncertainty is probably the biggest problem right now. Yeah. You know, it is, it is such an arena NC classic, guys. Can you believe this? Brand new MMO, Guild Wars 3. People like Guild Wars 2. It's a good game. And how... How does it how does it get announced? Leaked in a shareholder meeting. Like you really can't make this shit up. Like ArenaNet really is cursed when it comes to any kind of marketing and dealing with the media. Um, absolute goddamn disaster, uh, to be honest with you. An absolute disaster. Onions, tomato, pickles, lettuce, cheese, sometimes bacon, sometimes fried eggs, sometimes sauce of some kind. I mean, Roy is trying to front for the fact that he just asks for extra onions every single time. Extra crispy onions. And nothing else. And I know that's true as well, guys. I've seen I've seen the videos. He used to post them. This is actually very weird, guys. Like, back when Roy didn't work for Anet, he would actually post weekly a video of him just absolutely covering himself in grease and slurping down onion rings. And onion ring sandwiches. It was just like two slices of bread full of onion rings. And he'd just, seriously, he'd film himself and post that in my Discord. Just absolutely just slurping down these onion rings. Covering himself in grease. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Uh, they fucked it with Guild Wars 2, don't you see if they fixed this for Guild Wars 3? I mean, honestly, from my perspective, fuck yeah, let's go. I'm down. Uh, I am a little bit concerned for... Arena net though, okay? I know it's not, you know, I, I'm kind of simping for a corporation here, but I do not think this is good news for the... I don't think this is good news for, for Guild Wars 2 overall, to be honest. If it was, like, announced properly with their plans and stuff like that, that would be really cool. But what's actually... I'll tell you what is kind of interesting here, actually. This potentially could force the hand of Arena and NC. They might actually have to communicate a little bit more. Oh yeah, NC fucked Anet big time with this. And honestly, that sucks. That really does suck for them. Um, but yeah. Not good. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely very interested to see if it's going to force the hand of the companies to actually say something now. Um, and, and also, I, I think what's going to be very interesting is, like, what is Guild Wars 3? There's been some conversation about this, and I, I think it's interesting. Like, is it going to be, like, a PoE thing or an Overwatch thing where they're going to basically... The, the game will carry over in some sense. That will be a very interesting approach for an MMO. And I wouldn't put it um, past Ain't It to attempt something like that. So, in other words all of your progress carries over and some of the systems carry over as much as they possibly can, but it's still a new game, like, you know, new combat, new systems and stuff like that, but they try to carry over your progress as much as possible. That would be a very interesting and novel approach, I think, for an MMO sequel. And I feel like Anet would maybe attempt something like that. Difficult to do, obviously, um, but somewhat feasible in some way. Legendary Army carry over, here's a really big problem. Um, do you know a really big problem, guys? That is really scary. Imagine launching your new MMO and your player base has already done a huge amount of the progression. Yeesh. That is not good. Um, that is not, 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 not good. Uh, if, um, if that happens. So, yeah, they'd probably have to limit it to kind of cosmetic stuff uh, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it, it might have to be a back to level one angle. And they can probably do some Hall of Monuments, but let's be honest, Hall of Monuments is a bit, you know, no one cares. If they full reset, I'll just uh, stick to WoW. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I think, you know, maybe, yeah. Um, it's it's tricky. This is getting real, real tricky now, in my opinion, for, uh, for Anet. Not good. And also, look, now is a good time, guys, to tell you all the reasons why I really think that Guild Wars 3 didn't make sense and probably still doesn't. Um, they now have to erase 10 years of content, 10 years of the sunk cost fallacy, right? And 10 years of players playing a game that they really like.
to replace it with a new one. That is an unhinged risk. That is not just rolling the dice, right? That's that's like rolling 10 d20s and hoping all of them come up 20, right? Like this is crazy risk in my opinion. Like there's a reason why I said Guild Wars 3 makes no sense and I very much doubt it's Guild Wars 3. Um because it doesn't make sense. It really really doesn't make sense that they're doing this. And again, I hate to say it, it does to me, and again, I want to be very clear because, you know, media is important, guys, and fake news is important. I want to be very clear that this is my speculation. I am... This... It, it smells of corporate meddling, I'm not going to lie. I, I I do not think that... It, that... <sighs> I, I don't think ArenaNet would make this decision on their own, to be honest. I, I don't think it really makes a lot of sense from... Uh, a company perspective, from a readiness perspective, it might make sense from a shareholder perspective, but I don't know about this one, to be honest. Um, yeah. Yeah. Do you think any to make a statement ASAP or is it better to say nothing? Um, seeing as the media is all over this, I think they probably have to um, uh, do something at this point. Uh, although there's probably going to be some very angry phone calls going on about now. I would be pissed if I was a reader. I'd be fucking furious, to be honest. Um, uh, right now, I would not be happy. Um, so they'll probably have to do something, uh, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Ba Look, I'm not banning you, Mr. Mirror. How about that even NC doesn't like Guild Wars 2? Dude, NCSoft is ambivalent. They like money. They don't care. Um, like, oh my god. Dude, I, you know, I should ban you, shouldn't I? I really should. Oh, fucking hell. I'm logging to my Zero to Hero. Uh, hey, winners out there. Since the 14 month Prime resub. Everyone subscribe now, guys. One sub, um, you know, one sub activates Guild Wars 3 one month earlier. Let's go. Let's go. All right, I'm going Zero to Hero, actually. I'm just going to farm some gold on Zero to Hero account while we wait. Let's go. What is the worst scenario? If the rumors are true or if they're false? Um, to be honest, I mean, look, you know, at the end of the day, Guild Wars 3, it's ex Look, from my perspective, hell yeah, let's go. Wait, I got banned for calling Sneb gay, which we all know is true. This is from YouTube chat, by the way, guys. So, so, so let, let me actually just give you guys the rundown. Someone got permanently banned on Twitch chat for... <laughs> For calling Sneb gay, which he knows is true, and now he's back on YouTube. Okay, I mean, I am able to say, like, what, what was, what, what are we, what are we, what are we talking about here? Okay, like, <laughs> uh, 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 dude, YouTube chat is a weird place. That's all I'm gonna say. YouTube chat is is built different. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Uh, if there's still place in the guild, what's the difference between hippo and a zipper? What is a really heavy animal? <laughs> and the, the, the latter is just a little lighter. Like, what? <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good, actually. All right, okay, fine. I'll invite you. That's, uh, you're in. You are in. There we go. Anyway, Edgy Meme Bear, Tier 1, very nice. Could be a Guild Wars 2 remake relaunch with skins and gem swaps carrying over and get legendary items carrying over like six months after launch. Um, yeah, and they could do that, but is that good? I mean, all of that effort, like remaking the entire game... I mean, it should make them, it should allow them to make content a little bit easier, I guess. Like, if they go that direction, right, and they're able to, you know, they can maybe make more stuff a little bit easier. But, I mean, I don't know. Is that good? Yeah. I don't know. 
Uh, why I'm being never so good at your points being not when I can bring constructive criticism. Listen, Mr. Mirror, I get that I really pissed you off when I said that yesterday. I want you to know that it's absolutely nothing personal. Uh, I just don't look. It, I, I don't have anything against you personally. If you want to go and like negative circle jerk about Guild Wars 2, that is absolutely fine. Just don't do it here. Um, I, you, know, it, you, you know, it's a free country. You can do whatever you want. Um, but look... Just because I, don't worry, just because I have a negative opinion of what you're doing does not mean that, you know, that in any way affects your self-worth or your value as a human being. It's just that I don't like your behavior, uh, but you don't actually have to care about that. And I'd actually recommend that you don't. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. Yo, Ditsy Brown and Navaril, subs, very good. Welcome back. Ah, oh, here we go. Content begins. Very nice. Just spend more money. Don't you guys have a job? That's true, actually. Buy more microtransactions. Uh, actually, one of the biggest features... Guys, and check this out. I'm very hyped about this. Uh, this already got leaked already, guys. New feature for Guild Wars 3 is actually a gem store referral link for ArenaNet partners. I am really in favor of this. I love Guild Wars 3. Guild Wars 3 hype. Guild Wars 3 hype. Buy the gem store now, guys. Buy Black Lion Keys. Loot box hype. Loot box hype. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> To be clear, that was a joke, okay? Just so everyone's aware on that. Everyone's uh, clued in on that. That was a hilarious joke. Yeah. <laughs> Clipped. Yeah, you're just gonna clip the first part out of context, post that to the <laughs> post that to the subra. I think they're uh, they're gonna enjoy that one. I don't know, 12 years after launch, we'll, uh, we'll try it out. Yeah, I mean, honestly, who knows? Could they do that? Yes. Would it, would it make more sense to make a new game? Probably. Um, I, I think if they're actually committing to it, they should probably do something new. But it also makes absolutely no sense to make a new game as well. Oh, man. Like, oh. Ah. It's Clown Fiesta time, boys. It is absolute, you know, red noses on, custard pies. Here we go. Mighty Teapot and his gremlins should not be in positions of power. Please tell me that is an actual reply to the Reddit thread. Holy shit. That's a god level Reddit thread, if that's the case. Oh my god. It actually is. Mighty Teapot and his gremlins should not be in positions of power, and it's an actual reply to the thread. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> what? Honestly, you know what I like about this? You, you know what I like about this, guys, is that let's actually... No, it's not a joke, actually, Lexa. It's actually not a joke. Let's kind of take a look inside this guy's mind. This guy actually believes that me and kind of my friends are kind of in this really bizarre... Illuminati style position where we manipulate the game like from behind the scenes and he, he views me as like the architect right like I'm I'm in charge of this entire operation this just orchestrating everything that's going on in the game <laughs> I like that that is actually very funny to me very good Very nice. Yeah, this is a good psyop. Dolor Dolo is actually correct here. This is, this is actually a big win for Nike. Like, um, I mean, Nike, how do you feel about this? Obviously, you're going to say that this isn't a psyop and it's actually real, but you've got to be pretty pleased with yourself. This is actually an extremely powerful psyop. This is pretty much the biggest psyop um, since Furnace Taken, I feel like. It's it's a, a massive success. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a big one. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm actually still up top. Nice. Actually melting mines. Pretty much, yeah. It's too much. People are broken. 
broken mentally. They're going for this res. I need to just get in there and cleave some of these down. I want to get over there and apply poison to these down states. Ah, uh, they're rallying. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it's not looking good. We have been crushed. I've got a lot of work to do. Yeah, I get it. I get it. So is Guild Wars 3 true or not? Oh, yeah, no, it actually is. No, Guild Wars 3 is actually real. Unless the shareholder was actually trolling, which could be the case. It's not impossible. It could happen. Incredible. Will Guild Wars 3 include Guild Wars? No. Honestly, I really... Y you know... I really dislike the... There's no Guild Wars in Guild Wars thing so much that I would be willing to sacrifice World vs. World just to spite people who say that. I'll... You know, I, I would be okay with that. Lazy Peon was objectively correct. Dude, Lazy Peon is going to enjoy this. He can make a video about it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, thanks to the uh, two gifted subs. Anonymous. I appreciate it. And also, wait, someone called Guild Wars 3 Hype has just followed. Guild Wars 3 Hype. Guild Wars 3 Hype. Please write Source of River. Yeah, sure. Uh, it's actually not a meme. I will just link the Reddit thread. But yeah, here's the thread. Basically, it got leaked in an NC shareholder meeting. I'm not joking. That's actually what happened. That is the universe we're living in. And you can read it there. You can read the transcript of the meeting. It's I, I believe it's translated from Korean, of course. So, you know, there's, it's probably not exactly how it goes. But, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, there you go. That's the, uh, that's the source. That is the source. Guild Wars 3 hype. And also, desync. Thanks for the uh, Twitch Prime. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Keep subscribing, chat. More subs. Sub goal 1000. I log into the Guild Wars 3 Alpha Omega Secret Totally Real client. Enjoy. And I leak that on stream. <laughs> yeah. Incredible. Oh, wait, Nike's calling. Hang on. I'm picking up the phone. Give me one sec. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I'll call you back. Yo, Nike, what's going on? Oh, hello. We've got a... Uh... A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff happening today. Yeah, big day. Big day. Yeah, it is. A, it is not a big exactly day. Not exactly how I, not exactly how I was planning <laughs> my first week to, uh, to go. On job, but. Okay, real talk. We have to be a little careful. Okay, All right? We got, we got. Go meme it too hard. Okay. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm not gonna like call anybody out. Not, that would, but let's just say, like, obviously, you wouldn't take a job unless you got certain assurances. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm like, I, I, I yeah. would I give up my career to take a job if I wasn't sure that the the company or the game was going to be there in the long haul. Mm, yeah. So. So, uh, what do you what do you think about the? Do you, how do you feel about the fact that, of course, Guild Wars Three gets announced in a shareholder meeting? Like, could it really have gone any other way from Arena? I do think that is typical, right? Like, marketing has never been a strong point of the company. Um, what do, we, what do you think about one thing I how love, this one's gone? Well, what I like most is is that uh, how blunt the the journalists are yeah. in in South Korea, yeah, and how direct the answers that the journalists get to their questions are. Mm. In America, the question would have been completely like subservient, like to the CEO, yeah. And the CEO's answer would have been meaningless spin. So I have to appreciate that their corporate culture, the, the CEOs are treated definitely like, like, uh, 
like servants to the shareholders rather than mm, yeah. you know god emperors of, of <laughs> the stock market <laughs> so at least if nothing else we can take that away from it yeah. but uh yeah yeah i mean obviously that's not ha exactly how and obviously this this ceo's background is not in public relations or marketing yeah. or anything like that he's probably a a finance man and from the looks of him he doesn't seem to know much about like he's probably not a big gamer mm. uh he, I, I doubt he was I he's doubt looking he, at the spreadsheet basically I d yeah i doubt he came up like playing lineage one and like was like the top player in that mm. game and then got promoted to ceo of ncsoft yeah but i'm sure he knows a lot about spreadsheets and fake uh, math you know yeah stock options yeah yeah it's it is interesting actually now i know I, I think I think the really big one is, do you think this forces the hand of NC and ArenaNet to actually say something now? Yeah, we're going to have to say something on Monday, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, you know, that's, I think that's kind of um, how it almost, I guess, kind of works out well for, I guess, people like me, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's uh, more YouTube content for me, guys. And don't worry, we're doing a YouTube video later today, guys. Oh, yes, indeed we are. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, we are, I, I feel like we're almost certainly going to have to hear something because this is an absolute Yeah, they can't just let that linger in off, the air. Right? Yeah, no way. They, they cannot let it linger in the air. Because Guild Wars 2 is a major MMO. Like, meme what you want. It's a major game. It's one of the top MMOs out there. We all know this. So when something like this drops, they have to now talk about it. Because if they don't, it, it's going to cause so much uncertainty and just weirdness that there's going to have to be some kind of comment on this. Um, but, Yeah. Yo, I left you yeah, a super chat on YouTube. Mega fail. Hang on, I'll try and read it. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, go ahead while I go and uh, look at this. I was going to say, the way I would handle it is I would first do like a blog post where like 90% of the blog post would be like hyping something coming for Guild Wars 2, mm. like a major preview or, or, or at least like a major like info. Uh, share yeah. of the next expansion to get people or, or or something to get people like kind of hyped for the future of Guild Wars 2. Yeah. And then at the end, I'd be like, by the way, you may have read, you know, that we're working on Guild Wars 3. And it's like, we can't really, it's too early to talk about things like that. We're still years away from talking about it. But we have a lot of, you know, irons in the fire. And when the time comes, you'll hear more about it. But mm. don't, you know, you, it, it'll be year like stress that it'll be years mm. before you hear anything more. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's going to be a while. I mean, like, I think they, they have been recruiting devs for Unreal for a while, right? Um, and and I believe they were talking about pre-production um, a little while ago. So realistically, it's not even close, right? Um, it, it's not happening anytime soon, which sucks for ArenaNet, by the way, because obviously what they like to do, right, is say, oh yeah, Guild Wars 3 is coming out in like two years time, right? Uh, after a couple more Guild Wars 2 expansions, now they don't really have the luxury or the ability to do that, which I think really sucks. Also, big shout out to Edgy Meme Bear for the 10 gifted subs, Terra Flavor XX for the tier one, Leonardin for the prime, and Robin Williams on YouTube. For the kind words and ten dollars on YouTube, appreciate you, gamers. I it love just you. Creates a uncertainty that uh, it does. Yeah, it's not good. Now, here's what do you think will be ArenaNet's approach to Guild Wars Three? Uh, now, obviously, okay, you so, know, man on the inside, but I mean, like, you know, imagine, well, imagine mean, you're us. I don't know anything right? yet. But... Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know nothing. But like, what do you think the approach yeah. is? Like, are they going to do like? Because actually, you kind of have some experience with this that might be useful here. Because isn't Poe two kind of like? Um, it's kind of joined to the first game, correct? Not, in not some anymore. Sense. Oh, not no. anymore. Okay. They decided to go two separate games okay. because they didn't want to change what Poe one was. Okay. In, in the ways that to make it more like yeah. Poe two, because they realized that Poe two was going to be a very different kind of game. That yeah. PUE one players might not necessarily want to play, sort of like Guild Wars One and Guild Wars Two, mm. um, where they they were like, "Oh yeah, Guild Wars One players might not like this game, so yeah. maybe we shouldn't make it the same game." So, what do you think the plan is there? Uh, do you think they're gonna okay. go new game, some level of joining, no level of joining? Like, what are they? What do you think they're, they're, they're gonna go for? Here's here's my guess: is that microtransactions will be shared between the two games. Okay. We know that they are porting assets to Unreal 5. Like, currently, they are porting Guild Wars 2 assets to Unreal 5. 
uh, I believe, I mean, that's been data mined. And, uh, and my guess is what's going to happen is anything you've bought on the cash shop in Guild Wars 2 will be available in Guild Wars 3. Like, even including convenience items yeah. and stuff. What about the content, though? Because the thing that... The, I, I feel as that all... I would be less. I yeah. would be very. I, I would be much less certain that the content will port over. But yeah. if you bought like a you know a copper fed salvage dramatic, you'll have a copper fed salvage dramatic in Guild Wars mm. Three. Would be most likely the way I would do it, so that people would feel confident spending money on the cash shop now. Yeah, because I think the thing that's really why I never thought Guild Wars Three was going to be a thing, and why I. I... I'd be, I am concerned about it, and I think it doesn't really make that much sense, is because they're walking away from 10 years of progression, people farming legendaries, doing achievements, right, do, or, you know, investing in their characters, right, like playing the game, learning the game mechanics, 10 years of content, 10 years of sunk cost, I mean, man, and they're going to make a product that is competing with their already very well established and highly successful product. That to me is weird, and unbelievably risky so I, I i'm just i don't know how they're going to handle that to be honest like what the plan is going to be there um with this i wouldn't put it past ain't it to do some kind of content carryover but realistically it almost wouldn't make sense because if they do content carryover in a way that means they'd have to not change the game mechanically right but there's no way they don't want to do that they almost certainly want to change the game a little bit right so it plays out differently and they want to they probably want to change gearing they probably want to change all of the kind of overly convoluted systems in the game it seems like, it's going to be very difficult to to do that in any kind of meaningful way that wouldn't be weird. Yeah. They, they'd have to sacrifice unless unless updating the game. It's either going to be Guild Wars 2 2.5, yeah. you know, just or it's going to be a clean, a more yeah. or less clean break. There's yeah. there's really no... The idea that, like, they're going to, like, you know, port all your legendaries over and you're going to yeah, start day no. one Guild Wars 3 with full legendary armories. Yeah. Uh, no, not going to happen. Yeah, that's that just... Would be, it's really dumb. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. I mean, uh, it would be nice if they did that, but it just, you can't release a new game and some of your players have already done all of the progression day one, right? That doesn't make any sense, um, realistically. Yeah. You can't really do that. And the, Part of the reason you do a new game is because you want players that exactly. have never touched the franchise yeah. to come in and, you know, be on level footing with, with other people and, you know, and feel like they're progressing through an MMO together. If there's already people, like, flexing with, like, <laughs> like every title and every weapon it's like these people are just gonna leave they're gonna log out and go yeah yeah and the thing is the the other thing over there is guild wars 2.5 scares me because that just seems like not really that much i guess the advantage would be that um they could maybe make content easier, right? Because we know that well, Guild engine is a bit cursed, right? So Unreal might help them make stuff more and the game will look prettier and maybe run a bit better. I don't believe it for a second uh, but, because, uh, because of this. So you know how when you you make more money, your lifestyle like creeps? Yeah. And all of a sudden you, you still aren't able to save money because like you've mm. got like a slightly better phone, a slightly better yeah. this, a slightly better that. You eat at slightly nicer places more often. And eventually you're like, shit, where'd all my, I just thought I got a raise, where'd all my money go? <laughs> yeah. I think what's going to happen is rather than going, oh, our engine's, you know, 50% more efficient, we can do 50% more content. Mm. What it'll be is that the content they already make will just get 50% more, like, Poly yeah, 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 advanced, yeah, yeah. And you have and the same amount, of like, basically. Yeah. Instead of having, like, Wizard's Tower with good frames per second it'll just be wizard's tower with the same bad frames per second but the map is twice the size mm. yeah I, I think in a lot of ways that's something that happens with modern games right like modern games if anything have got smaller than older games because of this kind of technical creep that happens in a lot of triple i think it happens a lot in triple a games in particular right um where you have you don't really get more content because the game is making more money like you end up with the same amount of content or less um but it looks really pretty and it's really big and it's got lots of triangles in, in lots of pixels on the textures and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Which is funny because, I, I mean, I don't know the business of, you know, MMOs that well. Mm. But I have to assume that the players would, would, if you put that to them, which they would rather have, they would say they'd rather have more content, um, you know, with slightly more dated graphics. But... It seems like that's never how it goes, so there must be a business reason why that isn't yeah. the case. 
Very good. Yeah, it's it's an interesting one. Um, I I I would love. The thing is though, um, do you think ArenaNet would ever actually say how Guild Wars Three is going to work now? Because they must know, right? Like if they're making this and they've been, they've probably been fleshing out for a while now. We know that they've been recruiting Unreal devs for I think like two years, right? Maybe even a little bit more than that. Um, they've been talking about pre-production on an Unreal game uh, based in the Guild Wars 2 IP for a while as well. Um, like, do you I, think they'll actually say like your microtransactions that you've purchased? Yeah, stuff like that. The like, they've thing? got I mean, to know. If, if to that know. is if that is going to happen, yeah. there's no reason not to say it. Right? Yeah. Like, what's the drawback of saying that? Yeah. Like, the only drawback of saying that is if, like, two years from now, they go, shit, we can't do this on a for a technical, on a, for, yeah. you know, for a technical thing that we didn't anticipate. Yeah. That would be really bad. Because if they say it, they have to do it. Otherwise, you know, they'll get sued, probably. Yeah. <laughs> like. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a big question, guys. It is a big question. Um, yeah, uh, it's... From from a content creator perspective, guys, I fucking love this uh, because this is content for me. I like playing new games, and to be honest, I think it, from my perspective and maybe even from the player perspective, this is really exciting because it's basically a company taking an absolutely massive risk. Um, and worst case for us as the players, let me go through the best and worst case scenario, guys. Worst case scenario is Guild Wars Two is DOA. Um, uh, Guild Wars 3, rather, is DOA. It completely flops. A little bit like RuneScape 3 did. Uh, kind of. Well, oh, um, even worse. Yeah. It, it, it kills Guild Wars 2 Yeah, I guess early. that could be bad, yeah. It, so, worst case scenario is it kills Guild Wars 2 mm. early. And everyone's like, well, Guild Wars 2 is now, like, actually genuinely dead. But yeah. at least we have Guild Wars 3 coming. And then Guild Wars 3 comes, and, and it's it a piece of crap. And it flops. And mm. now there's, like, two dead games. Yeah. That would be the I guess absolute the, yeah, okay, worst yeah. case scenario. I guess that is the true worst case scenario. But best case, but let, let you know, let's just assume that you know Guild Wars Two just keeps going. Worst case scenario, we we basically just have Guild Wars Two and like nothing really changes. Everyone's like, well, Guild Wars Three kind of sucks. We'll just go back to playing Guild Wars Two. But the best case scenario from a player perspective is that Guild Wars Three is actually really exciting and really new and brings some crazy new ideas to the table in the MMO space. And it's really good, right? Like so, from a player perspective, this is really good. I would be very worried, though, from the arena and corporate perspective, to be honest. I think this is an insane risk to take. Um, and this has a lot of potential problems, right? Like, there is a very good reason why there isn't a WoW 2. Um, and why Blizzard didn't make World of Warcraft 2. Uh, it's, yeah, they just did Cataclysm. Exactly. And got rid yeah. of all the pl old players. Yeah, pretty much. Um, like the, the, it, it's because, like, you... Releasing a new MMO is very, very difficult, especially if it's a new MMO for your existing players, basically. It is very scuffed. One thing, too, in WoW's favor is they didn't have, you know, a ton of MTX to worry about. That is true, uh, yeah. The players, you know, the players didn't spend thousands of dollars on MTX that they were now they would now be demanding, where, where is my MTX in the new game? Yeah. So wow, and so I guess by that argument, wow could actually do it easier. I mean, wow than, could do it easier, than... and, and it's interesting. This is almost their kind of strategy, actually. Um, if you look at what wow is doing, they're basically when you pay for the wow sub, you kind of get three versions of the game now. Um, like you get retail, you get the current version of classic, which is Wrath of the Lich King, soon to be Cataclysm, and you also get whatever weird stuff they're doing with vanilla right now with um season of discovery right so blizzard kind of are doing they're not doing wow 2 exactly they're running three of the games in parallel essentially that are for slightly different audiences so it would be interesting if guild wars 2 would take that approach right like they make guild wars 3 a very different oh yeah and hell they're doing fucking plunderstorm now what the hell they're doing a br that's also in your wow sub really weird um, so it will be interesting if, if ArenaNet also take that approach, like they continue to develop Guild Wars 2 like it is right now with kind of the Soto model for players who like Guild Wars 2 and they make Guild Wars 3 radically different and try to, um, you know, they make the game radically different and, and push it in a totally different direction for Guild Wars 3. Uh, could happen. Well, I'm sure on Reddit that Lana Me will post some fanfic ideas mm. of what, what they want yeah. Guild Wars 3 to be. And it'll be great reading. I know how I would do it. Oh my god, it would be so good if I was the if I was the, oh, yeah? the, the, the team lead. If you were, what, if you were the yeah. what do you do? If you were the team lead, 
Well, so I wouldn't call it Guild Wars 3. Okay. I would call it the Guild Wars. Yeah. So it's an evergreen name. Yep. Not no fucking number in the name. That's uh -huh. that's dumb. Okay. Um, I would set it in. It'd be a prequel to Guild Wars One, so it'd be in the actual Guild Wars. Okay. And uh, so there'd be decent PvP uh, in the game, <laughs> you know. Um, but I, it would only have human playable yep. characters. Okay. And the, the 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 it would be like basically like. Uh, pre-searing vibes, sort of, except with like you know a lot of like human infighting, but also a lot of like you know fighting Char, and Char would be the bad guys. Yeah, so no furries would be allowed no to be in the game. Well, I mean, if you want to root for the bad guys, you can do that, but no, no furries, no scalies, mm. no whatever, no whatever Asura fans are, rat raddies. I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. But, I don't know. There's, there, it would, that's how I would do it. I would, I would make it a prequel to Guild Wars 1. Yeah. You can do so much lore stuff as a prequel that, like, fits way better than uh, than doing these, like, Guild Wars 1 callbacks that they do in Guild Wars 2 that don't, that, are, that feel sort of crowbarred in. Like, it was like, it's one thing in, like, when Guild Wars 2 launched, you'd see, like, a ruined statue be like, oh, that was a statue that, you know, wasn't a ruin in Guild Wars 1. That's cool. You know, like a little Easter egg. Like, not even yeah. an Easter egg. That's just, like, you know, proper world building. And But but then, like, it became, like, you know, the way they treated Lazarus wasn't exactly a great callback to Guild Wars 1 lore. But you could do cool stuff as a prequel. Okay. Maybe, like, Gwen's grandma could be, like, a, a major character. Chat, fill me on the Reddit thread. I want to know how people are reacting to this. Are people full of despair right now? How do people feel about Guild Wars 3, chat? Someone read the thread so I don't have to. That's the level of laziness I'm at right now. They've got to be handling it very rationally um, and with a lot of, mm. you know, poise. Yeah. No over overcooked, no over cranked takes. Yeah. How do how are they reacting to uh, the other news, which is arguably the bigger story? True. The new community manager for for Guild Wars Two. Forget the Reddit comments. I bet the most unhinged yeah. comments are on the wooden potatoes video. Ah yes. Why His community is known to be, you know. Peepos. They they seem to be nice and like happy, but like they're like uh, they're like an animal that if you get them into a corner, they get real uh, defensive and, and angry. Nice. Will Guild Wars Three kill WoW? Absolutely not. WoW has seven and a half million subs right now. That game is uh, listen. It's going nowhere. Bobby Kotick couldn't kill WoW, and he yeah. tried. Yeah, and he did try actually. He did, and he failed. A game is immortal. The WoW killer is coming. Yeah. Guild Wars 3 will have 7.6 million subs confirmed. That's true, actually. That is true. Thanks for Edgy Meme Bear gifting. Wait, is Edgy Meme Bear gifting more subs? What the fuck? That's crazy. I can't it's even... hard to imagine a game having that many subs that isn't a Chinese game. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty wild, honestly. I did not expect that. Like, it would... I mean, maybe there's going to be like an indie, like a game from India, like an MMO in India that gets that many subs. But if it, it's hard to imagine a Western MMO. It's all from Belgium. That many subs. Nice. Bro, it's March twenty eighth. It's not April first. It's not April first, guys. It's there's not an April first meme. It's not happening. Yeah. If they bring Guild Wars 2 combat to Guild Wars 3, uh, it will be huge. I mean, maybe, but, but they, I feel like they probably won't want to do that. Um, that's the reality. I think they'll probably change it significantly to make the game easier. I think one of the things that they struggle with the most in Guild Wars 2 is that players are very bad at this game. Um, which is, you know, it's it's not, not ideal. Tab targeting cast bars coming back. If anything, it's going to be more like Guild Wars 1. I can see them the going like uh, halfway... Halfway there, for sure. Yeah. Z-axis, too. 
think we've still got two bosses a year with Guild Wars 3. Oh, I mean, it, it's interesting. It depends. I mean, I don't know. Who knows? Like, we don't know what's going to happen, to be honest, guys. Action combat's the wrong direction. Ah, uh, really? Do you think so? I, I, I think action combat is the right way to go. Because I think it's just, I mean, it's so accessible. I feel it, like action combat limits, is really accessible, to be honest. Yeah, but it, it increases the skill cap so high. It does. So I, I agree. But um, I feel like it lowers the skill floor, though, as well. I think it's like very people-friendly. I mean, I guess if you, if, if you bias it so that auto attacks are, like, basically the best damage and maybe, like, one other skill, okay, then you can do it. Where it's, like, most of your damage comes from auto attacks, but then, like, you do, like, a, you know, like... You do like a debuff and then like to like maybe like a guard break or something and then you like do your big attack when you, you or you like st you, you're doing auto attacks you stun the boss and then you hit him with like your big attack and then you go back to auto attacking like okay then it then it sort of works but if it's like if you have like more button as many or more buttons as we have in guild wars 2 like a full like action system just like, they can't balance the bosses in the game now without multiple difficulty modes, so it would just get worse. Yes. Discussing how they haven't confirmed Guild Wars 3. I mean, they said, like, it's been approved for development, right? I believe, is what they've said. Yeah, I think the that blank was the, check uh, has I, been, yeah, been written. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, let's, let me see. Um... Uh, ArenaNet has a meaningful IP called Guild Wars, and after Guild Wars 2, they are currently working on Guild Wars 3. Looking at this process, we have considerable competitiveness, although it's not completely profitable. I believe it has increased its competitiveness. This is the quote. Um, yeah. I actually had no idea that NC Soft West was completely in the shit, though. And I, I, I guess I did know that, actually, because it was on the financials, right? Like, it was fucking disaster, wasn't it? But, yeah. Like, uh, in this interview, didn't, all, didn't they say that... Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like it's all... that. Like, that, that's all accounting. You know, like NC Soft West is Gil is Anet, and then a bunch, and then like whatever other things they want to add on to the to the to the expenses column. Like, mm. like what other games have they released in the West? Like, I don't know. Like, like if they wanted, they could say that like the development cost of like whatever failed projects that they've had to write off, like all those expenses, they could like take that as like you know, an NC Soft expense. And so it, it's just like moving, moving money around. Like they can say, okay, this company wasn't profitable. It, if you probably, if you look at the big picture, that's all that matters. There you go. Like b both NC softs together. Then you look at whether it's profitable, which it is not. <laughs> so it's used to be that they merged six studios they had into the West into Anet. Yeah, but we don't know what that means. That could be like a studio of like three people, right? Like that, <laughs> what is that? Like which studios, like who are they? Like, did those studios even have employees? Who the fuck knows, right? Like um, with this, it's a, uh, yeah. Yeah, and there's things that we'll never know, like like how much money did they spend on the, hor the Horizon thing yeah. that they True. were apparently working on. Yeah. Or the, I mean, I guess the Dune MMO that they were supposedly working on that now someone else is coming out with. Now, you know, here's here's like a question. Actually. I better go and uh, I better go read the article for YouTube in a moment, actually. Um, but anyway, before I do that, what the, I, I think here's a here's a fun question. Um, where where do you think the decision to do Guild Wars Three came from? Do you think this is an Arena idea or an NC idea? Ooh, <laughs> that's a good question. So, I think that people. Okay, I'm going to I'm inclined to say it's an NC Soft idea because they have experience with doing sequels to their MMOs. Yeah. Like they have pushed, you know, multiple lineages, lineage yeah. but but yet they've not drawn they've not noticed that Lineage 3 did way worse than Lineage 2. So, True. But they're like, uh, "Ah, maybe, it will be maybe, a Lineage 2 situation, right? They're going to go, "Ah, yeah." yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, so it, it, they do. It, they I've, they've gotten mixed results doing it, mm. but yeah, I have to imagine they want they want that. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I but I know I was told before the layoffs even happened that they were working on Guild Wars Three, or at least like planning it. Yeah, I didn't know how far along, but I knew. 
that like when when Mo got laid off and they talked about canceled projects, Guild Wars Three was one of the canceled projects, and that was back in like twenty eighteen or twenty nineteen. Well, there you go. So, but who knows? That could have also been NCSoft saying, you know, work on this. Yes. I'd like to know what Mike O'Brien's thoughts are. I mean, I mean, I mean, we can ask him he, like after he's finished with the bird simulator, right? Yep. Uh, again, I, I know I've mentioned this before, but I want to. But I think the bird simulator, you know, they couldn't find a publisher, mm. but they're still working on it. Yeah. Hoping to find a publisher. <laughs> I know what they're going for. They're going for like the Animal Crossing, you know, Stardew Valley. Mm. The, the people who, the type of the, the demographic of people who play the, that particular game that's who they're going for and I feel like they, they could just go they could have made a dragon simulator and it would have just been infinitely more marketable oh hey Snab thanks man Snab is in the chat Snab simulator We've got a rule. No, no, Benjamin. It's actually not. Dude, I, it's actually really funny. People think this is an April Fool's joke. It's not an April Fool's joke, guys. It actually yeah, is unless, happening. I, I, guess what? Korean businessmen, not known for their sense of humor. <laughs> not, they're not exactly cut-ups who are, who are known for pranks. <laughs> like, that's not their yeah. thing. Yeah. Sneb Simulator would just be Double Dragon, guys. That's what it would be. Double Dragon. Hilarious prank. The goose is loose. Double dragon while wrestling with a snake. Indeed. Well, I like that the the CEO oh, yeah. of NCSoft West. He's like a doctor. He's oh like, shit! Like in, according to the interview, he's like Doctor Soon something. I'm like, what does this guy got his doctorate in? I need to know what this guy's PhD is in, mm. and and why he's. You know, running NC Soft West and not, you yeah. know, pursuing like an academic career. Yeah. What people think the unannounced project was? I mean, I think Guild Wars 3 was probably the last thing that I would think it was. Because it just, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. I was expecting it to be like a, almost like a co-op game or a single player experience that's in the same universe, for sure. And we also know they, we know that there was some, there was a time where they were hiring mobile devs. Yep. That was like, so there was a mobile project at some point, which was definitely one of the canceled projects. Indeed. All right, I'm out of here. Yeah. Peace. See ya. All right, we're out, guys. I think it's about time to read this article, guys. We've got to make it happen. I'm getting out of here. It's time to read the article, boys. It's time for the YouTube video. It's time for the YouTube video, chat. Are you ready for the YouTube video? You better be. Cone. Guild Wars 3 won't actually happen, though. I mean, maybe it will, maybe it won't. On a yearly release? Well, I mean, we'll see. A PhD in AI from MIT. Yo, that's cool, actually. That's actually insane. Yeah. There's already huge spice. Wait, what does... What, what did I say? I haven't had time to watch anything, right? Like, what did he say, actually? <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> what if Mateus does bring some fucking energy, man? Like, he, he goes hard, to be honest. The game was on half development mode since uh, season four. I mean, <laughs> holy shit! <laughs> yeah, okay, that's uh, that's something. That is uh, that is a thing. We love to see it. Get your shovels and get ready to tunnel. 
Around 7.30. Let's see what he says. <laughs> React Do less content. For Guild Wars later. The reality is you've already been living through them doing less. That's what the mini X parks are. That's what the Ice Brood Saga attempt at reformatting Yo! was. Even back to around season four, they've already been split. And you've been playing this game, presumably, if, if you're hysterical about this now, satisfied enough. I know a lot of other people aren't satisfied with the quality of Sutu, but, you know, we'll try not to sidetrack ourselves too much. So for years and years and years, we've been coming to terms with the fact that they've been making other stuff. And we've known about this Unreal project. Is it Wait, really? Why is he playing Blish's Sacrifice, dude? Holy shit. Such a bombshell if that turns out to be Guild Wars IP. Yeah. Uh, you know, is this really new? Is this some massive paradigm shift from where I'm sitting? It doesn't really feel like it is. Until we have more details, what is there to say, frankly? Yes, there is oh this big God. conversation about whether Guild yeah. Wars 3 is a good idea to go for in the first place. Assuming that is that Guild Wars 3 explicitly means an MMORPG, Jesus. which the name does kind of suggest, right? And assuming this article is 100% accurate, and indeed that is what they're making, and even if we assume that it's like six, seven years away, there is this question of, is that a mistake? Is it a good idea to replace one MMO with another, to self-cannibalize? Given ArenaNet's current track record of essentially abandoning Guild Wars 1, keeping it live but not really doing much with it, uh, where they've proven they couldn't handle Guild Wars 1 and 2, given their current track record, I think, yeah, that probably would be a mistake. And I, I don't really want to see them making another MMO. Oh, I would fear shit. for the quality of Guild Wars what? 2 releases as soon as it came out. What I think is do is much safer is doing He's Guild slamming. Wars based stuff he is expand slamming. the IP but not into other MMOs so that the the main game can continue to thrive Which may be what this game that they're referring to as Guild Wars 3 is in the end But on the other hand, there's something to be said for a fresh start and you know a new engine with modern graphics and lighting and a fresh start with progression that isn't contaminated by all the weird decisions that have come over the years. And I think ArenaNet do have a good track record of just releasing good RPGs. Guild Wars 2, especially like at launch with all of its polishes and stuff with the leveling experience, is just straight up a good RPG. And I'd love to see their take, even years later, with a lot of different talent there, on doing that again. I also think there's a lot of unrealized potential and ambition that they were oozing and working on with the dynamic event system that a fresh game could give them another crack at. So it is a bit of a mixed bag. I'm once again dismayed by the online conversation from people who are upset at the idea of a Guild Wars 3 simply on the grounds that they don't want to move on from their account with a bunch of rewards and stuff on it. You know, to me, that feels like such a dead end. At the end of the day, we want good games, we want to progress, we want to enjoy ourselves. Actually, and if that means you take. have to move on from Guild Wars 2 eventually, because it's take. on its last legs, let's say, because it's not earning any money, because all the mechanics and ideas have been explored within the engine as possible, then fine, we should be able to do that. We shouldn't just drive yeah. off the cliff because... True. what? True. You bought some Black Lion keys and true. unlocked something cool Actually, with a wardrobe true. unlocker in 2017. <laughs> I remember a lot of this even during the Guild Wars 1 transition to Guild Wars oh, 2 yeah. of people thinking, well, I earned all this stuff and now I'm going to lose it, am I? You wouldn't technically lose anything, but it feels worthless to earn and have things in a game that's not going anywhere. And people felt that about Guild Wars 1 when it had far fewer years of active service than Guild Wars 2 has had. And we live in a world now where sequels to games are not automatic successes. What was it? Is it Payday 3 that came out recently and there's way more people still currently playing Payday 2? Even within the MMO genre, we have examples of that. So even just from its pure concept, a Guild Wars 3 seems like a risky, weird mixed bag. Now, the idea of a Tyrion IP project that continues the story and setting and world of Guild Wars, but is not the same genre, you know, it can be a single player RPG, it can be a more refined ARPG, it can go back to Guild Wars 1's genre, it can do an RTS, something that expands the canon as a satellite feature that supports the flagship MMO. That I can see is the kind of project that no one would have any misgivings or worries about, and, uh, you know, it just so happens that in this report they've called it Guild Wars 3 for whatever reason, once, once it's finally got to us here in the West. On this topic of, oh, if a Guild Wars 3 comes out, that means Guild Wars 2 is instantly doomed. You know, that doesn't have to be the case. I do yeah, want to be clear, I'd there is another that. world we live in where they release a Guild Wars 3, and it's an MMO, and it self-cannibalizes, but it's okay, because even though it's an MMO, the genre is pretty different again, just like how GW1 was so different to GW2, and, you know, they support both games at once. Yeah. The idea of them supporting both at once should be possible. Remember... 
Yeah, that's ambitious. But anyway, I'm not uh, I'm not going to watch all this video because that's lame. Um, yeah, very interesting, though. Dude, Wood Materials is very based, actually. He's a lot more based than people give him credit for. I'll say that. Uh, especially when he's on stream, okay? Especially when he's on stream. I miss stream wooden potatoes, man. Stream wooden potatoes is insanely god tier, and I love to see it. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. React content, guys. I love react content. I love reacting. Here we go. It's time. <laughs> Zaced. Darren's asked if it was okay to react, and he said yes. Yeah, but I don't want to do react Garbo. That's the thing. It's um, it's not if it's okay or not. It's uh, react hell garb, right? That's the thing. It's it's dog shit content. It's uh, impure, unclean, if you will. Yeah. It's not about the permission. You don't need permission to react to content, guys. It's fucking fair use um, at the end of the day. Yes. Incredible. They make zero money. Yeah. Are they able to develop or green never see the light of day? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. We, it's not like a sure thing. But we know that they're developing it. doesn't mean that it will actually come out or they'll finish it. Incredible. Wait, what's this? There's a Reddit poster. Kind of funny how this is likely an improvised attempt on the spot to look better in the face of shareholders. May actually result in ASOP profits plunging even harder as Gills who sales take a hit. Yeah, I mean, it's not, not ideal, that's for sure. It is not ideal. Yeah. All right then, gamers. Let's talk about this. Yes, in a hilarious twist of classic Guild Wars 2 marketing, Guild Wars 3 has been randomly dropped in an NCSoft shareholder meeting. This is not a joke. It is amusingly close to April 1st, but it's not an April Fool's joke. It is just a... A Guild Wars 2 classic. It really is. You know, we've had the taxi cab commercial. We've had the Our Time Is Now commercial. We've had all of the unhinged marketing. But this one has got to take the cake. Because, yeah, let's just cut to the chase here. Let's go ahead and cut to this. Arena has a meaningful IP called Guild Wars. And after Guild Wars 2, they are currently working on Guild Wars 3. Yes. Guild Wars 3, which is something that I never thought would happen, actually, to be perfectly honest with you. Because of, well, we'll get into that in a moment or why I didn't think it was going to happen. But, yep. It's Guild Wars 3 time. It's actually confirmed in development. Now, to be clear here, let's be sensible. This doesn't mean that the game will actually release. It just means... It's being worked on, right? Like, the game is actually in development. We know that Arena have been picking up some devs for Unreal. There's been some pre-production on a game that's within an existing IP. Now, I was definitely speculating that was going to be a standalone game, like either a single player or a co-op experience or something like that. But no, turns out that was probably Guild Wars 3, I guess. So it is what it is. Um, and what a way to announce it. I would absolutely love to be a fly in the wall uh, at ArenaNet right now. The fires are probably there. A lot of phone calls going on. Because obviously, probably not the way they would have wanted to announce this. But this is the world in which we are currently living. And of course, the media's all over it. Here we are, massively overpowered. The internet is ablaze. The subreddit is all over the over all over the place. Yeah, it's crazy stuff. But anyway, Guild Wars Three. So what's going on, and what does it mean for us? Well, um, what it does mean is that uh, Guild Wars Two is going to have a sequel, and that's a very interesting thing. There's a very big reason why there's no WoW Two, and why there is no, um, you know, uh, you know, stuff like Eve Online Two, uh, or indeed any other MMO. Where well, there's no sequel to it, like ESO Two or whatever. It's a very risky thing to do. Like you're dealing with ten years of sunk cost fallacy, ten years of content that you're basically going to say, "Yep, we're going to move on from that and go on to something new." Definitely after that, definitely a very interesting decision to make. If if you want my honest opinion. Guys, and here's the big opinion alarm. 
to me, this is this reeks a little bit of of corporate. Okay, this is uh, to me not something I would have expected ArenaNet to do because at the end of the day, Guild Wars 2 is good. Guild Wars 2 is profitable. Guild Wars 2 is a game that actually has a very well defined niche in its market. Like, I, it's it's a good game. It's a good game, and potentially semi throwing that away is a huge risk. From the player perspective, I think it's incredibly exciting actually uh, because new game. We're gamers. We like new things, new ideas, polished concepts, probably going to look a lot prettier, might be more content if Unreal uh, Engine is easier to make stuff for, uh, better performance, better everything, right? It's a little bit risky because, of course, maybe Guild Wars 3 sucks and it's not very good and Guild Wars 2 is still better. It's a tough act to follow. It really is. It's got really good combat, good systems. Good progression, all that kind of stuff, right? So it's very, very risky, but certainly exciting. I would be a bit worried from Anet's perspective because, of course, this is going to be a huge investment and it can backfire really horribly. I would actually say something like um, uh, RuneScape, right? With RuneScape 3, people didn't really like it, right? And it didn't really work out so hot. And that's why old school RuneScape is doing really, really well and RuneScape 3 significantly less so. However, both of those games are still going. And I actually do want to address this right now. Does this mean that Guild Wars 2 is dead? Absolutely not. Bear in mind, ArenaNet is still running Guild Wars 1. They're not really in active development, but the game is at least running. And I think there's a lot of different ways that ArenaNet could go about this when it comes to Guild Wars 2. But I think it's absolutely entirely possible that the development model that we have right now, basically the Soto model, is actually planned to continue indefinitely alongside the development. Uh, of Guild Wars 3. Because bear in mind, we know ArenaNet have been working on projects for ages. We know they've been working on stuff. Hell, even back before this stuff, right? Back in the day, you know, when Ice Brood Saga, when the apocalypse was happening, when the tunnel was happening, right? ArenaNet have not been purely working on Guild Wars 2 for ages. It's entirely possible that they are actually going to be attempting to continue Guild Wars 2 as it is, and then also have Guild Wars 3 alongside. Of course, that is splitting development resources, and I imagine Guild Wars 3 would become a greater priority, especially on the launch of the game, especially if the game does well. Uh, at the same time, but I wouldn't say that this is actually the death or the doom of Guild Wars 2 by any stretch of the imagination, because, and I, I think that could be really interesting too, because what it means is, is that Guild Wars 2 has its niche, right, it has a player base that loves it, and it's profitable, and it, it works. This could mean that they're going to make Guild Wars 3 very different. They're really going to distinguish it between the two and then run both of them. And funnily enough, that wouldn't be unprecedented in the market, actually. Take a look at what Blizzard's doing with World of Warcraft, right? Blizzard is doing really crazy stuff right now. If you pay for a WoW sub, you get World of Warcraft Retail, the most modern version of the game. You're getting Classic, which is the expansion that's moving through. It's Wrath of the Lich King now, soon to be Cataclysm. Um, there. You also get... Classic, which is original vanilla WoW, um, which again, whatever spin they're doing on that with Season of Discovery or whatever, some crazy stuff there. And they're even adding weird mini games like Plunderstorm, which is basically a World of Warcraft engine battle royale. So Blizzard is kind of already doing this and it's working really well, by the way, uh, running these games that have different audiences in parallel. They're all WoW, right? They're all different versions of Warcraft, but they're all serving different audiences. The audience for Classic is not necessarily the same people who want to play retail. They serve different things. They have different mechanics, different styles of gameplay, and different players play them. Uh, and that could very much be the case that ArenaNet will be attempting to do this. There's also a really interesting thing in this interview uh, where they talk about how, look at this, okay? Originally, NC had six studios in the United States and work was done to organize the six and integrate them into one ArenaNet, which is pretty interesting there. So like ArenaNet is taking over uh, all of the NCSoft operations uh, in the US as well. So, ah, ooh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Now, to be clear, you shouldn't get overhyped about this because games take a very, very long time to take, uh, to make rather, take a very long time to make. So I wouldn't expect to see Guild Wars 3 before five years, realistically. Uh, maybe you'll hear some more information down the line, talking about the game a little bit, that's possible, but it ain't done yet. It's not even close, so don't get overhyped. And that actually is something that I think is going to be a major frustration. If I was Aina, I would be pissed right now. I would be really annoyed because this is a huge headache from a marketing, from a PR, and just from a development standpoint. Because now they've got a game that they didn't want to announce 
um, that basically is competing and throwing their current product, their current big winner, into doubt. Guild Wars 2, right? Wait, what's going on? What's going to happen to Guild Wars 2? Is it going to keep going? Is the game dead? Um, well, I don't want to spend money on a game that's got no future, right? Blah, 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 blah. Very annoying. This almost certainly is going to force the hand of NC and Arena. They're going to have to say something. They're going to have to actually say something. Which, if you ask me, kind of a win for us as the players, I guess. But really annoying for ArenaNet. Uh, and potentially somewhat damaging to the game. Like, uh, I'm not saying this is a definite thing. But I could imagine that this could potentially hurt sales and player engagement within Guild Wars 2. Because people... We, we know how people are with MMOs. They want to play the next game. They want to play the most relevant game, the most current game. That's human nature, right? People want to do that. So big pain in the ass for ArenaNet, if you ask me. Uh, but could potentially work out for us in the end as we get some more information. Because there's going to be big questions right now. There's going to be, like, how is it going to work? Is it going to be a kind of a remaster thing? Uh, is our progress going to carry over? How much of our progress is going to carry over? What's the goal of the game? What does the combat look like? Is it going to be like Guild Wars 2? Is it going to be totally different? I don't know. Like, how does it connect? Do you keep your microtransactions? I have no idea. We don't know. Um, any of these things. Like, it, there's a, a lot of questions here that I think is going to be rustling players and potentially causing some uncertainty and doubt with regards to the current, you know, thing that's basically funding the development of Guild Wars 3. Uh, and, yeah, it's going to have to happen, guys. Okay? It's, yeah, is it going to be free to play? Is it going to be... I mean, it's almost certainly going to be kind of a, a similar business model. That's one of the things that Guild Wars 2 stands out for, I think. I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't be worried about a sub fee. That's, uh, that's definitely not happening. Okay, that, I mean, well, then again, you know, who knows? Who knows? But uh, I very much doubt that. So, nobody panic. Uh, regarding that, my friends, nobody panic about that one, but we shall see. Guild Wars 3, my friends, Guild Wars 3 is indeed on its way. I'm not really sure if I have that much else to say about this, because at the end of the day, we really don't know that much. This is actually a, a, something that you almost don't believe is real. It's something that is almost a hilarious joke, you know, if it was, I was checking the date, I was like, wait, what, am, what, what, what's going on here, okay, what's happening here, but yes, sometimes you just leak it in a shareholder meeting, guys, you know, you, you absolutely love to see that, you know, like the, uh, the big energy is, uh, is there, you know, some classic Guild Wars, <laughs> some classic Guild Wars 2, uh, Guild Wars 2 marketing right there, but anyway, I think that's basically what I've got to say, yeah, Buy Guild Wars 2 now with my referral link, guys. Get ready for Guild Wars 2 Hall of Monuments. Get ready to pre-order Guild Wars 3 using my referral link. Yo! Let's go! I am ready! <laughs> oh, man, that's fun. Yeah, and look, I was, not, I was very convinced this wouldn't happen. I can touch on this a little bit as we kind of get to the end of this segment. I did not expect Guild Wars 3 to happen for some of the reasons that I talked about, right? It's incredibly risky. Um, potentially might not be a really big payoff. And Guild Wars 2 is already good. It is already a good video game. Um, I do think there are some advantages though, like brand new game is always exciting. Um, it kind of gives Guild Wars 2 that relaunch. It's kind of always needed. Like, one of the issues that Guild Wars 2 has, and th this was actually a really interesting interview um, uh, from uh, the PoE devs as well. The PoE devs have talked about how a relaunch can be really important because a lot of the issues that maybe made a player quit early on in their game was fixed, but they don't know about that. That's kind of a motivation for doing stuff like Path of Exile 2, relaunching the game, hitting people with a new product. Here. And I think Guild Wars 2 can benefit from that. Like, still, you will see stuff like... Guild Wars 2 has no end game. Guild Wars 2 has no content. Guild Wars 2 is like a casual dress-up game, which is true, but that's all MMOs. But you know what I mean, right? Like, people don't know what the game has to offer. And that is where a big relaunch can be useful. Uh, but it is also a colossal risk uh, to take this. Because, again, it might not even happen, right? Games get cancelled. Just look no further than the Riot MMO. This is Riot, one of the biggest games companies um, in the world. They went back to the drawing board on their MMO and scrapped all of it, right? That was very recently actually talked about in a Twitter thread. Cool transparency, actually. But, yeah, it ain't a done deal. It's very risky. It's very scary um, to, to make a game like this of this particular scope, especially in MMO. MMOs are massive, they are expensive, they are huge, and yeah, it's very hard to compete because you've got to have a game that has enough content to attract players from other MMOs, um, from your previous MMO as well. 
it is very, very spooky. And, you know, I guess we can talk about this as kind of like the final topic. One thing that um, has been speculated about a little bit is, is it going to be like a Guild Wars 2.5? Is it just going to be a remaster, new engine, kind of relaunch of the game? I mean, I think that would actually be the least exciting prospect for us as players. I, I feel like Anet wouldn't do that, to be honest. Like, if if they're going to do Guild Wars 3, I don't know. I, I think they are going to be more likely to try and make something new as opposed to just like a rehash of the current game. Like, it would have the advantage of keeping everyone's progress, but I feel like it would potentially be a lot less exciting um, and a, a, a lot less impactful. Just like a very expensive investment for maybe... Not the craziest gain. Again, we don't know yet. Like, who knows? You know, this, this is pure speculation at this stage. That's kind of where we're at. Um, but we'll see. Uh, there's definitely some potential with the Unreal Engine, of course. That makes it potentially very easy for them to make a console version. Which, you know, I think that's something that works out really well for Final Fantasy. So that's also something that we can get in there as well. Um, pretty decent uh, speculation about the stuff there as well. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised, actually... To see ArenaNet try something quite novel with carrying over progress in some way. We saw them attempt this with Guild Wars 1 in the Hall of Monuments where you could earn titles in Guild Wars 2 in Guild Wars 1. Definitely wouldn't be surprised to see them try to iterate and develop on that. Are you going to keep your legendaries? Realistically, I think there's almost no chance of that happening. You cannot release a new product where everyone's already done the progression. That just doesn't make any sense, right? That would be unhinged, to be honest. And uh, yeah, would would be weird. New players are going to join and go, wait, these guys have already got full legendary? What the hell is going on there? And of course, when you're launching a new game, you want people who haven't played to play it. You, want, you don't want to just port your audience, right? You want to grow your audience. You don't want to say, oh yeah, look, Guild Wars 2 players, come and play Guild Wars 3. No, you want, look, WoW players, Final Fantasy, yo, let's go. That's what you want to do, um, which is another thing entirely, of course, you know, so... It, they're gonna they can do skins maybe they can do a couple of skins they can do some titles maybe they could do microtransactions so some of the money you've invested kind of carries over because that will be a big thing by the way there are people who have spent thousands and thousands of dollars on on this game and is it rational to go oh you know i don't want to leave because i've spent money actually no i think i'm actually going to mirror what wooden potato said in his video covering this topic you know um with this i think he's completely correct about this um the sunk cost fallacy is a fallacy. It doesn't make any sense. You can't just be stuck in the mud forever. It, you, no. Like, moving forwards, new ideas, new games, this should always be incredibly exciting as a player. So, now that we're on the Guild Wars 3 train, I will cont I will definitely say that as well. Yeah, absolutely. Like, just because you've played this game for 10 years doesn't mean that the next game isn't going to be better, right? Like, the game was probably still going to be here anyway, right? I think that it, they probably won't get rid of Guild Wars 2, but I think that moving on is important, especially if the game's good. If the game sucks, well, hey, worst case scenario is back to Guild Wars 2 for us. Oh, yeah. Uh, but if the game's good, then yeah, I mean, it's pretty hype, right? It's pretty hype stuff. Uh, <laughs> beta on Monday? Man, that would be the ultimate twist of events if they did that. They just dropped their Guild Wars 3 beta on April 1st. That would be... <laughs> That would be uh, very funny, but I don't think so. But anyway, I think that's all about I've got to say for now on this. I'm sure there's going to be a very heated discussion uh, going on all over the internet. So make sure that you leave your thoughts here. And definitely come and watch the stream, okay? Don't worry. This is all we're going to be talking about for the next month. So uh, don't worry. You won't miss out. Watch the stream on YouTube. Watch the stream on Twitch. Subscribe on YouTube. Follow on Twitch. Uh, hand over all your money as well and get ready for those referral links. Ha ha ha! You love to see it. And definitely check out this article as well. There's a couple of articles here. I am shamelessly reading the massively overpowered one. You should read it too. It will be linked down below. But of course, let me know your thoughts. Like, follow, subscribe, leave comments. And, well, I'll definitely see you next time on this one because, uh, yeah, stay tuned. There's probably going to be a lot more info on this coming out relatively soon or at least some kind of statements here as well. Guild Wars Tree indeed. But anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay tuned. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> All right, there we go. Incredible. Very nice. I can imagine you as a radio host. I gotta do the voice. I, I mean, I, I need like a slight distort on the mic, yeah? Then we can uh, be a radio host. Sorry that- wait, oh wait, no! The post got removed! <laughs> That's unfortunate. 
Oh, man. A solid 3 out of 5 video? Well, I mean, look, you know, that's better than 2 out of 5, I guess. Very nice. Guild Wars 2 is dead. Ah, uh, Snap's calling. Yo, Snap. You feeling better, by the way, buddy? Uh, last night was rough. Yeah. I feel a little... Yeah, I was, like, doing Sarah's CM. Yeah. And slowly... Oozing. I, I kind of over... Like, for a few days. And I, yeah. I'd, I was, like, slowly fading away. And then I started to get, like, really hot. I had a bit of a fever. Mm. And... And then Trig commented. He's like, dude, you're, like, all red. And then I looked at the camera and I was like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, this, no. This is... This is not good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I lasted like an hour and a half into our three-hour session. And I was like, guys, I'm actually dying. I'm going to need a sub. Yeah. <laughs> oh. But, I mean, at least it shows that I'm committed. You yeah, know? Yeah, was, yeah, that's true. Yeah, so I, I, like, literally, I turned off the stream. I went and took, like, a bunch of... Um, the juice. Like, uh, the drugs. Like, cough syrup stuff. And then, yeah, and then I just laid in bed and passed out. Then I woke up later, and yeah, now my voice is just kind of gone, but it's all right. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty good. Getting better. Snap slug. Snap slug. But, uh, you know, I, for, I just first want to formally congratulate Nike on community manager role. Official community mm. manager. Role. Yeah, he is. We all yeah. know that Nike has been the unofficial community manager for some time. Yeah. So really just putting. Oh, I got my paper. legendary yes. relic on the Zero to Hero, by the way. Boom. There you go. Oh, sick. Let's go! Legendary Relic Lord. Yeah, so you know what? Mm. Um, that's that's interesting, but Guild Wars 3 mm. uh, has a has a good ring to it. Yeah. What do you what do you what are your overall thoughts? Actually, first of all, I wanna just hit I I'm gonna we're gonna this is this is people are gonna say this is a boring question, but I think it's actually the opposite. You're a guy who looks at marketing, looks at communication all that kind of stuff yeah. i read this as an absolute fiesta like a net worst nightmare moment um what do you think uh, well this is this is my opinion obviously yeah. i'm not um in game marketing specifically but i have some background in consumer psychology so i look at this from that perspective and i mm. think this is this is very odd because it doesn't feel like an official announcement and so everyone's, it's like the cat's out of the bag, you know, yeah. like, they, they, they don't have a lot of control over the narrative now. And I think that that's kind of important because now you see on social media, a lot of people jumping to conclusions saying Guild Wars 2 is over maintenance mode. Mm. It's over. It's completely over. And uh, that's probably not true, but the narrative is just going to get spun a bunch of different ways until there's an official narrative to follow. Um, so I do think it's a bit of a... Um, I think it's a bit of a setback for the, like I'm sure they're all sitting in meetings right now going like how do we handle this like mm. what do we do what do we say because there what I anticipate is going to happen is you're going to put some blog post out that explains kind of what's going on and it'll just reaffirm that they're not abandoning Guild Wars 2 or anything and but I think now they have to provide more information than they were probably ready to give and that's um, a bit scary because they probably don't even have all the answers for everything. Like they don't yeah. know when it's going to be released or anything like that. But now everyone's going to demand a whole bunch of information that doesn't exist. So yeah, uh, yeah I do. I do look. At, I I have a lot of empathy for the situation. I think I think it's going to be pretty rough um, to just try to dispel a lot of rumors and misconceptions, and especially when they're working with timelines that don't even really exist yet. Yeah. Um, yeah, it just, yeah, it's a bad situation overall. Yeah, it's a lot of unknowns, and of course, it's very difficult for them to give any kind of answer because it's not set in stone yet, right? Like, the game is obviously in its development process, but that doesn't mean that if they make a statement now, 
they might not end up going that direction. I mean, look, we saw that with the Riot MMO, right? The Riot MMO basically went completely back to the drawing board uh, very recently. And that's going to be pretty no. common in game dev, right? Like you try an idea and you go, mm, well, actually, is this really good? Is this really working out? And you go, ah, actually, no, we should probably change that. Uh, so very difficult for uh, ArenaNet to to actually navigate this from a communication and information perspective. Because I think, yeah, the, I think the way you put it was the best. There are questions and there aren't answers for them yet. Like none exist. There's no information. So, so um, now like they have really... to come up with answers. And that, yeah. that's really difficult to do in a small, mm. like imagine how many people are communicating, right? You've got, you've got a lot of people that need to be in on meetings and discussing. And you, you really have to control what is being said and how it's being said. And so this is the exact opposite of that. It's not... It's, it's out of control. Now everyone's going to say something different. Now there's going to be a whole bunch of rumors, but they do have, they do not, th uh, my guess, this is an assumption. And I mean, I guess this is a part of the problem, right? This is a bit of an assumption for me, but I'm guessing that they just haven't really talked about exactly what the narrative should be. Mm, yeah. Or maybe they have, but it's, it's pretty rudimentary at this point. Well, they weren't so, expecting to have to talk about it for realistically no, multiple no, years, not at all. right? Like for years. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. yeah, and so n now what, right? Now they ha they have to talk about it. Cat's mm. out of the bag, but what is there to talk about? Mm. And n now they have to make decisions um, that they weren't prepared to make. And uh, frankly, they probably shouldn't have to make at this point because mm. what are they going to say? It's it's just it's going to be unsatisfying as a consumer to hear it, no matter what they say at this point. Because they're going to be like, oh, yeah, you know, you got us. Like, we have been talking about this and socializing the idea and... Indeed, now we do have confirmation that we can do this, but we really haven't done that much on it, so there's really nothing to say. We can't really tell you what the game is going to be like. We can't tell you if there's going to be any integration with Guild Wars 2. Yep. And like, so you're just going to be like, well, I want answers. And the answers don't exist. They can't confirm anything. And mm. they shouldn't promise anything at this point. It's so early. So I, I just feel bad for them because it's a bit of a nightmare from that perspective. Yep. How do you feel about it from the player perspective, though? Because I would say it's pretty pretty exciting. New game, yeah. you know? I, th I think I I I'll say where I'm at, okay? Um, mm -hmm. Because I definitely feel like Guild Wars 2, it's in its final form, right? Like, this, this is it. Um, and that d has de-energized me about the game to an extent. It's like, yep, this is Guild Wars 2. This is how it's going to be. Uh, from now on, there's not really going to be much dynamism or change or anything like that like it's just going to be this game forever so from my perspective this is pretty interesting like you know will the game necessarily work out or be for me not really but hey there's always a chance right you know you never you never know that something like really spicy could come out so very exciting from my perspective but uh what do you think yeah i i think it's a mixed bag for players from my perspective i would agree i think it's just qu quite exciting um, like, I'll still play Guild Wars 2. I mean, I play Guild Wars 1 every now and again, right? So, I'll still always have love for Guild Wars 2. But something fresh with the IP, I think, is just going to be intriguing for consumers. I think it allows people to have a fresh start, and it invites new people to get in on the IP as well, without feeling like they're behind in any way, even though Guild Wars 2 is pretty friendly with catching up, in yeah. a sense. So, I think all of that is good. Um, from a sort of a grander player perspective, I think there's some anxiety about that because people people play MMOs in some ways because there's continuity and a mm. feeling of a feeling of constant progression. And I'm not even talking about like a gear and everything, but just like, oh, I'm on this this path, this story, and my character is static and I grow as a player and and over time, mm. right? And, and so when you look at it like that, it's kind of like the death of that experience for people. Yeah. And so they're thinking, well, this is going to dramatically shift my identity. And <laughs> they have to adopt a new mentality and um, accept kind of a new culture with a new game. Um, but because that's also unknown, it d just creates a lot of worry with players, I would say. And particularly players that are like, well, I always want to be playing like the the newest thing of the IP because that's where all of the people are. A lot of people play MMOs for social reasons, whether or not they're explicitly social or not. They just like to be around other people. And so if they fear that's going to diminish, it might impact their investment in the game. But otherwise, I think I think players are 
probably like, oh man, like it's good to know that in, it's probably good to know that in some ways that the the development team is more than just Guild Wars 2. You know, that they have grander aspirations and and that they want to continue the IP. I think if you're a big long time fan of the game, you're just excited that it's going to live on and continue. Mm. What if the entire Guild Wars 3 is just a tunnel? Yeah, Guild Wars 3. And then you just like log in and you're like a dredge and you're like digging yeah. holes. Tunnel. Yeah. I love tunneling. Yeah. It, like what if Guild Wars 3 is actually just Guild Wars 2, but from like an underground perspective? Yeah. They, they tried to pitch an underground expansion and it like didn't fly, but then somebody, you know, really flexed their muscles and just made it the new, the new IP. So now you're... You're all dredge. There is no human. You must play dredge. Uh, but the screen is kind of like dark because dredge are, are blind, right? So like you, so there's there's like limited vision. <laughs> so you're really role playing and you just have to like dig tunnels around Tyria. There you go. And that's the whole game. <laughs> that's the whole game. Yeah. It's pretty big. It's pretty big stuff. What do you think? Um... How different do you, what, what do you think they're going to do with the game? That's what I want to know. Like how, what do you think their strategy is going to be when it comes to making, is the game going to be very, very different? Or is the game going to be similar? To oh, yeah. Thing? That's a um, big one, right? Like what are they going to do? I, I don't know. Um, this, so this is another player anxiety, I think. Guild Wars 1 is vastly different yeah. than Guild Wars 2. Of course. In gameplay, in tone, um, in style. And everything. And that, that's not necessarily a bad mm. thing, but it, it's just different. And so will Guild Wars 3 continue that trend and be vastly different than Guild Wars 1 and 2? Will it adopt some things from Guild Wars 1 and 2? Will it be very similar to Guild Wars 2, but just updated mm. in some way? I don't know. At this point, I think it's quite hard to even project that. But mm. if I were to guess, I would say that they're going to try to appeal to a broader MMO audience, similar to what other MMOs and stuff have done. And look, people, let's just be frank here. The number one demographic for Guild Wars 2 are the people that aren't really as engaged with the game mechanics and such, but that do like the, the role play and the story and all of those things. So when I think about a Guild Wars 3, I, I, I know some people are going to hate this, but I do question like their commitment to the combat system and stuff mm. because it, I just like, that's just not that important to most players, I think. Uh, and, and maybe, and you can tell me if I'm wrong about that, but it just feels like it's um, maybe not the priority. I think the priority would be like the experience that people have going from place to place and engaging with the story and fashion wars and home instance and th those kinds of things. So like I like what comes to mind is like Palia, right? You've heard of Palia? Yeah. yeah. It's it's like a non-combat MMO, right? You're just kind of like adventuring around. Now, do I think they'd go that far? Probably not, because that'd be so vastly different than Guild Wars One and Two. But it, it does have me questioning it. It's like Guild Wars 2 started as like, you know, they were really invested in PvP and stuff, and so was Guild Wars 1. But now it's like, well, would they really do that from an economic standpoint? Probably not, especially when their dominant demographic just dislikes those things so strongly. So, yeah. Oh, and chat, I don't think you're Care Bears. Um, if you're in they this are. chat, they you're are. most likely they somebody... Are. You're most likely somebody that, like me, enjoys the combat system. I'm just, I'm just saying the reality here. A lot of people don't care about that as much. And so how invested will they be in that? I don't know. Um, I wouldn't go full doom and say that it's going to be like Palia or anything, but I think that they might try to simplify things so that it's easier for people to understand. I think they're going to be. I think they're going to be very focused on some aspects, right? They they want stuff like the movement to be fun. They want the the mounts to be fun, probably all that kind of stuff. That's going to be, I think, a core focus of the game. But will they streamline the game down a little bit and remove some of the complexity? Probably. I think, especially when it comes to gearing and itemization, yeah. is going to get simplified a lot. I think one thing that really comes to mind, actually, for me is very much something that Isaiah Cartwright said. In an interview, a Manorworks Reddit post a long time ago. Um, this is a company where a lot of ex-ANET devs are working now. They're working on Bird Simulator, Sneb. 
Seagull Simulator. But that's not the point. Yes. The point is, is that um, there are some Guild Wars 2 players basically um, asked um, some questions. And one of the questions was, like, what did you learn from the development of Guild Wars 2? And, and like, what would you kind of change, right? And the answer was too many game modes, right? Like, streamline and distill oh, yeah. the game modes down. And I think that something we would see in Guild Wars 3 is less game modes. Um, specifically, I think they'd drop PvP. Uh, I'm pretty sure they'd actually keep World vs. World. But I think they'd probably either make PvP very irrelevant um, or very heavily just not existing in the game even to be honest and world versus world is basically going to be like the kind of pvp style content uh that you can that you can expect um from the game i would say like that's something that i could see happening because i do think it has been something that has caused guild wars 2 to have issues is the sheer amount of game modes the gamers has like it's very difficult we've seen them struggle to maintain them all right like in fact they have not been able to maintain them all like we we know this we, we they haven't been able to do it um, so that would be something that I could 100% see them doing, like really focusing in. And similarly with the PvE stuff, right? I, I wonder if they would consider, um, I mean, I, I think they'd probably want to do raids and dungeons in the game. But I wonder if they would actually consider kind of a, a, a an approach where actually you only have one of those. Like maybe everything is eight player content. Right, instead. So you don't actually have a distinction between a raid and a dungeon. Because, again, like, we know that ArenaNet struggles to release kind of enough content to do all of that. Because, think about it, right? In Guild Wars 2, what are we getting? We get one raid, uh, two raid bosses a year and one dungeon a year right now. They can't be happy with that, right? That's not a lot of content. I, I think it would be quite interesting if they did actually go for, um, you know, a different approach there. What do you think? Yeah, um, I, I guess I'm just, I, I'm, yeah, I, I mostly agree. I, I just don't have too much more to add. Mm. I am very curious to see how far they're willing to, to change things. I don't, I, I think they need to commit to a few game modes mm. and because um, the reality is that if you try to be good at everything you're actually good at nothing you're yeah. just you're just like a generalist yeah and i i actually think that's probably a good way to describe guild wars 2 guild wars 2 is like the perfect generalist mmo mm. you want a taste of everything Little you're taste. gonna get like pretty good content in every game mode yeah but are you gonna get the best content in every game mode i don't know i mm. think you can make an argument that open world is really really well done i think, I think what PvP is best is in class, really really yeah, good too sure. yeah um, I think you can argue all of those things, but the problem is that you don't really have a very strong development cycle if you have to pay attention to every game mode all mm. at once. It's difficult yeah. to balance things, it takes a lot of dev time, and you have these massive content droughts for one game mode or another. Like, look at World vs. World. Ooh, What's yeah. going on there, right? They've had a few yeah. um, like cool titles and whatever added, and I think those are really good quality of life changes. But it's not like they're getting new maps and Siege and, like, stuff right yeah. they're just they're just not you know what's funny Snub? so where do, where does this leave you guild wars yeah, 3 right. might come out before alliances that's reality <laughs> yeah <laughs> enjoy it that um well that will probably happen yeah <laughs> enjoy it yeah yeah snub yeah. is speechless he can't handle that he's broken he's broken on a mental level he also has the disease. Is it a coincidence, yeah, no, guys, good. that Sneb caught the Fine. disease right as Guild Wars 3 is announced? What's going on there, bro? What's up with that? Yeah. It's called Children in Daycare. Mm. Yeah. So you're they, so they, you're going to be permanently ill then, basically, from now until the rest of time. That's essentially what the... Yes, basically. Yeah. You get sick, like, once a month. There's mm. nothing you can do. There's no way... Yeah, it's over. There's nothing you can... There's no counterplay to it. Yeah. My uh, wife and kids are actually... Um, visiting mm. my in-laws in the states right now, and so I'm kind of home alone. And this weekend, I plan to like Lysol the whole house. Mm. It's I am so tired of getting sick. Yeah. Clean things up. Maybe it'll maybe it'll get it good. spring help. cleaning action. Yeah. Yeah. Embrace the disease. It might not help at all. Embrace the disease. 
Yeah. I know, I think it would be really cool if they did actually have a heavy focus on world versus world. Because someone in the chat said that um, uh, uh, structured PvP is very casual friendly. And I definitely know what you're saying with the click and play. Um, but I actually feel that like world versus world with a couple of modifications could be even better. Because world versus world is very hop in, hop out. And yes, yeah, sometimes nothing happens. That is kind of a, a side effect of the way the game plays out. Like, you know, there's not, not any content going on or something like that. But I feel like world versus world is perfect for casual PvP because your individual contribution matters far less. I know that sounds like a bit of a meme, but I think it really actually helps players who maybe have some anxiety around getting into player versus player content from just getting in there. Because... In in a 5v5 PvP game, you can single-handedly troll and throw the game. And that I feel, I feel like that's a lot of pressure. That's pretty intense, right? For uh for, for newer players, right? That's you know, that's that's a lot um to deal with. So yeah, I actually think that um like having having some having it basically be very casual friendly i think is in world boss what is good yeah i think it's very good for that and i also think it really leans into the mmo element of it as well which i think is actually really good too like let, let's be honest here modern mmos are barely mmos right they're barely even mmo rpgs they're basically instant simulators i would say that both world of warcraft and final fantasy um actually uh fall into that category they they're, they're yeah, they're they're scuffed in a lot of ways. Uh, Guild Wars 2 is pretty much the only MMO that does the open world thing, or at least only major MMO um, that does like the the full open world thing in terms of its PvP and PvP content, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, like yeah, like yeah, WoW and Final Fantasy are lobby sims. Guild Wars 2 isn't, and I think that that's what World vs. World is really good for because it's MMO. Like World vs. World is is MMO PvP, um, whereas like retail, yeah, don't get me wrong, I'm sure arenas are fun, and you know Guild Wars 2. 5v5 PvP is fun, but it's not really MMO, right? You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Eve kind of has this, but it's not exactly kind of like your your giga MMO, is it, right? It's not the uh, the big thing in that regard. Yeah. Yeah, remake World vs. World from scratch. And they've got some serious work to do, though. Like, you know, like we're all kind of getting, you know, we're all going crazy and getting hyped up right now. Bear in mind, guys. You've got to bear in mind, they could fail to make this game. And I, I don't want to, like, you know, start dooming but ahead of time, but this is still a very big risk. Like, we're assuming that everything goes perfectly for Arena, and I hate to say it, the track record isn't there, let's be honest. Like, uh, all of these unannounced projects for Arena, they've basically all failed. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, ooh. <laughs> you know what I'm most looking forward to in... Um, you know, in a new new title. Mm, yeah. What? No more random content bloat. Like, oh, we have dragon response missions mm. and strike missions and raids and dungeons and fractals. Yeah. And, like, please, for the love of all that is good, just like stick to a couple things. Yeah. Like, it makes it so complicated for people to figure out what's actually going on. It certainly does give them a fresh start to remove all of that stuff for sure. I think that's definitely one of the most exciting prospects. Guild Wars 2 is a massively bloated game and streamlining that down is one of the things that is probably going to be objectively better, right? Um, about, um, you know, uh, about a new title is that it should, it should theoretically have less of those issues. Yeah, you know, I've got a good meme here, you know. Yeah. I think that they... Like imagine they're all at a like a some kind of meeting, right? Mm. And they're they're pitching like what to do yeah. uh, about Guild Wars Two, and, <laughs> and somebody's just like, "There's too many currencies. What should we do?" And they're like, "What if we just start over?" Yeah. Or just you know, <laughs> and then do, they what, did. Just do an entirely new game. Yeah, that might be the way to go. <laughs> like we've got too many currencies. Yeah. It's over. There's nothing it's we can over. do. <laughs> yeah. We cannot continue. It's only programmed to ha allow so many. We have to. <laughs> we have to do something. How would you feel if uh, it's just a, this actually wasn't April's Fool's joke, but they just got the date wrong? Oh boy, that would be catastrophic. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's obviously not, but it would be very funny, in my opinion. I think it'd be very bad. I mean, I agree with that, yeah. It would be a nightmare. Yeah. Would you say that it would be hell? Yeah. Yeah. It would be very bad. Yeah, it wouldn't be good. That's for sure.
They're just like an NPC crying in the background of my stream right now. It's a very weird experience. In Guild Wars 2. They're, you know, they're in anguish. There's anguish happening. I believe I'm AFK in the Silver Wastes. The NPC is in terror. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. Yeah. But do you have any other thoughts? You know, it's weird, actually. I feel like I should have a lot to say uh, on this, and I, I think we've said a lot. But on the other hand, you know, we know nothing. Oh, we, we, we have literally zero information to go on, right? So it's obviously... Yeah. Uh, I mean, know. we can we can project all day, but I, I think that's part of the problem. Yeah. It, we can sit here and just theorize mm -hmm. about what's going to happen, and that's the worst case. Well, it's good and bad in some ways. Like, it gets conversation about the game going, but it, again, it mm. it just can spread false narratives and there, there's no control of the narrative right now. Yeah. And that's a bit of a marketing nightmare. Yeah. Community management nightmare. They don't want, they don't want people to like panic, right? Because now a lot of people that are maybe getting introduced to the game that are, mm. those kind of players are like, I really want to invest in MMO. They're going to look at it and go, well, they're, they're at least going to ask the question, like, should I invest in this MMO if the sequel is coming out? Nah, you know, maybe not. Mm. And that's that's not a good thing for them. I asked Nike this question as well. I'm curious what you think about it. Uh, do you think ArenaNet made this decision to go for Guild Wars 3? Or do you think it was something that NC wanted to happen? Ooh. Yeah. Because I think that's um, the spicy I mean, one. It, it, it could be a bit of both, right? Yeah. I mean, I can imagine there's reasons why both would not want it. And I can imagine there's reasons why both would want it. So I don't know that that's the answer you want to hear because it's not a super spicy answer. Mm. But I, th I think it could be a little bit of both. Okay. Interesting. When do you think the game comes out, Snab? Um, it's got to have at least a five-year development cycle, right? You know what's funny? Um, Brazil. Do you know what? Do you know when Brazil said Guild Wars Three was coming out? He said um, Guild Wars Three is coming out. I believe he said 2027. I think that is wow. too early, but yeah, it would be extremely funny if he actually guessed that correctly. That would be very yeah. funny. When he said that, he was obviously hard trolling uh, and trying to piss people off. But it would be funny if it came true. Entering defensive position. And how long did Guild Wars 2 take to develop? We must know that, right? Right? Or have um, an approximation for well, it. Well, they they like announced that it was gonna happen in twenty ten or so. Yeah. Right? And so and it, it came out in twenty twelve. Yeah, I thought they had been working on it for a few years, is I, my understanding. Yeah, I thought it was so, around um I thought it was around uh seven years. I thought it was how long it took him to make it, approximately. Uh I feel like that's, I mean, what are they doing in each of those seven years, I guess? Um, I, yeah, I'm not sure. Mm. I thought, I thought it was more, yeah, I, th I thought it was more like five years, but I could be wrong about that. Mm. I feel like five years for Guild Wars 2 is, it's a low number. Well, yeah, well, I, I think, again, it depends on what you consider development, right? Because they had stuff already from Guild Wars 1 that they used. Like, mm. think about some of the music, some of the art, some of the the concepts, all of those things, right? Like, if you're making a fresh, brand new thing, it's very different than kind of like the sequel. Yeah. So you could argue that they had worked on it for even longer, some aspects. Yeah, and I think people are right. If it was seven years, then that's like literally when Guild Wars 1 came out. So they were working on Guild Wars 2 when Guild Wars 1 came out? Well, I mean, no. They definitely weren't doing that then. Because you can even see them. Like in in uh, Guild Wars 2, in Guild Wars 1, they even started doing stuff like experimentation for um, for Living World, right? the, the Guild Wars Beyond stuff. That was very much like experimentation with that kind of thing. 
Uh, and you could see them like, you know, having the, uh, kind of having the ideas, like how they wanted that game to play out. Yeah. Just pretty interesting stuff. I'm dying to an ooze. We're dead to a slime. Literally dead to a slime. Do you like that uh, Wooden Potatoes said oozing? Yeah, I man, honestly, Wooden Potatoes' videos, they're absolute fire. Like, like he, I know he's not as active as he used to be, but yo, like, he goes hard. Like, these days he goes hard. Like, the, the, that's, what an ice, that's what the Ice Brood Saga does to a man, Sneb, okay? Like, it, it changed him. It changed him. You know, he's, he's been reforged. The tunnel forged his mental. It's pretty hype. <laughs> it's good. Do you feel that you were changed by the tunnel? I I actually unironically do believe that the tunnel shifted my perspective on the game quite yeah. a lot. Mm. It it braced it, it it mentally prepared me, emboldened me even yeah. for you were ready. Uh yeah, for Soto. Yeah. What do you think that uh, all this news means for the next Guild Wars 2 expansion? Because to me, it well, says that yeah, it's, to me, it will not be bigger than Soto. The, I think that is confirmed at this point. It is going to be Soto, almost certainly. No? Or, or yeah, I'm, uh, well, I'm, I'm not even saying that as a doom I, thing. I didn't think that Soto was bad, by the way. It's no. just that I, I just think that I don't think it's going to be larger in scope. I don't think they're going to build on it. It will be, a, it will be sustained. I don't know sustain. if it's going to be larger in scope, but mm. I think it's going to be more refined. Sure. Yeah. And the reason yep. I say that yep. is because they they basically had a recipe, and it took them a while to figure out how to put all the ingredients together. Mm. But now they understand the process of putting all the ingredients together, so it should be easier to make more volume in some aspects. So maybe the scope could be a little bit bigger. Mm. But o overall, it's just easier for them to execute on the strategy this time around. Yeah. So I'm actually quite hopeful that it'll be uh, the next expansion will be better than Soto, hands down, only because they. They created a plan, um, and it was new to how they had done things before, and now they've done that, and so they can just keep doing that. Yeah. So I'm quite hopeful for that, but I, I do think that this has tainted the X Pack a little bit, which is why I think it's pretty important that they have some kind of, and it's terrible timing because it's right near Easter and stuff, so like people are on vacation, and it's really terrible timing. But they do they do need to say something because it will impact people's perception of the expansion i think i don't know if it'll be really significant but it'll I, for me i go well how invested should i be in the expansions mm. and it makes me question things that were said about the new timelines and they're like oh we're already planning like the next two expansions or whatever you know they they made some comment about that right how they were um like really like focused on guild wars 2 yeah. as an ip exactly and so they did say that and, and now yeah statements like that come across as extremely hollow and extremely corporate yeah when when you when you say oh yeah we're we're very focused on like we're dedicated to guild wars 2 oh yeah we're actually making guild wars 3 the sequel to that game at the same time like yeah Ooh, it, yeah yeah that's, yeah that's a rough one like i'm that is rough. i'm not i'm not gonna die on the hill like oh i was lied to or something like that but sure, i do yeah. I do look at it now and I go, well, that wasn't entirely truthful. Yeah. You know, there there actually is something else going on here. Mm. And that other thing may or may not be a very good thing. But it just, I just don't know now. And so how how committed are you? It just raises the question yeah. again. Like, yeah, how yeah, committed yeah. are you to Guild Wars 2? Sure. And it doesn't mean that you have to be all in on one thing. Like, you can work on something else. But I think that the loyal fans would probably like to know what the plan is then, if a Guild Wars 3 mm. is going to come out. But the issue, this, it all comes full circle. The issue is they don't know. They have no idea what the plan is going to be at this point, I'm sure. Um, they probably have some idea, but they have, they're have they way too far out to say like when a release date would be or like a timeline of future Guild Wars 2 expansions. It just makes people think too far into the future at this point. And... Um, that's, it's a bit of a shame that people might be frustrated by that. Yeah. I suppose. Yeah. Press 1 in the chat if you're complete dooming. And it's yeah. over. That Guild Wars 2 is over. Guild yeah. Wars 3 is in. 
and you're and uninstalling the game until it's the uninstall, OST comes out. You're refunding all the gem purchases. It's completely over. No hope. You've full canceled doom. your credit card. You're selling your house. Yep. You're investing all of your money in NCSoft stocks so that you can prepare for Guild Wars 3. Yeah. <laughs> full breakdown. Full mental boom. Good. I'm actually curious. And actually, guys, guys, guys. Okay. I, I, okay. I'm going to preface this. I want a real no bullshit answer to this question. Do you get a bullshit No, I know. I trust the chat. The chat. I, and I, I, I'm actually serious, guys. I, How are you guys sussy, feeling yeah. on a scale from 1 to 10 in terms of your optimism for Guild Wars 3 being a good game? And I, I'm, this is not a joke. I'm not saying, ha, 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 you know, ain't it, dumb, big, dumb, dumb. Ha, like, ha, 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 Guild Wars 3 I'm going to call you bad. out. This is a stupid question. Wait, what it's do you mean? It's a stupid question. Wait, why is it a stupid question? stupid question? Wait, why is that a stupid question? Because you have, you have absolutely no idea what their focus is going to be. Well, so I'm how asking, because I'm asking for their make any subjective idea. Because I'm asking. Guild Wars 3 could be an FPS yeah, set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, yeah, I'm, I'm, years in the future. I am asking people's, how people feel about the company. Like how confident they feel in a reading at the company. Right? That's why I'm asking. Uh, like, how confident the people okay. feel in Arena? Like, that's basically the. Well, you, you just you, you can't be you can't ask about Guild Wars three specifically because there's just well, no information. It's like, do you think Guild Wars three will be a good game? Well, I mean, we don't even know what kind of game it's gonna be. <laughs> I don't think it's a stupid question at all. By the way, like uh, anyone who says a stupid question is actually stupid. Boom. Um, it's a stupid question. It's not. <laughs> like asking how confident people feel in a games company is. Is the opposite. Well, well that's that's question. a different question than asking if Guild Wars Three is going to be a good game. Well, it well, in my mind, it's the same. No, it's like, like no, uh, because guilt. You're focusing like um, the, the problem is that it's too subjective about what kind of game Guild Wars Three is. Like Guild, Guild Wars Three could come out and be like, um, what is that thing that they did in World of Warcraft? The plunder plunder thing? storm. It, it, could be, it it could be just plunder storm. Like Guild Wars Three could be like. Uh, a solo RPG. Mm. You know, you have no idea what it's going to be. And so, like, how, how can we that it'll be a good game? Well, that might not be a good game to me. So I have no idea. So I, I just I just wouldn't answer that question. I Wait, just have what? no clue. I feel that's way too much of a... That, that, I think... I don't, I don't know where the subjectivity has come from. I'm just, I'm just asking, like, do you guys think they're going to make a good game? Um, okay. Like, well, if you ask me that, I'm going to be like, yeah, I, th I think they yeah, can make that, a that's the question. Yeah, that's the question. I'm not asking the question, do you think Guild Wars 3 will be exactly what I'm hoping and dreaming for? I'm asking for, like, if, if they're going to do a good job with the game. Like, if we think they're a competent development studio, basically. Okay, that's a good question. I didn't like the other one. <laughs> yeah. That's the yeah, question. I, I think they can make a good game. I mean, they've made several good games. I don't, I don't see why they can't make another good game. Yeah. The company wouldn't have gotten to this point if they couldn't make good games. What if so... the game's dog shit, Snub? <laughs> um, I mean, it would go against the trend. <laughs> Look, anyone, anyone that says, "Oh, I don't think they can make a good game," they literally have t they have two successful games. They're very good. There's there's no there's no reason that they can't make another good game. Now, would you subjectively think it's like the Omega game, like 10 out of 10? Maybe not. But I think we can make another good game that sells and that people enjoy. This is coming from someone who did not like Soto. Just because I don't like Soto doesn't mean that they don't make good games, mm. but that people don't like them. Jester just got knocked off the platform and lost all of his world buffs. That is fucking funny. <laughs> That is funny. Are you playing World of Warcraft? I'm playing World of Warcraft, Sneb. Vanilla World of Warcraft. Okay. Not any World of Warcraft. Vanilla. So we're just talking about Guild Wars 3 yeah. playing World of Warcraft. S.O.D. hype. <laughs> S.O.D. hype. The item I wanted didn't drop again. World of Warcraft in the Guild Wars 2 category. I'm fucking mentally like, destroyed, you could, dude. You could probably tell people this is... Yeah, like, I could say this, like, is this is Guild Wars 3. Guild Wars yeah, 3 this is beta. literally Guild... Yeah, this, guys, I'm playing Guild Wars 3 beta right now. It's happening. <laughs> this is this is the beta. I'm in it right now. We decided to take a bit no, of a step back I, with the art direction. <laughs> I, I, I actually don't think it's real. I think it's really interesting that you say that they couldn't make... You have no faith they could make a good mobile game. Really? Dude, maybe I'm actually alone in this. Maybe my question is actually... 
reflective of my own bias here. I would actually be very confident in ArenaNet making um even even a shooter or something. Yeah, for sure. And when I say a good game, I don't. When I say a good game, I'm talking about like development competence here. I guess my question wasn't clear enough. Because for example, I look at a game like Apex Legends or Hearthstone, and I go, "Holy shit! I would never play these games ever in a million years." But I look at them and I go, "Yeah, you know what? These games are actually competently made." Um, or at least like that's that's kind of my view on them. They yeah, like these are competent games. Uh, and I believe I look that at them they as, can like, make a good game. Yeah, I like do. that that's yeah that's the question that I ask. Like, can they make a good game? I think the answer to that, in my opinion, is actually yes. Like for all uh, ArenaNet's flaws, and yeah, sure, Soto isn't for me in the same way that it's not really for you. I think we're in the similar boat there. I still think they are competent developers, and they will make a good game. Uh, and that was kind of like the sentiment I was trying to extract from the chat. Like, do people think that they can make a good game? Uh, like, do, do, do people think they can make, is Guild Wars 3 going to be a good video game? Um, and by the way, guys, there's no wrong answer. I'm actually asking that question 100%, a million percent in good faith. I actually wanted to know, are people confident in Arena in making a new good product? Um, it's, it, and you can say no. If you, if you feel like you're, you don't have confidence in Arena, like you've been burned by the game or whatever, that's perfectly fair. I'm not going to say, oh yeah, you're not allowed to have that opinion. I think you are allowed to have that opinion, I think. That's all I wanted. Heart of Thorns was good, everything else was dog shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is, I guess. Only Core Guild Wars 2 was good. Only Guild- actually, I think that's incorrect, Snub. I believe only Guild Wars 1 was good. There is ne no- no other version of Guild Wars has ever been good. My personal opinion, <laughs> my personal taste is that Guild Wars 1 had a a stronger story. And I and I know this is completely subjective. I I just liked Guild Wars 1's story better. I found it more cohesive and less mm. silly. Like the tone is a bit different. Yeah. Um and as such that tone is reflected in even the gameplay and like it's just grittier, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's just more serious. But it, they still have like funny like memes and whatever in there, right? Like there's there's like pop culture references throughout the game, and, and those are are witty and clever and, and all of that. But I just thought I thought that the game took itself a little bit more seriously. I also did like the you know the dual class system and whatever. I just thought yeah, that, that was, was pretty cool. I that was that's some that is very cool actually to be honest. That is true. That is true. Please recalibrate rock trajectories. You are hitting the cargo. Plunger. Attack, yes. <sighs> Do you have any other comments, Snub? Uh, about Guild Wars 3, um, I just, I'm just very curious to see what they do now. It's before Easter. They might just go silent for a week. Um... And you know, in fact, they probably will be silent on it for some time. But I think they're going to be forced to say something at some point. Uh, they can't just ignore it because people are going to constantly ask about it and talk about it. I suppose they can choose to ignore it, but mm. people are just going to feel weird about it. So. Yeah. So we pull the boss by accident. It's this is not good. This is very bad. You're going to die. I think we're fucked here, to be honest. Yeah, we're we're completely fucked. It's over. It is over. Grit, I'm hit. It's still theoretically possible, I think, but it's it's not looking good. I can't really get that ad. Oh boy. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, this isn't good. Jest is dead. It's over. We have no world buffs. Can we actually run away? No. We cannot run away. Unfortunate. 
My legendary grind is now worthless. You know, I, I think I, I understand where you're coming from there. Um, I do, I do. But, I mean, is it? Was it, though? Was it, though? So. Like, was it worthless? If, if you think... If you think the legendary grind was worthless, yeah. then I would question why you're playing the game at all. Because, 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 because it's the journey, not the destination that matters. I know that sounds like something you put on a cat poster in your room, but like, it's kind of true, you know? If, if you're so concerned about the destination that you mm -hmm. don't care about the journey, then what was the point? I think all of the fun that I've had in Guild Wars 2 was the things that led up to different accomplishments, not the accomplishments themselves. So getting the legendary armor is like a feeling of satisfaction, is, is it essentially a trophy, but the trophy itself is meaningless without the work and the dedication and everything that, it, that went mm. into getting there. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a complex one because on the one hand, I know what you're saying, right? Like, you know, you're 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 basically going to be invalidated, right? You're getting vertical progressed right into the next game. But on the other hand, no game is permanent, right? Like, games are temporary. At the end of the day, they will go away eventually. But also, none of it is real. These are all, it's all pixels. All of it is pixels at the end of the day. Like, nothing, none of it actually has any real value. The only value that it has is how much value it has to you. Um, like, and, and I think that's where, like, the process is there. And you still have all the items, right? WoW is permanent. WoW is absolutely not permanent. Like, e even that game will probably eventually shut down, to be honest. Like, e even WoW won't be around forever. Um, it's somewhat unlikely anyway. But that's, uh, that'll be the case. Yeah. I don't know. Like, it's just, you know... You, there's always going to be more grinds, right? But yeah, none of your items have any value. They are just pixels. I, that's, I don't know, maybe that's going to be some existential dread there for the for the players, but who knows? Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, no. I don't I, I, know. I guess I just view that... Um, uh, I guess I just view that as a bit of a... As a bit of a sad thing. Don't come back, Gautomo! Yeah. Um... I view that as a slightly sad way of looking at things, to be honest. It is very much the journey. And, you know, you still had the experience, right, of the progression and stuff like that. Yeah, like, I guess, I, yeah. It, yeah. I also understand yeah. what they mean. They're like, oh, man, you know, I, I did all this work. And now, because it, it's, it's a bit of an identity mm. thing, right? Like, your, your memories and, and stuff are reflected mm. in your character. You did all these things here and so it's like you're leaving those behind they still happen you still have those memories and that feeling but at the same time the symbols of those memories um are uh, fade in a sense yeah and i think people the, the way that they combated that with guild wars one was to create the hall of monuments and have have new trophies that symbolize the old trophies or just replicate the trophies, right? Like God walking amongst mere mortals. Yeah. All of that work, all of that time, all of the, it, it's still reflected. And I would imagine that they would do something similar um, again, because it would create reason to play Guild Wars 2 in preparation for Guild Wars 3. I think that was a big thing. A lot of people were like really aggressive about getting the Hall of Monuments. Yeah, getting all the in fact, it stuff. like. I remember the week leading up to Guild Wars 2, the economy just like went crazy with everybody dumping all of their stuff mm. um, to finish their Hall of Monuments. <laughs> yeah. It was interesting. It certainly was. NFTs. Yep. I don't think they're doing NFTs, guys. I hope they don't have loot boxes. Yeah, what if they be... Man. What, what if it became an NFT loot box simulator? Dude, there's some... Ri okay, this is this is my nerding out a little bit about this topic. Because obviously I really care about this topic. Yeah. But there's some really interesting conversations going on right now. And, and again, I know this is a bit of an aside. But in sports betting specifically, I don't know if you've been following any of that. But mm. in the basketball world, um, a lot of professional athletes are being spoken to about how 
sports betting has affected their like love of the game and the way they interact with the game and the fans and all of that. And people are talking about how, you know, fans, fans like don't even care about the game. They care about the stats of the game that will earn them money now. And it's just like so infested with gambling. Um, and I just find that somewhat relevant because I would argue that some of those things are true in gaming. Like you find there's so many gambling mechanisms that kind of destroy or, you know, if they negatively impact the integrity of the game, yeah. in, in my opinion. That's for sure. I think you, you see a very similar thing, actually, with, you know, you know, there's, there's a, are you aware of the concept of a, a play to earn game? It's kind of one of the horrific dystopian things that crypto has created. Um, and, and like how, when you have a system like that, people's engagement with the game fundamentally changes, right? Because they're no longer playing for fun because everything has a dollar value on it, basically. And it just turns it into an absolute dystopian hellscape where uh, essentially like everyone is just grinding like the most money per hour pretty much. And it's just, it's a living hell, essentially. Like it, it's a living hell <laughs> of, of video games. You know, it's like somewhat tangential to that. Yeah, it's, it is quite interesting. Mm all of this stuff i there i would like to see a lot of different gambling things just straight up banned there is a the reason all of this conversation started is there is a player for the toronto raptors again basketball that's be, currently being investigated because there were some really interesting gambling props put on this guy and he's he's not like a not like a big player he's like a backup backup kind of player i think and so there was some there was some kind of like suspicious things happening with his over and under and people betting like obscene amounts of money mm. and so there's question about whether or not this player was like essentially rigging it mm. you know and having his friends bet on him or whatever and then of course there's the the baseball thing that came out where I forgive me if I pronounce his name incorrectly. It's Shohei Otani, I think. I think he's a, a Japanese basketball. Player. Again, I could be wrong about that. Or baseball player. I don't know a lot about baseball. Um, but my understanding is this guy's like one of the best players in the league or something. And his assistant um, apparently had like some kind of gambling addiction or so something like. I, again, details could be wrong, but was gambling a whole bunch of money. Um, and it could be in sports, and so there's yeah. question about whether or not that was actually um, the the player. But uh, of course, that's all under investigation and and whatnot. Yeah. And of course, in our small realm of Guild Wars Two, there's question about you know the authenticity of the monthly automated tournament winners <laughs> and whether or not they're <laughs> ah yes, the monthly AT. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. $400. Is he a Korean baseball player then? I Again, I, I don't know if he's from Japan or Korea. Hey, Yellow Monkey and uh, Bungs. That's the prize, by the way, I guess. I just remember... Let me check, actually. I'm very curious now. I thought it was Japan. How do you combat gambling and MTX from hurting the authentic gaming experience? Uh, the, you can't. You have to remove them. Um, it, like, if you have MTX and gambling in your game, the only cure is uh, surgical removal. You make a statement um, like the Larian Studios made, where they basically said, we're not adding anything like this shit because we know it makes the game worse. That's the situation. Ah, what did they say? No, there are no in-game purchases in our game. We believe in providing a complete and immersive gaming experience without the need for additional purchases. Enjoy the game to its fullest without any costs or microtransactions. Uh, that is the only cure. That's based. That is the only cure uh, for this disease on the gaming industry. Yeah, that, that might even be zaced. Yeah, that's... I like That's that. how it is. Not. 
Thoughts on this? I mean, yeah, we Red know energy. they were porting Guild Wars 2 assets, but that wasn't necessarily Guild Wars 3. That could have been, like, using those assets to make a game in the same universe, right? All right, everybody, stick with me here. Here's what's going to happen. Guild Wars 3. Okay. Like, it's going to open with a cutscene. Official leaks, by the way, mm. of course. It's going to open with a cutscene. Yeah. And your you're like eyes are gonna open, you're gonna be like shaking your head, and you look around, and then you hear screaming in the distance, and you're like in the jungle, mm, in the and jungle. then you like break the jungle, and you see like a plane, and you were on a plane crash in the, on this island. Yeah. And, and like people are screaming, and it turns out that you're a doctor, and that you had like some extreme trauma in your life or something, but now you're like helping all these people, and you're like the leader, but in the jungle, there's like some mysterious beast. Mm. Uh, it's like killing people and stuff and you got to like figure out how to survive on this island and find the mystery of the island wow. <laughs> there, there is a smoke monster. How did you know? Mm. <laughs> have, have you seen that TV show? No, I haven't You haven't seen lost? No, <laughs> it's yeah <laughs> Yeah Yeah, it's lost Wow. <laughs> so, yeah, there's. Turns out there's a guy that can suddenly walk, but when he got on the the plane, he he, he couldn't walk. Mm. And that becomes an interesting plot. <laughs> yeah. Do you watch anime, Teapot? I don't know. I don't watch. Yeah, <laughs> I don't either. Do you watch anime, Snub? No, not at all. Uh, well, I mean, I've watched uh, Dragon Ball Z before, but it's been years. Mm. And I, I, does this even count? I don't know. Like, the people who enjoy anime are going to, like, cringe probably. But, like, is, what's that spirited away? Does that count? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that counts. <laughs> is that anime? I don't even think that's anime. I think that's just animation. <laughs> Yeah, I, th I mean, I think anime is, yeah. Not all animation is anime, I believe. It's not how it works. Yeah. It counts? Wait, press 1 if it counts, press 2 if it doesn't count. Because Spirit Away is legit, like, a very, very good film. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't like... even know what that is, so I can't tell you. You've never seen Spirited Away? You've got to be kidding me. You yeah. actually have to watch that. Why it, do I have it to watch it? It is animation masterpiece. Well, it's Holy just a shit. very good, like, it's very unique. You need to oh, watch it. Maybe I will then. Like, I don't I don't really watch um, a lot of that kind of stuff, but Spirited Away is just an absolute masterpiece. Holy shit. Yeah. That's high praise indeed. It's literally anime. Okay, well, guys, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, you're I'm in not trouble, Seb. The, no yeah, the anime police are on you now, bro. Like, you're in shit. Are yeah. you seeing this? Like, you're getting roasted. Yeah, I know. You're actually getting roasted now. You've disrespected the weeaboos, Snab, and they will punish you. Oh, boy. Yeah. I remember I used to always see this, like, Castle in the Sky um, trailer before I watched this other movie as a kid, but I don't remember mm. what the other movie was, and I never saw Castle in the Sky, but I assume that's considered anime as well. Yeah, no, you gotta watch Spirited Away now. Uh, what's the best movie you've seen lately, actually? The best movie I've seen lately? I don't think I've really seen any good films recently, to be honest. Yeah, see, I don't watch a lot of movies either, but Oppenheimer was fantastic. Mm. It was very good. Um, yeah, one of the best movies I've seen in a long time, for sure. Yeah. I Oh, guys, I have not seen Dune. Yeah, I haven't seen all. Dune yet either, so I mean, I, maybe that will be a good movie that I've seen recently, but yeah. I haven't seen it yet. Well, I haven't seen Dune 1. Have you seen Dune 1? I have, I, yeah. I haven't seen Dune at all. It's good. It's a good film. I want to figure out where I can watch it, because obviously I don't want to go see Dune 2 if I haven't mm. seen Dune 1. So. Well, you, can to, you can probably buy it, right? And just watch it. Yeah, I guess. Um, does anybody know if... Because, because this was, like, pretty high praise. I think somebody told me that Dune was, like... Sci-fi... Um, Lord of the Rings or something. And when they uh, said that, I was like, ooh, that's yeah, pretty... Yeah, kind of, I guess. Yeah, it would be somewhat analogous, I suppose. 
Movies suck? No, movies do not suck. Movies are good. I prefer movies to TV, actually. Um, massively. Really? I... Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, I kind of... Like, I can kind of guess um, maybe why. Like, I think that... I think that movies... I think that movies can tell a story in a, succinctly and cohesively, and sometimes TV shows are very hit or miss with the episode and maybe don't don't tell the story as well. Yeah, I, I like that it, uh, movies are... They're a single encapsulated thing, and I like that. I don't like... Uh, also, I, I, this isn't necessarily in all TV, but in a lot of TV, there's always a lot of filler, and I hate that. That's like, stop wasting my time. It, it is diminished to my enjoyment of it. Uh, I don't like filler. Filler is dog shit. And I know some people actively like filler, which is, you know, that's just a difference in opinion, right? That's how it is. Yeah, there, there are some TV series, though, that are, like, absolute masterpieces. Like, I don't think anyone can disagree about Breaking Bad being one of the greatest TV series of all time. Breaking Bad is absolutely fantastic. From start to finish, I don't think there's a bad episode of Breaking Bad. Yeah, I didn't watch it. Yeah, that's a shame. I watched Breaking the ending, Bad actually. Is, is very good. I watched the ending. Because I just look at something like that, and I go, this is seven seasons or whatever it is, and I go, I'm not watching this. Um, really? Yeah. I, like, it, it's it's basically like watching a movie every episode. It is very, very good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ooh, I, that's kind of a hot hot take. Better Call Saul being better. I, I think you can... Um, I, think, I think anyone that's seen both can agree with me here. Better Call Saul is is elite like very good but it's much slower at the beginning especially than breaking bad it's it's quite different and it's a little bit slower at the beginning and i i personally found that a little bit frustrating um but i stuck with it and i really enjoyed it mm. in the end yeah yeah his dark materials was very good actually and i'm actually really enjoying three body problem precisely because it is no bullshit um, th these are the TV series that I really enjoy, yeah. Like, there's no filler in those shows, and I like that. Uh, what I found very frustrating about Game of Thrones is that Game of Thrones is always, fuck all happens, and then all of the important plot stuff happens in, like, episode 7, uh, like, 8, 9, and 10, right? Like, that, that was always my big frustration with that show in particular, is like, yeah, I know that I don't really care about this, they're gonna just tease you with what's actually supposed to happen, and then they hit you with it at, like, right at the end of the series every single time. Uh, I was always very annoying. Uh, his Dark Materials was good, precisely because of that, but I would have preferred it as a film, to be honest. Um, and the same thing with uh, Three Body Problem. I'd prefer if it was a film, or in that case, probably a trilogy of films, because it's like a trilogy of books. But yeah, Three Body Problem is very good. Have you seen that, Snub? It's very high tier, actually. No. Have yeah. you ever seen The 100? No, what is that? Th this one, this, this is a good example of a TV series that has bad episodes, or seasons. <laughs> has anybody seen The 100? It is... It started off as so interesting to me. Like, it was so good. It's, it's very sci-fi, right? That, uh, to give you an idea, the premise is that there are these people that are living on a space station, okay. essentially, in, in space, because yep, in space. Um, Earth, has be, Earth has become uninhabitable. Okay. And so they have to wait all this time, and then they're going to send people down to, to, like, repopulate Earth, right? And so um, they end up sending these like a hundred kids or something that were all like, there's basically like death penalty or something on the space. It's been a while since I've seen it. So something like that. So like these kids were like basically going to die unless because they had broken the rules. Because obviously when you're on a, a station like that and food and whatever is in very, is very, um, short supply mm -hmm. then there's a lot of rules and so people there was like really big punishments if you made a mistake and like you could you couldn't have multiple children and like all, all these kinds of rules so these kids go down there and then a whole bunch of crap happens and it's very interesting um but there's like two seasons that i watched and the whole time i was like what the hell is happening <laughs> like, yeah what 
what has this become? Like it started to just make less and less sense. And it just was like focusing on very strange parts of the, like the story and universe. And it's like, I do not get it. But I will say, yeah. there is one episode that I remember. It's like the, the finale of one of the seasons. I won't spoil it, but it is the best ending to any, any TV show season oh, I have ever watched. Wow. I was, yeah, it was, was absolutely, amazed. it was, it, it was very impactful. It mm. was fantastic. Yeah. And so you, you had to go through like two seasons of absolute sludge and then you finally <laughs> got to like this really good, this really good season. And then the finale was fantastic. Yeah. Well, that's the 100. Yeah. And they're both good. I like TV, I like movies. There's some good TV out there. Movies have been slacking. They've been fairly mediocre, I think, but... Well, I, um... I prefer no, the I, movie, Snap. Actually... Look, Lord of the Rings... Can you imagine Lord of the Rings as a TV show? It'd be fucking dog shit, okay? Like, uh, that would... <laughs> Come on, we all know what's going on there. Like, it would be way worse. Like, it, this is the... Well, the film was you know... the superior way to experience that, uh... Yeah, they, they that were series. very good. Yeah. We know what's going on here. They want to know more details. Let me let me look it up. I I, I would have to look up. It had seven seasons. Dude, was it season six? I mean, Rings of Power could have been pretty good. People hate on Rings of Power, but it wasn't that bad, guys. I was entertained by it. it wasn't the best, wasn't the worst. I've seen a lot worse than that. Rings of Pee Pee Poo Poo. Well, I guess so, yeah. Have you heard of the Pee Pee Poo Poo Man, Snub? <laughs> um, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what do you mean, what am I talking about? What are you talking about? I mean, what do you mean, what am I talking about? It's a pretty normal question, no? I, 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 do, not, I do not know what you're talking about. Hmm. Well, maybe you should. Snab Slug. When is the slug stream coming? I guess we've got nothing to talk about, Snab. It's over. No, I'm just... I'm trying to find it. I, I'm now... Trying to... Um, mm -hmm. I'm trying to find this episode that, yeah. that was like the... The, the, the relevant one. Oh, it might have been season four. Okay. Yeah, it might have been... It might have been the episode called Prime Fire. Mm-hmm. It might have been. Okay. There were a couple that were quite good. Oh, 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 oh. It, no, it was uh, the one that I was thinking, like that one's really good, but the one that I was thinking about is actually season five, the oh. last episode of season five. Okay. Yeah. See, this one talking it about, Sneb. Very good. Three seasons should be the max for any show. That's reality here. Uh, yep. After that, it's going to start to go downhill. It's going to end up being dog shit. We all know it. Well, I mean, look, I've got some hot takes here. The Lord of the Rings, the Lord of the Rings TV series. Okay. It was pretty bad to start, but it did get a lot better. It did. Yep. Don't need any more seasons than three. Three is good. One season per book. Like, if you've got, like, a trilogy of books, one season per book is, that's, you know, I can respect that. I can respect that. Look, Rings of Power, It I, I fell asleep in the first, like, three episodes, mm. but after that, it did get better. There's one episode where it has, like, a bit of a turning point. Yeah. And then I was somewhat pleased with it after that. Okay. But, That's after, but, but it was it was pretty bad to mm. begin with. There wasn't enough action for me. I was, I was getting bored by the drama. Yeah. Like, I watched Lord of the Rings movies because not only was the story good and the character development good and all of that, but... 
But like when Gandalf like is like leading the reinforcements at the dawn, and they, and it's like, look to the whatever on the dawn of the third day or whatever, and and they see him, and then they charge down the hill, and the music plays, and they just slaughter the mm -hmm. orcs. Like holy crap! Like the combat in that mm -hmm. is freaking sick. Mm -hmm. It's good. It is good. It is. <laughs> Rings of Power yeah. is the epitome of cringe. It's fucking harsh. Holy shit. <laughs> That's pretty harsh. That is yeah. harsh. That is very harsh. Yeah. I think it is extremely funny, Seb, that the Guild Wars 3 leak happened at literally the same time as April 1st, or, or very close to it. That is actually insane. Like, what a incredibly amusing coincidence, no? Like, or, 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 or what do you think? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I am entertained. Now we just have to, like, sit back and watch the chaos for a while. Yep. I know, I think we have to... It will be interesting to see how long it's going to take for Arena to make a statement um, on this. That's the big one for me, I think. Like, what... Uh, how is that going to play out? Like, how long is it going to take them to actually um, have a thing? Have a, have a statement uh, that's going to be made on that? That's going to be the interesting one, I think. Because they have to say yeah. something. But, of course, wait. Well, today is Thursday, right? So they have... You know, they probably aren't going to do anything before the weekend, right? It's going to be next week, nope. I guess, is when they'll probably say anything, if they're going to make any kind of statement, which is pretty interesting, I think. Yeah. they got to wait till it blows uh, blows out. Well, I mean, look, the media is going to be all over this shit, okay? Like, very much like a fly on shit. Moth to a flame. They're going to be going crazy. They should put out a statement yeah, on April brilliant. 1st. I mean, that would be funny, actually, yeah, if they did that. I would be amused by that. Yeah, it's just, it's so weird because now if if they don't address it, it's like every everything that they say, you're going to be like, well, but you know, you're, you're just going to be thinking about this other potential thing. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I wish they hadn't said anything. I, I think it, it kind of sucks now because... Frankly, I was I was kind of happy with the like, oh yeah, you know, we're really invested in Guild Wars 2. We're gonna make some more expansions and blah 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 blah. Right? Like, yeah. I was I was fine with that. But now I'm like, well, it it just makes you question that a little bit. It does. Yeah. What if they made a guild? What if Guild Wars Three is actually a TV series? Holy shit! They're doing like riot with with Arcane, Arcane Snab. Oh my god! Yeah. I'm so hyped about <laughs> Arcane they... season two, Snab. It's so exciting! Wow. What if Guild I Wars Three is an anime? I love Arcane. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen Arcane. I've no. I idea get chills just about thinking it. about Arcane Snab. What if Guild Chills. Wars 3 was a very low budget anime? <laughs> I, mean, I guess that's that is a possibility. Maybe not the uh, most likely possibility, but you know, I guess it's not impossible. Oh, what was that TV series about the zombies? I think it was like a zombies? Is it Korean? Um, no, no, no. Walk Okay, do not watch The Walking Dead. I actually Everybody listen, do not watch The Walking Dead. Do not. Wow. Do not, not watch The Walking Dead. Okay. Do not watch it. Do not. Okay? Why not? Do not watch that TV series. I mean, why, why not? Because it's really good, and then there's one season that's so grotesquely <laughs> violent in one scene. Jesus. That it, actually, okay. that it will actually disturb you. It, it huh. actually, like, it made me sick. And and like it's a gory show. They're like killing zombies, yeah, and crap, yeah. right? But there, there's there's one moment in the TV series. It's like the the la It's a season finale. Everyone's gonna know what I'm talking about. Okay. You can you can freaking look it up. I'll just tell you. There's there's um, 
I think it's the end episode of season seven, I think it is. Yeah. Um, and there's, it's with Glenn. That's, that's all you need to know. Um, and you can look it up. It is the most grotesquely violent thing <laughs> I have ever seen. It's like senseless violence. Huh. Um, there's the difference between like killing some zombies, and, like chopping zombies heads off or whatever. And, and what you witnessed there. Like it is <laughs> okay. so disturbing. It is it is so disturbing that I actually was like, I, I was watching it late at night and I couldn't sleep. It, it disturbed me that strongly. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, don't watch it. It will mess you up. It is horrific. And and if go look at the trend line of the ratings, that episode happens and it like tanks the TV series, like absolutely tanks it. Interesting. And and I'm not the only one I mean, who thinks this. Like my my parents watched it too, and they were they were like, "Yeah, you." They warned me. They tried to warn me. They were like, "Don't watch it," and I was like, "Okay." And then I did. <laughs> oh. Interesting. I mean, please listen to me. Do not watch it. It will it will mortify you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah season seven, episode sixteen. Do not watch it. I'm telling you, please. Interesting. I mean, did they? Did they? Is that like the only time that happened? Like they, they did it stop being well, as violent after that, okay, or, or what? Like, what's the situation? Hey, slight, slight spoiler alert. Okay, okay. everybody, slight, slight spoiler. spoiler. Listen up. If you don't want the spoilers, piss off. There you go. Yeah, there is a there is a character that is like is everybody loves this character. Like the one of the top characters in the show. Everybody loves this character. Okay, is like a very noble and kind person, and like very selfless and all of this stuff. Um, and there's a lot of death in this show. And um, yeah, again, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. This character dies in the most senseless, evil, horrific way possible. Okay. Um, and it is, it is disturbing because of how, like the character development is so good in the show that you like really like this character, right? And then they go and just brutalize him. And it's just, and and it's not it's not a quick death we'll put mm. it that way okay so it's like it's horrible mm. it's horrible yeah it's it's really horrible it's one of those situations where i wish they would not have stuck to the comics cuz i didn't know about the comics they could have just not done that yeah yeah it was oh man anyway I started by saying there's this other show where there's like, I think it's, I think it's like a Korean show, um, but there's all these students or something and they, um, there's like a lockdown or something like, or like a plague going around and everyone's becoming zombies. Okay. Does everybody know what I'm talking about? It's not, it's not The Walking Dead. I can't remember what it's called. It's on Netflix, I think. Okay. And that's, I feel like that's pretty generic for zombie-themed shows, though, right? There's, like, Plague. Yeah. And I don't, I don't remember what it's now. called. And what? Yeah, they had to, like, survive. That was a good, that was a good series, though. Okay. All of us are dead. Yeah, you got it. That's, that's what it is. All I of got us it. are dead. That was really good. Yeah. Guys, uh, like, look, I've, I've seen a lot of shows... Nothing has impacted me more than that Walking Dead episode. It 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 was revolting. <laughs> uh, I know that there's like crazy violence and crap in other shows, but it, it's because you become so attached to that specific character. And wow, like I yeah, mm. I I actually never watched another episode again. I'm not kidding. I I've I've not not watched past season seven. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I, I like every time I see the recommended come up for that. Sh I just can't do it. You can't handle it's, it. It totally just, yeah, it totally destroyed it for me. Yep. Like, I don't know how anyone kept watching after that. Like, <laughs> I can't do it. Wow. Yeah. yeah Nico says he's, he's into it. He, he wants to see the show now because of that scene. <laughs> Yeah, maybe some people, I mean, honestly, some people probably are less impacted by it, but I get really, like, attached to the characters. Like, um, in Lost, again, spoiler alert, this is a super old show, so nobody should care, but 
In Lost, one of the saddest episodes for me is when Charlie dies. Um, and they actually, like, it was really long and drawn out because um, basically this guy's like, in your future, you're going to die. Hmm. And he's like, oh, crap. And he's like, the longer you put it off, the more frequent, like, the, the times you're going to die are going to happen. Hmm. And, like, it's going to happen eventually, but I'm going to try to stop as many as I can. And then he... He dies trying to save some other people at the end. It's very sad. Good character. Yeah. We finished the raid in WoW. Did you? Yeah. Did you win? We did. We won. We achieved victory. Any good items? No, I got nothing and it feels bad. Literally fucking nothing. Uninstall. Insane. If you play the raid, you deserve to get the drop. Yeah, I do. So, I do. I feel very entitled, in fact, Snap, to the drop. The fact that I didn't get anything, I'm unsubscribing. This game is dog shit. Yeah. The only relevant MMO is Guild Wars 3, Snap. Yeah. Which is Guild going Wars to be 3? a mobile game. Only. <laughs> what, if, what if what if ArenaNet? Goes to like PAX West and they like rent out a theater hall. Just imagine this, just for a moment. And then they spend like 45 minutes shilling Funko Pops, but not the actual Guild Wars 3. <laughs> what if they did that? That'd be insane. What if that? There's no way. They there would is do that. no way they would ever do that. Surely they would. No way, do that. people would like fly across the the country to go to the announcement about the new like game or whatever. <laughs> and then they you know not talk about it like at all. No way that would happen. Forty eight hour countdown. It's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Please be a booba MMO. I mean, every MMO is going to be a booba MMO, guys. You know that shit. <sighs> Name one MMO that isn't a booba MMO. <sighs> if the game doesn't nearly get you banned off Twitch, is it even a real MMO? A booba. Uh, yeah. That's true, Achi. You know, New World actually wasn't a booba MMO. That's very true, actually. <laughs> Yeah, no, sorry, for everyone that said RuneScape, everybody knows, like, the Sandwich Girl meme or whatever. Wait, what? Every Everybody's obsessed with the Sandwich Girl. In, in... Wait, in RuneScape? Wait, what's the meme? I'm I looking think it's it the up. Sandwich Girl. Okay, Sandwich Girl meme. I've looked it up. RuneScape. What the fuck is this? Wait, what, what the <laughs> fuck? Okay, what is this? Wait. <laughs> Okay, oh, no. listen, you RuneScape people are exposed as fuck. This, this is currently one of the top results for this. It's actually the feet of the sandwich girl. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Okay? Like, I love RuneScape. <laughs> yeah. What a surprise. Bunch of foot fetishists. <laughs> RuneScape, the RuneScape community, they're, they're unhinged, but like, mm. I like them. They're like the good kind of unhinged. Yeah. You know, one one minute, everybody's like talking about the sandwich girl's feet. The next minute they're, you know, they're like helping one of their own, mm. you know. Actually, my favorite part about the RuneScape community is like, <laughs> somebody will go on the subreddit and they'll post, I have no friends, IRL or online, but I'm about to hit 99 Slayer. Does anyone want to have a party? Let's and there's go. a clan. There is a clan dedicated to just throwing parties for people that hit a 99 in a skill. Mm. They just all show up. Like, we're talking like a thousand people. Well, maybe not a thousand, but like hundreds of people will just show up to the, this party uh, just because they just want a party. <laughs> that, that's it. That, that's all the clan is for is celebrating people's 99 accomplishments randomly. Yeah, I, I think it's, the, it's awesome. the RuneScape community seems to be extremely healthy, actually. Their subreddit is actually good. Um, oh, and, yeah. And they have, like, there's a really good content creation scene as well, right? I, I think that um, the RuneScape scene is really good. Definitely one you'd want to aspire to. Oh, did you, did you hear what happened, though? Wait, what happened? Have you heard? 
um, I mean, Kick went and th th like go look up the Kick's Twitter. They they're just like we just went ahead and like bought all of the RuneScape streamers. Wait, did wait what? Like, it, oh yeah, go look it up. They they bought like tons of people. Now I, I think I don't think they have like complete exclusivity deals, but they're like trying to pull viewers off of OSRS. Holy shit! So many people went to Kick. Like I think Bodie went to Kick. Huh? Yeah, it was a lot. They just they went and just like paid out like the category. Huh? You know, Twitch, you know, this is really interesting, honestly. Like, I feel like uh, Kick is fascinating because Twitch literally can't compete against Kick because Kick doesn't care about making money. Um, or at least not on their platform. They can offer ridiculous deals like 90-10 and pay even relatively middle or even small streamers actual good money to stream on their platform. It's insane. Like, if Kick wanted to, they could give me a deal that there's no fucking shot Twitch could ever even come remotely close to replicating. Um, that's interesting, actually. It's a, They're very disruptive in the uh, streaming scene for that reason. Very interesting stuff. Yeah. You know, it's, it's... I mean, the... It's... Sorry, go ahead. Well, I was just gonna say, right? Like, even even myself, like, I often think, like, how would I respond to that? Like, if Twitch said, we'll give you a hundred grand to stream on our platform for a year, like, fuck me. That's a good deal. Holy shit. That's an insanely good deal. Yeah. And it's a deal that, by the way, would not actually be out of scope for the size of streamer that I am and how much Twitch offers people. Bear in mind, guys, I think um, Twitch paid... How much did Twitch pay? Um, oh, sorry. Uh, how much did Kick pay XQC? Was it, like, a hundred mil? Um, even more than that? Oh, it was insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an insane yeah. deal. And obviously, XCC is way more impactful than me, right? But there are streamers who are not that much bigger than me that have also got some insane deals, right, um, from Kick. Like, some ridiculous deals in that regard. Kick is 100k. Dude, yeah, Boaty's worth way more than 100k. 100k is nothing for Boaty. Uh, well, it's not nothing, but that's nowhere yeah. near enough for, to, <laughs> to get Boaty. Oh, yeah, sorry, uh, guys. I meant like Kick. If... I meant Kick. I misspoke. Uh, yeah, I I think it'd be very difficult. It, it would be very difficult. Like all, all the people that would say, "Oh, well, there's all the this ethics behind." It. At some point, everyone's got a price. Everyone's you, got you a number. Say that, yeah, like, everyone's everyone, got a everyone's number. Everyone's got a price. Yep. Yep. And it, like, if like if somebody came to me and they offered me a hundred thousand dollars to live stream all day, Yeesh. I take it in a second. Yeah, I mean, that's, it, it, like I. Yeah. I, because for me, yeah. like I have two kids, and this is life change. Well, is, is it super life changing? It's it's a job, right? It's yeah. a job that I would enjoy and that I'm passionate about. So it's it would be pretty hard to say no. Mm. It would be very hard to say no, especially if you still have a lot of autonomy. Like you're doing your own content and all of that stuff. You're just getting compensated to do what you want. Yeah, for sure. It would be very hard to say no to yeah. that. Like a hundred grand. That's that's very significant. That's that's definitely in the realm of life changing. To be honest, at least for uh, for me, hundred yeah. k is a lot of money. Yep. But yeah. Wait, Jester's calling me. Hang on, I gotta pick up the phone. Yo, Jester, bro. what's going on, Yo, bro? What the fuck happened on that boss, by the way? Also, do you want to do pre quests? I can't. Oh. I can't. I got keys. Um, so you guys can go without me, though. It's fine. I can. Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 You wiped us, though. We will remember that. There will be a judgment oh, in yeah. the future. Well, I mean, you know? Yeah, I mean, the, the boss did pull. The boss did pull. I will admit that. Yeah, I mean, I had no wipe buffs. Something weird yeah. happened on the previous Yeah, boss, I believe but, you got knocked you off know. the edge. You know, you were um, uh, Like, like, definitely yeah. like. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was basing. judgment day, honestly. It was judgment day for Frosty not being on fire and everyone doing six DPS. Um, so, yeah. Dude, I did okay on the first two bosses, but then yeah. I lost the world buffs. And, world buffs, yeah. GG. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I mean, I might be able to prequest like very late if people are still playing. But I mean, yeah, I'll be I'll be around on um, Saturday for sure. But yeah, today I've okay. Yeah, uh, we, we just know then. That yeah, we're gonna yeah, go you, without you. Can go, you can go with, uh, leave you behind. Yeah. Yep. No problem. Yeah, you can back to, back to talking to Snap now. Yeah, I'm going back. I'm calling the goose back. How far could you stretch 100k as a streamer, though? I mean, 100k is uh, it's a lot of money, guys. I mean, 100k would be great. You can yeah. save. You can. You can live very comfortably off of 100k. Very oh, comfortably. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm speaking from a, a dad of two, right? So like, I could. I could do very well. And if you're your own boss and just making your own content, you make your own schedule. That means I can be 
more involved in all of my kids' activities and stuff. So I, it's really hard to say no to something like that. Actually, also one thing here. Someone here says uh, booba is way worse than gambling. Absolutely not. Gambling is infinitely worse than booba. Okay, look, listen up, chat. Okay, if you really think that... Listen, let, let's, let's be honest here, guys. If there's a bunch of, like, you know, horny degenerates out on the internet, like... Twitch is the least of your problems, okay? Like they will they will find their booba, okay? They will they will go on the hunt, okay? Like <laughs> It's uh gambling is actually fucked up. Booba is uh I mean who cares? It's whatever. Oh wait, dude, actually uh response from Enet by the way. Response from Enet snub. Oh, we've got oh. a response. Um while NCSoft is clearly talking about Guild Wars 3 in their recent shareholders meeting, ArenaNet is shying away from the topic. In a statement to MMORPG.com following our request for comment this morning, ArenaNet said the following. As an active game studio, we are always doing internal exploratory work for possible future titles we want to create. However, we have nothing to confirm right now. The team's focus is on Guild Wars 2 development, including the game's next expansion, which we're excited to talk about soon. Ooh, that is an interesting response. Well, that's exactly what I expected so not really mm. for me that that's uh hey we acknowledge that this happens and yeah that's they're, they're just trying to normalize it they're like yeah of course we'd be working on these things we have nothing to say though because it's so early in development but the problem is that that's just kind of unfulfilling because now there's lots of questions people have mm. so yeah mm. it's an interesting spot to be in for them I, I think that's the appropriate response, but it's still never going to be fully satisfying. Yeah, I mean, it's a complete non-statement, no? Like, this is a nothing statement, uh, realistically. It, it, this is nothing. Yeah, no one will ever feel that great about it. Yeah. yeah. The tunnel. You know what, Snub? I'm just going to say it. I love tunneling. Do you? I do, yeah. I do. And I admit that I do. The tunnel is life. The tunnel was the best update in Guild Wars 2 history. Name a better update than the tunnel, Snub. Um... When they, like, fixed one of the game crashes. Hmm. That was a pretty good update. Yeah. Relative. Yeah. Long chart. Long chart was pretty funny, actually. Take us back to the cleansing nuke. Also, yo, Nace. Thanks for the resub, by the way, bro. Everyone subscribe now, guys. One sub is one Guild Wars 2 expansion. That's how it works. What is this? We will charge. Yeah. Will Guild Wars 3 be added to the Furnace Taken website? Is it? Okay, yeah. Guild Wars 3 has been announced. I like, I like how it's a picture. <laughs> Mistakes into miracles. There we go. Corpa. Corpa. I'm going to take a look at the subreddit. Also, yo, Snap, how do you react to the fact that uh, Nike is now the official community manager for uh, Good Wars 2? How do you I already, already snubbed. You no, know, congratulations. Mm. I think it's a particularly good move. And that he, I'm curious about, I'm curious about what exactly his first move will be. I think that he will particularly look at noob stink mm. and try to yeah. get deodorant for, for players that do smell. Mm. So we'll see. Someone has just left a YouTube video on a comment I made for uh, on a, uh, a YouTube comment on a video I made four years ago, that, and it just says this video is better than porn. <laughs> you should say thank you. This means a lot to me. <laughs> just you know, 
It's an interesting, uh, interesting statement there. Weirdly enough, it was actually my guide on how to navigate the interface in Guild Wars 2. Yeah, or you could you could respond and just be like, I think so too. <laughs> just like leave it at that. Do you think a readnet's gonna say any more? Not right now. They legit have nothing. Yeah, what they gave they. They have to figure out, yeah. right? Yeah, but I mean, what do, what do you think they're going to say? Because that is a non-statement. Will they make an actual statement? Well, the, maybe, but they, they have to like unite on what the narrative is going to be. And mm. So it's definitely not going to be for a while. They have to have something to say. Right, they don't have anything to say right now. Cause like, I mean, think about this. Like, isn't Ruby on vacation? I don't know. Something. Wait, I don't know. Maybe. What if Grouch like, just turns only... on the stream and says, "Guild Wars Two is dead." Yeah, I think like this is the perfect time. Like, I bet half their marketing team is on vacation right now, because like half my um, my workforce is on vacation right now. It's Easter. Like they're all they're all away. Mm. This is the worst time for this to happen. Yeah, it is not good. It's definitely not good. I don't know why NCSoft did that. Yeah. It seems like a mistake. Oh yeah, see it was I I was on um Ruby's Twitter. So for example, like Ruby said vacation starts now. See y'all April 1. So yeah, like tons of people are going on vacation right now. It's just that like kind of time of year. Hey, okay, don't give it's, it's a weird a, time. Thanks for subs, guys. It is a weird time. Yeah. A whole overhaul dev tool system and graphical engine upgrade? I mean, yeah. The thing is, though, is that... <laughs> the thing about that is, is that, like, is that really that good? Um, is that really enough to justify an entirely new title? Um, I feel like, no. I think they have to change the game more than that. Uh, or I don't think it's really that relevant, to be honest. That will be a huge amount of work. I'm not sure if the payoff is going to be there relative to the amount of work they put in. Yeah. They have no idea how game uh, development works. Well, I mean, to be honest, that was just a that was just a fuck up. Let's be honest. That's what that was. So, one thing I've been doing lately is just bringing in random treats to the office at work. Because mm -hmm. I think it's kind of fun. Yep. So I've been like baking random things. Like I baked some pies the other day, some apple pies. Mm -hmm. And they were very good. But uh, I made peanut butter cookies the other day. And I'm not like some expert baker or anything. I just like, read a recipe and do the thing. But for the peanut butter cookies, it's literally three ingredients. Anybody can do this, by the way. Okay. One cup sugar, one cup peanut butter, one egg. Mix together, roll into small ball, put on baking sheets, put in the oven at like 350 for like 10 minutes or so. 
I mean, just, is it 350? It's about that. I don't know. It could be 400, but you, you, yeah, depending on the size of the cookie. That's it. That's it. And like all of my coworkers are emailing me being like, man, those cookies were so good. <laughs> <laughs> they really like the cookies a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's 33% sugar, yeah. Yeah, Canada's weird everybody. We we are like this weird American European hybrid. Okay. okay. Like I'll tell you that I'm 6 foot 2 tall. Yep. But I'll also tell you that I go 100 kilometers an hour on the highway. Right? So we we kind of use both systems a lot. But like in our medical system, it'll tell me how much I weigh and how tall I am in um, like centimeters and kilograms and stuff, but I I actually couldn't tell you those numbers <coughs> because I don't personally <coughs> measure it in those numbers. So it's it's weird. Yeah, I'm dead. It's over. <coughs> I'm not gonna live to see Guild Wars three, guys. Fuck. <coughs> Sneb is short king energy. I think me and Sneb are actually about the same height. In fact, we Dort? definitely are. I'm, you think six foot two is short? Well, that's what Luaran just said. Luaran says you are a short king. Well, what does this mean? I don't know. Huh. I thought my wife and I. Well, I'm. I think I'm not quite six foot two. I'm more like six one. Um, I'm somewhere in the middle there. I think, depending I, on how much I slouch, probably. It's one of the most interesting things about the internet, I think. I think it's very difficult to tell how tall someone is on on stream. It's very difficult it's to true. do, that, I think. It's true. It's super weird when you meet people IRL, because that happened, right? Because when I went to PAX West, it was super weird, because I'm, I'm like, freaking tall, man. <laughs> like, I just, like, met all these people. Um, and I... And, I, like, how do you even explain this? Like, because you're just seeing everybody on a screen or whatever, particularly streamers, you just all assume that, like, everybody's the same height. Yeah. That's just kind of how it feels. Yeah. But that's not the case. Yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of strange. But a bunch of my um, friends from the SG community are actually around my height as well. Yeah. Uh, my wife is um, six feet tall as well, so we're like giants when we go anywhere. Yeah. She was a basketball player in college. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about 190 centimeters tall, guys. It's like, it's like around uh, six foot two, six foot three, something like that. I think I'm 187 or something. So we're mere centimeters in difference. Who is the tallest person? Who is the shortest person in chat? That's a good question. There's, uh, I, there's almost certainly some pretty... I know there's some tall people here. At least six foot six. Probably someone even taller than that, actually. No, Luke's pretty tall. Statistically, there should be someone very tall here, actually. Because there's quite a lot of people watching. Yeah. Ah, yes. Wait, that's not that tall. I lied. It's only five seven. I thought it was gonna be like five nine or ten. I I didn't math very well. Mm. But you're still tall in my heart. It's okay. Snap is one Sarah centimeter Seal. tall. <laughs> ah yes, Saras. When are you killing Saras CM, Snub? When are we doing that? Um, I'm working on it. Yeah. As long as I don't die in the process, you know. Yesterday was rough. Yeah. I felt really bad. Like, I do not like to bail on people. Um, like, here's an example. I, I was not feeling well the last couple days. And I almost went into work yesterday anyway. Mm. But my coworker convinced me not to. <laughs> so. It's, it's kind of a weird thing ever since COVID because... Uh, you don't like to use COVID as necessarily as like an excuse to not be at work because a lot of people did that, frankly. 
Um, but I think the culture around being sick and going to work has shifted. It used to be like, you go no matter what. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was in like my second or third year of university, I went to class so sick that the professor sent me home. Um, and I only, I, I, oh my gosh, I was up all night. I was like, I was white as a ghost. Um, it was terrible. But I went because I had an exam in another class that day. And I went and I was just like, I had like the chills and stuff. And the professor was like, dude, like you are not okay. And I was like, I feel horrible. And he's like, why don't you go home? And it's like, I have an exam in another class. And like, I could barely focus. Like I was just so out of it. At the end of the class, he came up to me and he said, I am gonna vouch for you and you are not gonna take that exam because that is not gonna happen. Like you are so sick. And so I went and found the professor and obviously I looked super sick and I was like, hey, I'm super sick. And this professor, I was gonna take the test anyway, but this other professor told me to come talk to you and tell you that I'm going home. <laughs> and he was like, okay, no problem. Well, there you have it. Yeah. New culture is definitely better. Sneb went to school sick to deliberately infect everyone there. Making when them sick. I was a sick. student. I never, I never go to work sick now, basically. I, I don't like to. I, I think if you can work from home, you should when you're not feeling well. But ultimately, it's better that you get rest. Um, because otherwise, you're just going to prolong how sick you are. And that's not fun. No. Yeah, I think it's a North American culture thing that people used to go to work super sick. I, I think it's also like a necessity. It's like that in the too. UK. People. Like people, I, it would is piss it? me off so much, man. When I was at school, and this is a while ago, it was like 10 years ago, obviously. All these fuckers, they'd all come to school sick. They're like, oh, I've got a... Go, I've got to be in school. Oh my god. And and then they infect everyone. It's fucking cancer. I hate it. It's like that in work yeah. as well. People just show up and they just spread their filth everywhere. It's not good. I have a rent. I realize I don't know this about you. Did you ever work like a part time job or anything in school? Anything um, like that? Honestly, not so much, no. Have you always kind of worked for yourself? More or less, yeah. That's really interesting. It's like I've. I've had a ton of different uh, part-time jobs and stuff. I worked in uh, a restaurant and I worked room service at a hotel. And I worked um, for like a sporting event in the summer one time. Worked for a municipality. Mm. Worked a lot of random jobs. I have reacted uh, to Nike's announcement, yes. And guys, yes, it's obviously a troll. Uh, Nike is not actually the community manager. That would be extremely funny if that was the case, but it's obviously, <laughs> obviously not true. Yeah. When I read that, I kind of wondered, like, would someone from ArenaNet, like, say something? I, I kind of did wonder that, like, would they be like, no, this is not happening? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that's uh, it's a meme. I think what I did find I guess, slightly yeah, disturbing actually, what was slightly disturbing to me, Seb, is that some people on the subreddit actually thought it was real. Okay, like that was. The, oh yeah, they definitely did. I read that. Yeah, the psyop did actually work. Some people thought it was fully legitimate. Why did uh, they remove him from the partner program? Um, <laughs> well. <laughs> well. <laughs> He had a, I don't think that's really our story to tell, he, necessarily. Yeah, <laughs> he, he had a fairly negative opinion on a, a couple of things that uh, happened in, with the reading that. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. That's the situation. Nike, the Onion Lord. Yeah, he is indeed the Onion Lord. I, I actually think that some of the peak... Guild Wars 2 community stuff was when um, the Onion Farm was released. That was that was hilarity.
It was very funny when that happened. Can I join voice so you can explain the non-verbal meme? I will explain the non-verbal meme to you now. It's a very good story. Basically, WoW team, uh, Mythic Plus team. They played together for a while. It has a player called Nerf. Uh, Nerf Tank is his name. And also a healer called Ellesmere. Very well-known players, very good players. And... What, I don't know what's going on. It, you know, there, maybe there's some wider context to this exactly, but... You know, they were just doing a dungeon. Waycrest Manor, plus 30. Uh, and there's a concept in, uh, in World of Warcraft called a cheat death. When you die, like a, a, an effect can activate or an item can activate that can prevent you from dying. So that's the kind of the setup here. Um, you know, they're just clearing some of the trash, clearing some of the mobs. And Nerf, he dies. Activates his cheat death. He's, he's, he's already pissed. He's not happy at this point. He's like, I, you know, I cannot believe I died to that. I died to one mob. I'm going to go through the logs. And if you were using an offensive skill instead of healing me, then, you know, it's over for you, right? Like, you know, what was, what the fuck was this? People are kind of joking around, uh, memeing it up a little bit, you know, like, they didn't realize that nerf was very serious at this point. Um, and then they go on to the next trash pack. And then, my goodness, guys, an extreme violation happens uh the healer used his cc skill in the wrong order this this is the end for nerf he can he can't take it anymore he can no longer take it and basically he starts flaming he's going crazy like because oh you know you used it in the wrong order we always do it in this order like what the fuck are you doing what is this shit if you don't i, I don't know exactly what he said but he basically said like if you don't apologize or if you don't like just like admit that you completely fucked up there i'm going non-verbal uh and well you know obviously it, it was a very minor like whatever moment who cares um <laughs> at the moment but he stops talking he basically just does not talk until the end of the dungeon at that point uh this really pisses off another player on the team called jpc who's a very well known very good player and he basically says if nerf if nerf doesn't start talking again i am out completely i am done i am never playing with you ever again uh that of course is exactly what happens nerf doesn't start talking again jpc says yep it was fun guys uh yep see ya and basically the team dies they actually did successfully complete the dungeon, by the way. That's the, the funniest part of it. Uh, they did complete it, but yeah, that's the situation. Yeah. <laughs> did they disband? I mean, yeah. For, well, wait, that, I mean, JPC left. I think Nerf and Ellesmere are still playing together, but, uh, you know, the team is, you know, it, it, it crumbled. The team imploded. Incredible. Yeah. I'm going non-verbal IRL. Indeed. Nerf a bit of a rager? Oh, he is. Yeah, he is a bit of a rager. That's for sure. Obviously a very competent player, a highly skilled player, but yeah, you know, maybe, maybe a difficult person to be on a team with. I have a question for you. Okay, do it. You on this mission to prevent this sort of you're you're um you're vegan right yep okay so this local restaurant they they sell like smoked meat okay like they're they're a restaurant that specializes in like steak ribs like meat products right okay they you know how some restaurants they have like a little chalkboard they like put outside on the sidewalks so that people walk by they see the specials or it usually says something witty or has like a drawing or whatever okay so these folks, they, they did that and they wrote, they wrote, sorry, vegans, you might have to sit this one out. <laughs> and I thought that, that was hilarious, right? Because they don't sell anything that's vegan, right? They're like a meat place. Okay. Just like if you went to a salad bar, they may not have meat. Like it depends. Yeah. Like you went to a vegan place, they wouldn't have meat. And they have been eviscerated on social media. Like the vegans have come out and they are mad. And they're saying it's, it's insulting. What do you think? I mean, it depends the, the lens in which you view it, uh, to be honest. It's, a, you know, it, it, it's joking, I guess. You could consider it a little disrespectful, I suppose. Uh, to an extent, but I think what you've got to consider is like the lens that I think a lot of those people who are going to be responding to that like 
the the lens in which many of those individuals view this is that th this place literally murders is, is like committing a very serious like moral ethical violation right so like they're, they're obviously not going to be happy with a kind of nonchalant approach to that essentially like that's the, kind of like the way that people tip you know that's the way that some like some vegans are going to respond to something like that so they're obviously going to have a pretty visceral reaction to something like that yeah Somebody took a picture of it, put it on a bunch of like groups on Facebook, and now people are brigading their reviews, leaving one star. Yeah, this, I mean, nah, this was like you, a five star yeah, place. Yeah, and that's the, the owner lame. is like, let's be honest, the, the owner is quite devastated about this. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm trying to help them get rid of the one star reviews because I'm. Flagging them as because these people have never been there before. They're they're like not even from here, um, so they're just like brigading and leaving. Yeah, yeah. Like somebody just like will leave a review and just say gross, just have one star, and they've never been there. So I'm trying to flag them as spam and off topic and stuff, because they are. Yeah. One thing to leave a legitimate one star review. It's another thing to brigade and get people to try to like, yeah. destroy someone's livelihood. But, you know, let, let's be honest. I do think, you know, that is a little bit of a... Uh, I, I don't agree. I think um, review bombing is always stupid. That's silly. But getting a negative response to something like that, I mean, come on. You're kicking the hornet's nest there, no? Like, well, it's supposed you, to be funny. Like, if, yeah, if but who's, the, sense of who's the target of that joke, though? Who's the target of the joke, right? Like, I think it's... I think you can definitely make an argument that it's very weird to... Yeah. Have basically a piece of marketing that is targeted at people who fundamentally disagree with what you're doing, right? Like, I, I think you're going to understand Maybe. people are going to be a little pissed off, right? Like, you, you know, especially, yeah. especially if, uh, again, I think that there's going to be plenty of, like, uh, plenty of vegans who don't give a fuck. Like, realistically, the vast majority are just going to roll their eyes and move on at something like that. But there are going to be a lot of people who feel very passionately about it, like, particularly when it comes to. Uh, you know, the, the animal welfare end of this, essentially, and, like, animal rights and so on, uh, that they're gonna view that as a little bit of a... a little bit of an insult, right? Like, uh, a joke like that, for sure. Yeah, I, I, I kind of view the joke as pretty inoffensive. I mean, I don't really view it as offensive, but, um, it's... I can understand why some people would be annoyed at that. Uh, for sure. Maybe, but, like, to go so extreme to, like try to tear them down. I don't know. I, no, you I think it's a little bit. I mean, I think you can say whatever you like. Like, if, um, uh, this is the, my position. I think review the review bombing stuff is unacceptable. But if you want to actually shit talk them, I think there's actually nothing wrong with that, yeah. Um, like, yeah, if, sure. if, if like, it's, yeah. it's one thing if you disagree with what they're doing, but it's another yeah. thing if you've never been there, have no context, yeah, for and sure. you just want to try to, like, ruin someone's livelihood. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that's, I don't, I don't like the, I don't like it when people go after people's livelihoods in general for anything. Uh, like that's a little bit, a little bit silly for yeah, sure. Like, I personally would find it funny if the opposite were true, right? If you went to like a salad bar that did not have any meat. Yeah, but the difference they is, had, the, they had a thing. The difference is there is that you're not ideologically invested in that. Some people are. Some people like, are, but you legit. aren't. You, people... you aren't, you aren't though. Well, what I'm saying is that mm. I have a hard time believing that the, the people that are, like, subscribed to the carnivore diet and have all this crap, if they, if somebody had the opposite, I don't think that they would be as offended. They wouldn't be as offended because I think those two things are fundamentally different, right? Like, someone on the carnivore diet doesn't believe that eating plants is a fundamental moral evil. Someone who's vegan does. Uh, well, uh, if they're an ethical well, no, vegan. it's not true, if, necessarily. If they're an yeah, ethical vegan, yeah. And I, I, the... Who do you think's responding to that joke, right? It's ethical vegans, right? It's not going to be the, um, I don't know what you call the other thing, but like, a, I guess, dietary. people that aren't even vegans that yeah. are responding to it, too. I uh, think that they're just like, oh, this is so bad. I, I don't know. I think it's, pr like, on the list of things, if there's things to be worried about, I think that that's pretty low on the, like, offense list. I think there's. Uh, I agree. Uh, yeah, I don't disagree. Like that, that it's, joke. It's it's that pretty joke mild. It's definitely yeah. pretty mild. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, you're you're not wrong. It's. I think it's not really something that I I could would really consider worth. 
uh, getting getting pissed off about for sure. Put that jokes way too seriously. No, I, it's not that actually. Um, because I think you can have a neck if you if you make a joke that someone considers offensive, they are they can say whatever they want back to you. What they can't do is like try and ruin your life over it. Like that's where you go. Okay, that's a little bit silly. Um, yeah, yeah. You for, know, so, for some additional yeah. context here, the owner's brother is actually yeah. vegan. And so they were, it was just like a joke, right? Like they didn't think anybody was going to get that, uh, yeah. that upset about it. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is actually a good example here as well. Like, um, it, it, in, a, in the eyes of a vegan, uh, making a joke like that is a lot like making um, a homophobic joke or a misogynist joke, essentially. You think? I don't Absol think it's quite... Uh, no, 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 no. You don't think that, but they do. They do. If, yeah, they might. I just, yeah. I don't think you can equate, equate it that strongly. Yeah, they do, though. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, they might. Uh, so now it's it's having to deal with a lot of review bombs. Mm. Like, okay, anyone saying that they would review bomb, um, nah. you are a problem. Nah. Like that's yeah, don't, that's messed up. Man. Like, like no. you don't you don't review bomb people. Yeah. I I hate cancel culture. I think it's so bad. Like you could look if I ever got really upset about something, I would go to the person and be like, hey, like, I know you did this thing. Um, you, you, this is what you might want to consider in the future. Just like tell them my perspective. But there's this thing called retrenchment, which is to say that people actually will go deeper in their views if you antagonize them. And so you're actually accomplishing nothing by, um, cause now, now you're just, now you're just making them hate you, you know, like you're trying to destroy someone's life. Now they think you're evil. Yeah. I mean, I look. Like it, it I think it depends like how the way you do it. For, uh, for, here's like an interesting question. Like for example, would um, would you object to, um, l let's say in this particular example, right? Like would would you object to vegan saying like, wow, we think this is really fucked up. Don't go here. Is that okay? Because that that is but, it, speech. Just say whatever you want. Yeah, but I mean, in, in some way, isn't that in some sense, um, in some sense, that is what you could describe as cancel culture, no, to an extent. Like that, that is well, essentially- It's, it's one thing. Yeah. I think it, it, this is hard to speak about because it really depends on the context, right? I mean, there, there are maybe some things where like, look, there was this like gymnastics place yeah. near where I live that had like freaking pedophile that was working with kids there Jesus. or something. And okay. they, they got hard canceled when that released, right? Obviously, because mm. uh, that's a pretty severe thing. Um, and <laughs> that place was like shut down because everyone freaked out. Um, I don't know. I just view it as slightly different. I don't, I think you can certainly spread your opinion, but if like, look, if you live in Nebraska and you've never been to this place before and you see a random picture on social media and you, and you go, huh, I am going to hunt down the restaurant that this came from leave a one star review even though i've never been there have no context yeah you and i'm just going to yeah. I, like i i view that as like worthless like it's it's just so bad like yeah. it doesn't help um any discourse like yeah, if you if you don't that. like what someone's done then like you can discuss it and whatever but but to go and just try to ruin someone's life without even a discussion like i think that's kind of yeah. bad yeah, that's uh, that's not the play, for sure. That's kind of the unfortunate side effect of the internet, though, right? Like it kind of enables you to do some kind of fucked up shit it, with no consequence, right? Like there's no there's no social consequences, Sneb, to kind of acting up online. That's the uh, kind of the issue, I'd say. That's the reality. Yeah, for everyone talking about cancel culture, mm -hmm. here's my view on it. Um, a lot of people, their lives are completely ruined because they make one mistake. And that is a big problem in our society because people aren't perfect and it creates this situation where you feel like you must be or you, you'll cr have this anxiety that if you make one mistake, your life is over. And um, the unfortunate thing is that in some ways that's kind of true depending on the mistake or depending on how out of context a mistake 
is taken, they could completely ruin. Like you could say something really stupid as a 15 year old and it comes back to haunt you and you lose your job and no one will ever hire you again. Like, think about that. Is that not a little bit crazy? Well, I, I think that there's kind of, there, there's a fine balance here, right? Like, you know, that you should be held accountable to stuff and definitely be careful with what you say online, but there should always be like a path back to redemption outside of like some, you know, very extreme yeah. examples, right? Like, I definitely, well, I definitely think that there is a little bit of a lacking path to redemption, right? Like, I think, you know, you will, yeah. I mean, look, there's a reason why, and I think this is equally as dangerous, right? Like, I think it's very common that people just double down at this point and just say, you know, fuck it. I don't care, right? Like, nothing I can say will ever be enough for you, so it is what it is, you know? I'm just going to double down, uh, which I think is, you know, kind of the, the consequence of, like, not having much uh, room for people to acknowledge their mistakes and move on from them, right? Like, for sure. It's it, definitely a toxic part of the internet, for sure. Yeah, it's it's rough. Yeah. Like, like, look, people are reviewing the food as one, the service as one, the atmosphere as one. And also, They've yes, been... guys, Guild Wars Three is confirmed. That's the title. It's not a bait. It's literally someone fucking linked the post. It's not a bait. It's not an April Fool's joke. It actually is what's happening. Didn't see that one coming, but it is what it is. Okay. But yeah, no, I, yeah, no, I'd like. Guys, discourse and response, good. Review bombing, bad, okay? Like, trying to get someone fired, bad. Uh, that's that's the reality here. Uh, unless, oh, yeah, there, there are obviously some exceptions to that, right? You know, <laughs> obviously. But I'm not gonna lie, guys. Um, you know, a silly joke is not... Don't ruin someone's life over a silly joke, okay? Like, that, no. We, you know, it's it's one of those things where, like, where do you draw the line? I think it's impossible to draw the line, but I think we can agree that, uh, you know, we can agree that ruining someone's life over a, a dumbass vegan joke, who cares, right? Like, whatever, it's fine. Like, I think that would be a little bit silly to do that. We can agree on that, I think. Yeah. <laughs> who are we cancelling? It's a story Sneb was talking. Uh, it got like a, a meat... Uh, vendor restaurant style area basically made a i guess a promotional piece or something like that that said vegans you guys might have to sit this one out and and that you know they've they've been battered on social media they have been uh the the vegans have come from them and smashed them okay <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> they're review bombing and this is this is a like a family owned business like small business that really depends on you know, like reviews and stuff. So it's kind of sad. That's the situation. But yeah. No, I would encourage people to share their opinion on that. Like if they don't like the joke, they should say they don't like the joke. Uh, obviously, if they don't like it, then yeah. I think it would be a good way to, you know, if, if I was going to be a vegan activist, I'd probably use it as like a, as a way to actually start a conversation about it and say like, hey man, like, you know, this isn't cool and here's why, right? Like if, if I was going to go something like that, you know, Sure, why not? Uh, but you should do it in a civil way, obviously. You know, it's kind of interesting because, like, if I'm going to get really boring and um, a little bit political, I do think you need some people who are going to be agitators, right? Like, I think you you do need some people who are going to be a little more aggressive in, in how it works, uh, for sure. I think this is very common in all political movements, um, especially kind of, like, social activism as well. So you need, you, uh, like, having some people who are going to be a little bit more forceful, a bit more aggressive, does have some value to achieving your political aims. Uh, but... You know, I also think being reasonable and, you know, is, is also a good way to do it, too. Oh, well, side that towards our currency changing? Yeah, very much so, yeah. Like, um, if you... I don't know how it is in other places, but in the UK, dude, the UK loves vegan stuff. Like, it's, like, a really big thing in the UK, actually. It's very common. Like, basically everywhere does uh, vegan now. Um, like, mo most places are... Most restaurants, chains, and so on, um, like, do a lot of vegan stuff. Vegans aren't reasonable. Uh, not everyone is. Like, there's obviously going to be some pretty, you know, pretty crazy people in in any kind of uh, any, any kind of movement, right? <laughs> That's the way it is. But at the end of the day, um, a, a lot of uh, you know, a, a society has changed in this regard. Like, you know, 
10, 20 years ago, you wouldn't see vegan options basically anywhere, really, outside of, like, very specialist, like, niche areas. Now, you'll see it at McDonald's, you'll see it in Domino's, Pizza Hut, like, all these restaurant chains are on this now. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, you know, there's... Not where I... Well... In, in the UK, yeah. yeah. In, in the UK, like, all the fast food chains do vegan. All of them, yeah. Yeah, I, th I think most yeah. do here. Because yeah. there's definitely vegan pizza options. Yeah. I don't know that everywhere has them, but... Some... Indeed. Top three vegan recipes. Water, definitely. <laughs> 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 Water, oh, water's yeah, high yeah, tier. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. But yeah, it is what it is. Pota I mean, potatoes are good, yeah. They are pretty good. And yeah, I, take me down. Unfortunately, guys. Snub, you're being cancelled now. It's over for you. Yeah. I am going to cancel you now. And it feels good. Oh no. Oh no. I found yeah. the idea of why most vegan people are, are, are vegan hypocritical. Like, um, you, uh, well, what, what is that reason, actually? I, know, I mean, look, to an extent, like, it's very... It's almost impossible to, to live consistently. Like, for example, if, if I asked you, like, you know, do you, do you think it's... It's like wrong to, you know, cause harm to other people through your actions, right? And you, you probably say yes to that. But then I'd say, well, okay, well, what about all of the, all all of the people who were involved in manufacturing your electronics, right, or your clothing, right, that probably end up getting screwed over, right, by a lot of things? Or what about uh, government policy that ends up screwing people over? Or what about like uh, geopolitics that our countries engage in that ends up screwing people over? Like, it's like. Pff you you kind of have to pick and choose your fights okay like if you want to live as like your ultimate perfectly morally consistent being you're gonna have a really hard time doing that to be honest um like it, it's i don't think it's even very realistic because like obviously you know I, I you know i'm gonna say like you know i do my best to make sure that my actions don't fuck people over but here i am on the internet you know i could give more money to charity if i wanted to you know like i, I could do way more right if i really wanted to i'd do my best you know i've done the odd charity streamer here and there like we try and be good people but at the end of the day okay uh you know my phone still has cobalt in it that you know probably wasn't the most ethical thing in the universe right same thing with my computer and all the electronics and everything that we have right you know what i mean it's like pff, it's, uh, yeah like, you can say that, yeah, well, you know, all these people aren't perfectly morally consistent. And you know what? You're not wrong. But that's kind of missing the point uh, in, in this in this regard, I would say. Yeah. 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 yeah you, you kind of have to pick what you're going to try and do and, and, and fight your little moral war or whatever. Anyway. Yeah, it's possible to be perfect. You yeah. just gotta pick your battles. Yeah. I had um I had a friend and we wanted to go backpack in Thailand mm -hmm. together. And while we were there he met this girl who was vegan. And then he subsequently decided he wanted to go vegan. I did not consent to only going to vegan restaurants while I was in Thailand. <laughs> It turns out that that's really difficult to do when you don't speak the language and when there's not that many. <laughs> hmm. it, it was an interesting experience. For sure. Yeah. It was very challenging. Because people uh, would look at him and be like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and I'd be like, ah, oh, dude, like, how are we going to do this? I like to watch my paper straw dissolve in my soda as Taylor Swift's personal jet flies overhead for the fourth time this week. I mean, you're, you're joking. But on the other hand, I mean, if everyone feels that way, then we're all fucked, okay? Because nobody will do anything. Uh, global warming will come. Climate change will fuck the entire planet. And we won't even make it to the plot of three-body problem, okay? Like, we, we don't even get to get wiped out by aliens because we won't even make it that far. So it's like, pff, I, I mean, I... Yeah. It, I have a super interesting philosophical question for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, uh, do you believe that there is an objective, correct way to live? Like an objective morality? Uh, objective morality, no. Really? Yeah. Interesting. 
Would, would you subscribe to the idea that maybe there is, but we just could never determine what it would be? Uh, yeah, I, that's possible. Yeah. I think um, that objective truth is maybe inaccessible. Yeah. Well, I guess, I guess what I'm saying is it, is it, are there things that are objectively immoral? Uh, it, de it depends what you mean by that. Like, I feel like any, any given action, right? Like, you know, for, for example, like, you know, you could come up with a scenario like, okay, if, if I just murdered you for absolutely no reason whatsoever, except for my own personal enjoyment, is that immoral? Is that like objectively immoral? I mean, you could probably make an argument for the answer to be yes. But the problem with situations like that is that goes, well, what if it turns out in some kind of like absolutely insane twist of fate that like the only way to like save the entire universe from exploding would for, was, was for me to do exactly that particular action. Like then, then that changes it, right? Like, so I think you can, you can declare certain actions by qualifying them to be objectively immoral, but only, only qualified actions, like unqualified actions, probably not. Right, so like any given action in and of itself like could probably be contextualized in some way that would make it kind of the correct thing to do, kind of, maybe. But I think that um, stuff like that, it's, I think it's like brain worms. It's like it, it dissolves the concept of what we're even talking about there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've just, um, I've always found that to be a really interesting concept. Yeah. Can you can you break down things to the point where it's like, yeah, there there are certain things that people do that are objectively right or wrong. I don't think so, no. Well, I, it, it depends on the context, but like individual actions, probably not, not not objectively, no. But that doesn't mean that they that um it doesn't mean that like subjective morality is not important. It it absolutely is because you're dealing with subjective actors, right? Like, um, just because something might not be objectively true doesn't mean that, or like objectively wrong, doesn't mean that we can't make a judgment about it and go like, whoa, that's really fucked up, or, oh, that was really good. <laughs> Indeed. Guild Wars 2 is objectively wrong. True. You know, there is, guys, there is actual news about Guild Wars 3, yes. Indeed. Yeah, this is... So... One of my favorite things to do is to listen to people from all different parts of the political spectrum, just mm -hmm. like debate, talk about ideas. Because I think you learn something from all sides. And you either can reaffirm your own position, change your mind, or, you know, kind of reason why or why not, or why, why you may agree or disagree with something. Mm -hmm. So Sam, Sam Harris is somebody that I, I quite enjoy listening to because he, um, he has a very interesting position on a lot of things, and he... Uh, debates them quite well. In my opinion. I don't always agree with everything he says or does. Um, that would be go for anybody. But he has a book called The Moral Landscape that basically is exactly what I talked about, the sort of idea of some kind of objective morality. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Worth a look. I like how this has devolved from Guild Wars 3 chat to just mm. philosophy. People want you to log in. Yeah, I am logging in. What about log out? Oh, you didn't add log out, dude. Well, no, because I, I log out is too negative. I don't like it. Um, is that the one where it's like exit to desktop? Like, wait, wait, what the fuck? Oh wait, no, people no, have no. its time. It's the... uh, yeah. No, 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 no. Log out. I made log out. Wait, what's log out? Go look it up.
No, I think it's really important to listen to different ideas. I think it's a, I think if you want to defend your own position, I feel like you have to actually understand where the where the person you're arguing with is coming from. That's really important to be able to do yeah, that. I'm um you need yeah, to understand. This is one view that I I actually don't care if people disagree with this. I think it's it's like a fundamentally important thing to me. Okay. I may find you repulsive and disagree with everything you believe. Okay. But I still think you have a right to be able to say things in certain venues. So for example, I think that universities are supposed to be places where people can discuss contentious ideas, even if you disagree with someone. Um, and the issue that I have is, at least in Canada, a lot of universities are starting to really, um, that, like won't let certain people speak and whatever. And there may or may not be valid reasons for that, but just because you disagree with someone doesn't mean you shouldn't hear them out. Mm. That's, I guess, the, the foundational idea for me. Just because I disagree with you doesn't mean that I'm going to ignore you. I, I think I can choose maybe to listen to you or not, but to try to censor you and stop you from speaking altogether, I don't know that that's fair. Like, I might listen to you and think you're a total idiot, and you might be making a complete fool of yourself, but I think that that's, that's your right to do. I think it's a, I think this is a really interesting conversation because like attached to this, like I, I think there's a difference between platforming and platforming responsibly. Like for example, if you let someone and we're going to be very general guys, I'm not going to name a specific view, right? But if you have someone who has let's say we all agree that this individual has very objectionable views and we platform this individual, like if we just don't challenge that and just go along with it the entire time, I would say that yeah, you probably shouldn't do that. But if on the other hand you challenge this individual and you show why it's wrong or you do a really good job of explaining why this is incorrect or a bad way of looking at things, then in some sense, I think even if the view is very objectionable, then that's probably not too much of an issue because what's the implication saying that's a bad thing? In some sense, you're worried you're going to lose the argument and you're and the, you know, the objectionable idea is going to win. That, to me, is a very weird way of looking at things, um, I think. That is weird, um, to be honest, uh, if that's the case. I in my opinion, okay, look, I'll, I'll just go ahead and say this. If that's our position, that we're worried that the bad ideas win, then I think there's no hope. Then I think there's absolutely no hope for any of us uh, in that case. Because if the only way that we can make any progress is by basically uh, not even engaging, then it's over and there's no fucking hope. Um, to be honest. And, you know, like, hey, maybe that's a... Uh, maybe I'm very... Maybe I'm very optimistic. Maybe I'm very naive. But, I don't know. It is what it is. That's the way I see it. Bad it is often take hold, though. Um, yeah. And hopefully we can do a good job of making that not happen. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah I, where the truth I guess, in your debate uh, like, matters. I agree with that. So be a fucking good debater. Are we saying that nobody who has good ideas can actually present a fucking argument? If that's the case, then holy shit, we're doomed. Okay. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like obviously, yeah. I think there are some views that are reprehensible, yeah. and that's obviously if a there's line, somebody yeah. that's. Yeah, like if there's if there's somebody that's like, I actually would just like to go and preach um, about how much I hate certain kinds of people or demo like I mean that's just not really productive. But if somebody has a view that is maybe somewhat controversial about like a specific, um, I don't know, specific political view or something, like I I don't think that. That silencing them is necessarily the path to, like, unity and understanding. Mm. <laughs> I think yeah. that it's important to allow people to wrestle with their beliefs and to talk about things. And then, if you disagree, to respectfully challenge them. I think that being able to discuss and challenge ideas is crucial. Mm. If you get to a point in society where you can't talk about difficult things, and, ch and respectfully challenge each other, then you've got a massive problem. Hmm. Uh. 
is this group of people worthy of rights? That's an idea, but it's a uh, bad idea. That's the thing. That, that's still an idea. It's a shit idea, um, but it is an idea. And it should be challenged at every turn, obviously. Yeah. I, I think it's really interesting that that's directly where everyone goes. I'm not even talking about those issues at all. Like, I don't, I don't know why your minds all go to that. I'm not talking about that at all. Yeah. It's not what I was thinking anyway. Um, well, the, you know, here's the thing. Like, I, I don't disagree that um, you definitely open yourself up to making mistakes and vulnerability, but I'm not going to lie. Like, the, the liberal approach works. The amount of progress that has actually been made with liberal policy is huge. And you could say maybe it could have been better if it was done differently, and that's obviously true. Um, but it kind of works, right? I, I don't hate it. Uh... To be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Rep Paladin players, no rights. That is true, actually. Uh, what are we... What are we doing? Uh, what are we doing with keys? Oh, yeah, it's 29, it's 29 full. 29 full. 30 full. Easy. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Who likes the platform? Well, I mean, I, I, to be honest, I think I would probably shift the conversation in a different way, right? I think one problem that um, I think is going to have to... Well, I, it's not really a problem, but it is a fact that is happening. Is that what's actually happening now is that um, deplatforming was really effective for a, for a long time, actually. It was really effective. It did work. But what's actually interesting is that you're having people pop up who you can't deplatform. Uh, you're not going to get rid of JK Rowling. Um, and you're certainly not going to get rid of the Daily Wire. Uh, you're going to have to actually interact with these ideas. There's no way around it um, at some point. At some point, you're going to have to do it because these people are no longer going to be cancelable. You can't get rid of them. You can't deplatform these people um, at some point. Uh, yeah. And, you know, look, guys. Can't deplatform yeah. Musk either. <laughs> yeah, you can't get rid of. I mean, he owns the platform. You, you're not going to get rid of Elon Musk. <laughs> Um, they're gone. He would just like tweet a right. meme at you if he didn't like what he said. Yeah. Uh, then you're toast. And I, 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 you know, this is the thing. Like, it, you, you have to have some kind of solution to this. Like, if you're, if you have liberal politics, and look, guys, no surprises here. I'm a pretty liberal guy. I think it's pretty obvious by the way I'm talking here, right? Uh, it, it, with the, with regards to a lot of issues, but you're gonna, you're gonna have to face the music at some point. Um, Alex Jones's D platform it was uh, fairly uh, successful. Uh, yeah. Uh, he also owes the US government one billion or some shit for saying some lunatic stuff. That will that will definitely get it done. That will uh, put the work in. No, but I'm saying deplatform does work. I didn't say it didn't work, Spitting Llama. It does work. It absolutely does. But in in some ways, it's a little bit like um, MRSA, okay? Like, now you've created um, people who are immune to that, right? Because the people who, who, yeah, a bunch of people got completely cleansed, right, from the internet, Alex Jones being one of them. But not everyone did. You ain't getting rid of Elon. You're not getting rid of JK. And you're not getting rid of the Daily Wire. And the, the Daily Wire, look, hate to say it, guys. They're doing really well um, from a from a business perspective and from a conveying their message perspective. They, they are really successful, actually. Um, you're going to have to interact with that. Same with Peterson, right? With um, Jordan Peterson. You're going to have to interact with that. Um, it's not going away. Actually, um, I don't know if you know this, but Jordan Peterson and Destiny just recently had a debate, and it was really interesting. Well, it wasn't really a debate. It was more like a discussion that we're... Anyway, it, it, it was a conversation. And it, it's really interesting to listen. That's for sure. Like, there were times when I was like, what are you saying? Um, but yeah, it's good. Even listen to opposing opinions. You can give them all the evidence they want to change their mind. Of course, yes, you're absolutely right. But one, that is most people on both sides of the argument, by the way. Uh, number one. Two, um, 
you're not talking to people who have made up their mind. If, if it, look, let's imagine that me and Sneb disagree on some issue. Like, if I was going to debate Sneb, my goal is not to convince Sneb. My goal is to convince people who are listening. Um, like, if you're, if you're having, like, a political debate or something, like, it's going to be something like this. 40% on both sides are never going to change their mind, not in a billion years. 20% of people will. Um, that will be the, the situation. The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Your goal of the debate is to destroy your opponent. That's true. Um, That's and maybe, based, it, yeah. it, maybe it is generous. Uh, I've got a dash and play keys right now, but I would leave this on this, guys. Um, like, whenever you're thinking, oh, the other side would never change their mind... Consider the fact that's almost certainly you as well. Uh, and consider what would it take for you to actually to be convinced. Because that's a really good piece of introspection to do, if you ask me. That's, uh, that, that's worth introspecting on. I don't think debate is effective at doing anything other than debate is joking. So I completely disagree with that. Like, um, I think that I think the, dis the discussion of ideas is extremely important. Uh, absolutely. You have to do it. I don't think um, I don't think everyone going off into their little um, their little circle jerk bubbles is very healthy. I think it's extremely toxic. Actually, uh, the internet exacerbates it, but it becomes unbelievably toxic when everyone's just like sitting around fucking jerking each other off. That's not good. Yeah. Uh, I think it is very important to be able to respectfully talk about ideas. Yeah. And. Um, I think that we have moved, I mean, look, I'll give everyone, I'll give everyone an example. And frankly, I've been kind of quiet because I'm, uh, and I think this is a legit problem. I'm kind of afraid to give an example because my goal isn't to have some very strong emotional response. Um, my goal is to simply give you something where I think it's actually okay to question things and to um, want to explore an idea without getting canceled. For example, um, some people know I teach at a university, I teach marketing. It would be a fascinating idea to have people um, talk in a marketing class, like a higher level marketing class, about how COVID has changed the way that people perceive different marketing campaigns and how, just how it changes consumer behavior. The problem is that you can't have that conversation in a university because as an instructor, I would fear getting fired. Hmm. For real. I, I would fear that the conversation would devolve into some like massive debate and then I would get fired. Yeah. Well. Yeah. It's time for me to play WoW. Uh, so, a bit of an interesting meme. Uh, a bit of an interesting meme and an interesting conversation, but now I've got to play some games. All right, All right it's time yeah. to play. All right, see you later. Right, I've got to change the goddamn uh, Twitch thing. I've got to change the Twitch thing. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Big keys, Guild Wars 3 confirmed. Big gaming. Drops. Right, here we go. Yeah, bolstering fun. I love bolstering. It's so much fun. I love it. Uh, it's good. I love to see it. Very nice. Yeah. Very good. Uh, right, peer reviewed paperweight. Xbox feel great. Yeah, you should do that. You should do that. But do you know? Here's the thing. The the important thing about debate is that it makes it um like you you. <laughs> It's not reasonable to expect your everyman to fucking read through peer-reviewed papers. I'd encourage people to do that, but it's still not very realistic. That's why you want to have front-facing conversations with experts and communicators. It's why have oh my god, oh, ah! It's why having people who can communicate ideas about stuff like vaccines, about stuff like the environment is so unbelievably important. You need to have people who are like people like Carl Sagan, right, who are able to communicate these really complex ideas and communicate it to people in a way that makes sense to them without having to dig through all of the um, 
dig through all of the stuff here. Like having people who can communicate these really complicated ideas to people who don't necessarily have expertise in the field is so fucking important in politics and sociology and science. It's so important. A huge issue with how the vaccine stuff went is because the science communication was fucking dog shit. Um, like. People were scared and people said, shut up and take the fucking vaccine. Horrible communication. And that like, dr drove a huge amount of, of the fear and the anti-vax sentiment. It's because the science communication was so bad. People didn't want to have the conversation. People Jeez. didn't want to talk about it. And it was fucked. Okay? Um, th yeah. Do you get it now? This is why communication is important. Yeah. All right, here we go. Keys. Keys. 29 into 30. Let's do this. Ready, check. Yeah, bro. Wait, I'm not leader. Let's I can't do it. Let's get political. It's, yeah, we get political now, guys. I'm going to just spew nonsense the whole time. Very. Right? I've, I've, I've done nothing new there, huh? Uh, yeah. Bro, you better debate me, bro. Yeah, it's time. This is, this is a debate key now. Let's go. Yeah. I'm going to debate you into submission to use fucking Soulmonger. No. I mean, look, you'll oh, lose really? that debate, bro. The facts are on my side. Even the Soulmonger users think it's bad. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I got a... <laughs> oh, it's my key! Bitch fuck. Wait, I have I got the right build the on? I know one of the best demon hunters that use one. Five, I've got the right build on. Four. Soulmonger. Rare doesn't use that Kira. shit. This is... Kira does use it, but says it's bad. Boom. There you go. Exposed. I don't know, man. I got the papers on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got all the peer reviews. Oh, yeah, you all, you got, all you got this debate yeah. tactics. Yeah. Here we go. Your feelings. Yeah. I'm right. Okay, right. Oh, I need to quit Guild Wars too. Hang on. Okay, we're good. We're in, we're in. Here we go! Let's go. Holy shit, dude. My game just lagged because I closed the other game. Oh. Fucking hell. It's fine. Oh. Kill him. Pompa! I'm gonna silence them again. They are silenced. Incredible. Very good. I'm gonna feed within seconds, by the way. Yep. Yep, I actually did. Nice. Yeah? Imagine if you had Soulmonger. Oh, I think I can live here. Yeah. No, I can't. No, man, that was too much. Yeah, I should have run there. I thought, oh, it's 29, I can live, surely. The answer to that was no, though. Uh, you should be able to re-enter. I almost lived. It was close. I can talk the last one, they're both on me. Yeah, there was a runaway angle there. Yep, going three, two, one. Ow. You will not get past me. Okay, good. Is it bogged? Oh, no, no, this is fine. Wait, have I got the wrong build on? No, I'm fine. Don't worry there for a moment. No, no, no we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Oh, that's okay. That is interesting. Hmm. Not the uh, best link. Yeah. Yeah, that was, uh... Interesting situation there. You will not get past me. Your lifespan is mine. You will not get past me.
Kill the dragon. Oh, there's an afflicted. And it's done. It's done. Okay. It's over. The chat is still talking politics. It's completely fucking over. Let's keep it up. Me and Snab are starting an extreme radical podcast coming soon. We're both going to get fucking cancelled. We're also adding Nike into the mix as well. There's an Epic. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I have yeah. done one. Wait. Would... Imagine you have decos. Hmm. I mean, surely. Surely rated no, will do, uh... at least he'll do the affix, right? No, I'm raid built. Wait, are you Bro. actually? Just... Is he actually? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, he has this uh, spot. Yeah. It could have, he could have, you, you know, know, he could have been trolling us. I'm not spelling out a principle. Hmm. I mean, I'm not getting dispelled afterwards, so. I'll drop. Uh, I'll drop a pool over here. You guys can. You can cut me off. It's fine. Are we good? I'll drop a pool in the shit. Get him! Boom. Let's go. Onwards. Uh, big guy's quite far away. I'll go grab him. We're gonna grab him. Front of us, and then kick. Oh, we pulled. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. All right, make sure the big guy dies here. For the other shit. Bro, Vivi. Yeah. I can see the divine storms. Yeah, you can. Kill the big guy, kill the big guy. Do not bolster the big guy. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Watch the uh, intervals. Watch the intervals. Don't assume they'll get killed, by the way, guys. Don't assume that the intervals will get kicked or killed. Just run away from them. Yeah, the explosion actually goes off most of the time. Oh my god. Rated just blasted that one in particular. I have a silent sigil going there. Kill the dog. Good. I'll grip these. Kill it before next bloom. Thank you. Okay, good. I'm gonna go kill the big guy. We'll pull it into the leeches. I'm gonna pull this one back, guys. It's moving over here. Hang on. Don't pull the dog. Pull the dog, bro. Silencing. This actually is going to be very dangerous for me. Oh boy. What's going on? We pulled a lot of mobs. I will be meleeed. I think kick, 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 it's kick, uh, kick, in the kick. portal. Kick. Kick, guys, kick. We did not kick. We have been volleyed. I have silence for the leeches. Leeches are silenced. Chrono Burst. Yeah, I have nothing for Innovate right now. 
Okay. We're fine. Finish off the leeches. It's dog next. Nice. Hang on. I have to wait. Someone hit the uh, fucking leech. Ah, uh, we can do the rest. Did he? Yeah, yeah, he's just... Bloom. This is a big pull. I'm darknessing for myself. Kill the dog, preferably before next bloom. I might do one. It did, it did. I should be fine. I have a silence now. Silencing everything. Putting the remaining leeches. We can do these on boss. I have a fiery brand available. Okay. I'm just, we can just move in with these guys. We'll just play the boss instantly. Okay, and then Lost is in 20. I'm chaining them. Stop. Silencing now. Good. Kick the innovate here. I have misery, I have misery, I have misery. Chains. It is Vivi Snizzle. And dodging orbs. We're really ahead of our best 29, by the way. Really ahead. So that's the good news. It's rated Vivi. What? We're yeah, that's my bad. Uh, we <sighs> have... Did, double CR. Yeah, we're both. Double CR. Double CR. What did you do? Sorry. I just went into the slow area. Uh, the last one I'm in. It is okay, boys. That's not lucky. I just pressed combust. It's over. Okay, it is a bindo snizzle. Sands of time. Okay, dodging orbs, dodging orbs. Oh my fucking, yeah. I wasted my shimmers. Okay, it is Vivi Snizzle. We just have to play, it's fine. It, we can still time this, it's not a problem. We have plenty of time. However, I will say this. If anyone else dies, I'm going non-verbal and going back to politics debate with Sneb. I want to go non-verbal as well. Yeah, Snizzle, I fix, I guess. I can solo the next one. I, yeah, I just needed to know. So I get now. It is Vivia Bindo. It is Vivi Snizzle. Good. Rated, I can't help but notice your uh, 111k DPS. 
It's a bit weird. Yeah, there's an agent in the group. Yeah. Bogged. <laughs> Bogged. That's full fucking damage, and this guy just kills me. <laughs> <laughs> it's what? It's uh, the V Snizzle again? Oh, time's fine. It's actually going to be just slightly slower than our best 29. It says something about our best 29, really, doesn't it? Yeah, let's go. Change build if you need to, boys. I'm porting out, yeah. I have found some tech, actually. Guild Wars 3 is indeed confirmed, by the way. The chat doesn't believe. They think it's a joke. Alright. Oh, we need to wait for... Wait, are we waiting for rated as well? I think we are, right? No. Is it yeah. out, right? No. Oh, 3, 2, oh, yeah. 1, go. Oh, you mean... Oh, yeah, no, no I didn't really... Didn't know waiting we on that, on. yeah. Yeah, okay, that's fine. No, I didn't know you were a swapper. Swapper! Let's get in. Corper. And in we go. To a place, a moment where I dare not tread. You're not coming with us? Is it safe or? Uh, you no. are not as you know good to go. Hold it. We will do single dragon. Single targeting down the chunk. Full damage on the chunk, guys. Nothing else. Don't spore instantly after. You need to Apex change behind. things. What do you mean? Apex. Apex went off. Yeah. He, uh, he hello? Doesn't, he doesn't have the dispel, does he? Oh, cool. Can we, after yeah, this, guys, we are fixing our fucking build templates, yes? Holy shit. I'm, I, I, yeah. I'm gonna open the Discord stream yeah. and I'm gonna show which all the fucking weak are us, all the builds. Yeah, yeah we got I'm to go through I can, it. I can solo it. No, but we look. We need to fix this because we want to do thirty. Yes, yeah? so like we need to have the right fucking shit to deal with this. Like we're getting owned. Right? We're getting absolutely memed, um, right now. We are doing a quick five-minute build template check after this. That is what we're doing. Ow. The dragon's punching me. I wish I could remove Enrage. If only you had a fucking class, I could do it. This on Fortified would actually just be pure hell. Ethics. Yeah, ethics. Yeah, yeah. Interesting ethics. Do we have a decast mm. for that, or what? What's uh? Yeah. What's up with that? What's your thoughts on that, uh, yeah. rated? That ethics. I don't know. Remember, guys, we can pot at the start of this fight. Need invis afterwards. This is pretty chill, actually. Mm. Not having to do ethics. He likes it. He likes not doing the ethics. Oh, I think, did, yeah. wait, did he legendary into the slime? I feel like that's what happened there. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Fear or laugh? Nice. Fortified bolstering sanguine. Like, if they ever did that, that's just like, nobody would play that week. You know, you wouldn't even do weeklies that week. Even Vivi wouldn't play. Actually, I'm playing. All right, going. Here we go. Let's practice this boss, guys, to make it clean. 
We want to be... We're lusting basically just as soon as we get it, don't we, really? I'll move out and you run onto me. I'm not going to move. I'll stand still. There we go. Good. Slime. I'm moving back. You can run onto me afterwards. Actually, I'll run to you. You're oh, a card. Yeah, you fucking hard cast. <laughs> he doesn't even move. He won't dispel, doesn't want to move. Like this guy, man. What the hell? That's actually crazy. That's based. Has Affix up? One Affix? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we Guys? just skipped that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm player. looking at it. I'm mm. not touching it. Well, yeah, it's 8 second CD. I can't, like, instantly dispel book. I refuse to dispel it. Has the nerf already gone through, by the way, on uh, the cast time? Yeah, yes. yes. Uh, okay. Interesting. Wait, what nerf? They made it two uh, seconds it longer, so you can solo it. Way oh, easier. that one, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's much easier now. So again, guys, we don't want to meld these. Ideally, we want to yeah, meld them. Yeah, I'll use my mods. Yeah, you'll be able to use it again. In, in I'm dying if I don't. Right now. Okay, okay, I'm running to you. I'll just go into the shit. That's fine. I'll just turn it. You guys do your thing. Oh, can I live this? Fucking hell. I can hope so, bro. Uh, yeah, okay, that's it. Yeah. I went in a little bit too soon there. Yeah, the, the goop does a lot of damage. It's on Vivi. This cocoon is nice. It's very comfy. Okay, I'm going to take it off you in a couple of seconds. Yep, let's go. I'll face it backwards this way. Well, the next one should just get skipped, I think. More can you less. move a bit? I can. Uh, okay, taking. Push phase now. Good. Okay, yeah. uh, so I'm lost in here, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. If we lost here, we I'm won't have it on the last boss, though. So we actually might not want to do that here. What do you think? Sweet. Try and skip this if we can. Pretty sure we're going to have it. On nah, the we boss. definitely won't. Nice. Uh, we uh, need take to... it me. Uh, hang on. Watch out for that. Yeah, yeah, I'm not taking until the front of our fix. Frontal? I'm fearing, I'm fearing. Fear, you're out. Watch in frontal. It's gonna be tank frontal as well now, watch out. Tank frontal. I'm moving this one to stack it. You can give it to me immediately, yep, that's fine. Gonna need a bounce in five. Alright. Uh, you can probably just go now. You can give it back to me anytime you want as well. So if you're in trouble, you can just give it to me. That's fine. Finish boss. Just kill, just kill. Don't need to bounce it. Oh yeah, we're only 20 seconds behind our best, and it was a bit of a fiesta, to be honest. I'll have to wait a little bit on pot. Thirty seconds without me. Yeah, that's fine. We can just start the trash. I have to wait 20 for pot. Uh, for pot. 
You guys can just go ahead and go in the safe spot. I'll run through in a bit. I'm on my way. Alright. In I go. For the future of Azeroth. And here we go. Gripping into silence. Silencing. I actually want to practice pulling these onto boss guys because we might need to do that in uh, the 30. So we'll get, we'll kill the uh, casters and then the big ones will probably pull onto boss. After they do a spin, of course. And there you go, that guy's down. Can kind of just get rid of the creation. And we can probably kind of get in there. Dude, one ripper is just getting fucking fire mage. Holy shit. And we can go... This guy doesn't leap for 10 seconds, so it shouldn't be relevant. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Going now. He's gonna jump, so watch out. Yeah, he's gonna go now. Also jump. Yeah. Okay, but he won't do it again now. This is my darkness. Good. Get rid of him. He's done. Imagine if the boss got bolstered. That'd be the most cursed shit ever. And blasting the boss. Yeah, we have seven minutes. We have more than enough time to finish it. Not a problem. In Reddit, say Guild Wars 3 is in development. Galago. <laughs> Why would you use that one? <laughs> It's an interesting view. Okay, let's go. Stunning. Kick. This one's gonna be Rally. This is gonna be Rally. Cocoon. Easy peasy. Yeah, if we do this lust timing, we won't have it. So we actually want to lust phase two, I think. Also affix of the dragons. Because do we care about lust on this boss? I think we do, right? Maybe we don't. Because I don't think that we'll... Hmm. It's hard to say, honestly. Get the afflicted. This dragon sounds like a chicken. Yeah, these dragons, they look insanely goofy. I'm going to move in a moment. Hang on. Moving now. Yeah, yeah I'm going to. I don't want these, uh, you know, the stone things just killing you guys. 
That would be no fun at all. I'm not going to use darkness here. I'm saving it for last for the burn phase. Uh, I need something here. Alright. You are cocooned. Love damage. And this is probably kind of last set of CDs here, I think. There's an affix still up on the other side of the boss, faster the boss kind of where I am at. Yeah, yeah. And now we need to phase before the next shield. Uh, I can grip these and silence them. I can move now. Kicks. Oh, let I go off. Okay, this needs to be skipped, ideally. We should just skip. Might do one meme. It skips. Uh, never mind. Yes, yes. I'm going to drop down this and after rally wears off. Darkness. Man, that DPS check is going to be very rough. We did do it. Easy. It's actually our best. Our best time, actually, on the 29. That's funny. Wait, also, wait, did we really roll into a rise? Oh my god, we did. That's like <laughs> the most fucked key. Uh, I think we should re-roll the Atal, I think. I don't think we really want that. Let me, 30 uh, rise. Let me fix my Atal. Yes, right. Okay, we're going again. We're doing the 30, boys. <laughs> But, listen the fuck up. We are making sure that our builds are correct. Make sure you have a build that actually is correct. Have a template for it. We're fixing it now. Fix it now, oh, yeah. guys. I didn't use this trinket the entire time on that fight. Hmm. Because it wasn't on my bar. I forgot. Oh my god. So wait, the, the six... So another way... Yeah, a little bit of intellect. Yeah. Hmm. 6k intellect. Just missing. Didn't exist. Okay. All right. Well, we're going again. Don't use the portal, guys, because some of us need it. Let's go. How about a nice 31 chrome? Yeah, I don't think so. Hey, Solvood and Corruption. Thanks for the uh, primes, guys. Appreciate it. It is reset. I'm going back in. The infinite dragonflight has already infiltrated the timeways. We must follow. Hmm. 
He has a no combust on the end burn. Nice meme. Nah, that's that's not true. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Ready check. It's time. Wait. What? The Vivi. The thing mm -hmm. you gave me yesterday. The afflicted one. It just yeah. doesn't go off at all. What do you mean yeah. by that? Curious. It just doesn't do anything. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Wait, it's disabled for fire. Why? Wait, hmm. for specifically fire mage? Yeah, and frost. Huh. Only so it's only enabled for arcane. Me fine now. Okay, right. G listen, oh, boys. Yeah, yeah, it's because uh, yeah, I know what. Boys, well, it's because I don't know it's playing mage. And this will give me another one, so I had like two of them. So oh, this I one, see. yeah, okay. just three enabled. Boys, are our builds working? Are they in the right spot? Can we actually play the game? Um, just to, I'm gonna no this this ready check, guys, is to check the builds, to check the keybinds, to check the buttons. Okay. Very important. No, wait. I, no, no. Wait. You guys are going to download every single one of these. I mean, I have these. <laughs> I swear to God, we're not starting it until you download these. Just make sure them. that we've got I mean, the I have them, yeah. In Open the, a I Discord guess. stream right now. <laughs> I'm open. No. I'm live. You can, uh, you can oh. see. Time. Make sure what you got you the afflicted see? weak aura. Make sure that you have the right builds, the right items, the keybinds. We're gonna play some games. We will time this. It's gonna be good. Fuck now, shit ass thing. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! It's a bit harsh. You're downloading these DF LCMG. dungeons. Look, yeah, he did it. Right there. Yeah. Wow. No. Yes. DF dungeons. Oh, that's the that's exactly the same as now's. No, it's missing shit. All right. No, I'm gonna get fucking overlapping weak so Oh that, my god. No... All right, bro. The next one. Oh fuck! The link correctly. Link me the uh, shadow word now. We call the most important one. I need to download some yeah, pictures. Can... Boom. Uh, it's this one. Uh, well, you need to yet. You need to download the model. Oh yeah, yeah it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't yeah. work. That sure. I haven't yet. You need to download the model. But yeah, it works. I mean, it works, but you yeah, need to have the. Well, model. yeah. yeah. Uh, Do you have fucking for the affix? Me yeah. or? Yeah. Rated. Yeah. yeah, I have. Yeah. Wait, right. what's that? Affix. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've done. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, well, okay, yeah. Honestly, and you have you these go, when you know them. when you're target, targeted by spells? Mm. Bro, I, yeah, I already have that one. Nice. Yeah? Since we're getting destroyed right. by double shoot. Right. Okay. Double shoot. And we have spells TDs on nameplates? Shoot. Yeah? Oops. Yeah? Alright, good. Bro, I... Now. Okay. I will flame you if you miss. Holy shit. Yeah, just this one, Snizzle. As well. Immer oh yeah, oh yeah. Immersive spinning crane kick, yeah. Spins the camera whenever you press it. Definitely use that. It's oh, a good God. idea. Yeah, no. Yeah. I think <laughs> I think I'm gonna skip that one. Right. Okay, let's do this. Last sanity check, consumables. Check the fucking build. This is a hard key, we want a time. This is our last 34. Let's make it count, yes? Let's go. This is our last key. Yeah. Last key ever. Last key. <laughs> Ever. After this, we're quitting. Well, no, you're... 
Okay, full sanity check, guys. Come on, here we go. I am going to run away on the trash at the start as well, and it feels good. Yeah. We will not forget our dispels. We will not forget anything. I'll do another raid check. Here we go. Ah. A Windows AFK. It's over. Maybe it's time for Corrupting Rage. <laughs> Maybe it's time for you to get a Rage Shard. I'm going to get it from the, uh, the weekly thing. Oh, yeah? Yep. And I'm running Signet right now, anyway. It's very based. It's huge. You could literally skip, skip a bloom on the fucking dog if you just have yeah. a Rage on. I wish. I wish. Yeah. I, I've cleared Heroic, I think, 18 times on this character. Haven't got it. I don't know, man. This sounds like a fucking skill yeah. issue. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where did you get your raid chart, bro? Oh, yeah, I fed it to you. Yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. I fed you both of your raid oh, charts. I know, man. Yeah, I, I remember I that. I it, bro. I plugged it. Mm, yeah. I plugged it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seem to recall that I actually fed everyone here their raid charts, including Vivi. Wait, single handed. Yeah. Mine was I himself. forced him. I forced the mythic, I... ultimate mythic raid chart to be given to Vivi. Did I earn my raid chart? Yeah. Did... You're <laughs> Fucking like main character, of course I was getting a rage heart. You know, Rod Paladin, main character. Mm. I think there's only one main character. Hmm. And it's Mage. Yeah, I mean, Mage is the ma Yeah, I mean, you, well, I mean, you just 1v1 things the entire time. That's all you do. That's your only purpose. Yeah. This spike is dog shit. Full on prior damage. That's it. Also, Bindo's dead. Yeah, he's fully dead. Why do you have Shimmer? He actually has that Why shit, not? too. Shimmer. What, what, are, what are you even using Shimmer for? For the thing, the orbs. On the second boss. And the uh, explosion. Fucking I ice floats them, bro. Just fucking run. No. Dog. <laughs> nice. Incredible. I mean, you fucking took, a, you took an orb while we did the boss. Did you shimmer that orb? Yeah, because no, I shimmered like too many, you mm. know? Yeah? Man, if you had uh, ice flows, then I would be dead on the first orb. You know, the very first one. You have fucking blink, man. He will die instantly. He yeah, will but feed... I need to stop casting. He will feed within seconds. Stop casting, then you fucking putrid ass DPS player. Oh my god! Still on the Maybe you play ice flows. What the fuck, <laughs> bro? That's crazy. I have to cancel, cancel, cancel a single DCD just to move. Wow. Yeah, it's over. Abindo is actually dead. He died. He died for our sins. Yeah. Also, like all the other mage players are playing Shimmer, so. Oh, really? Oh, shit, bro. Yeah, Let's yeah. open Warcraft logs. Yeah, open it. Well. Yeah? Oh, yeah? Are you, know, are you think, having second yeah, thoughts? Honestly, I think a lot of mage players play Shimmer, but like, for example, Hopeful just hates Shimmer, I think. I think it just yeah. plays space flows all the time. Hopeful and uh, the other guys are the German one. Like, wow. For example, like, fired up. I think he's a zest shimmer enjoyer. And, I mean, doesn't play in plus a lot, but in raid at least. Plays shimmer mm. all the time. I think ice flows in raid is a gay thing, to be honest. Uh, in raid, maybe. Fight, I guess. In raid, maybe. Because I guess you don't, you don't... I feel like you don't have to move as much in raid to an extent. Or sometimes. Yeah, you, you, need, like, you, need, like, oh. you need like bursts of movement in raids, right? You don't have to be... Interesting. Yeah. Crims using ice flows. Hmm. MDI champion? Oh, MDI yeah? world Are you champion? Me, yes. Holy shit. That's insane. Giga Chad. Wow. 
Yeah, the Bindo's actually fully dead. He's, he's actually getting the DC thing. He's getting logged out. It's over. Bitch, man. Yeah. It's actually over. What are these fucking dogs using Shimmer? What the fuck? <laughs> he can't, he can't believe it. <laughs> yeah. Alright, another one. Vol Volsky. Volsku. Ice yeah. flows. Which mm -hmm. dungeon? God Gamer. Uh, Black Oak Cold, 32. That's fucking cringe, that's actually <laughs> No, bro. <laughs> it's but time I, to I swap. Mean, I mean, surely saying like Ice Flows is really good on Black or Cold, though, because you have to like move out of Swirlies. I feel like Ice Flows is so good for that, no? Yeah, uh, it is. Because you can do like a little micro mm -hmm. adjustment with positioning with Ice Flows. Isn't that really nice? What you're dealing with that? It's which Swirlies, though. Well, like the. You've got the Ad Swirlies, um, you've got the. Uh, Swirlies on the, the jumpers, right? Like the jump mobs as well at the end, like last pull. Oh, I guess you're on the range spot. You don't have to worry about that, do you? Yeah. Yeah, you're just AFK. I wish I could go there. Also, I blink back on the like the third boss, you know, the knockback. Yeah. Instead of yeah, blink is pretty fucking good. Though, yeah. You could also just alter time it. Mm. They need to I stop yapping. Mage survives everything with any talents. <laughs> That is true. Yeah, and some, with Aug. And, and, with and, Aug. and somehow they still fucking die. Yeah. Bro, that's with fucking Org. With Org. So, I mean, you're, I mean yes. fortunately, you are playing Org next uh, next season, I believe. Hmm. Honestly, it feels good for me and Snizzle that we don't have to reroll, you know? It feels damn good. Snizzle going to be Monk next season, and then it's going to be, uh, you know, uh, Org Bindo, Shadow Priest Vivi, and then Rated Mage. So I guess Wraith doesn't have to reroll either. Maining Mage. Fire Mage only. You know that shit's God Comp, dude. You actually know it. Like, he already knows that it's God Comp next season. You are aware of that, right? Wait. Yeah. Is Discord fucked? Is it? You just ran away. Yeah. Wait, who? You? I'm still here. Abindo is actually dead, though. Oh, no, he's back. Hello. Hello there. I will do a ready check. My goddamn potion's running out. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> what is this guy even saying? <laughs> okay. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Oh, a negri leer at the post queen, Kmaka. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah, of course. I, yeah. How delightful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, fine. I'm fucking trolling. I'm going AFK now. Oh, I'm googling that shit. Like, what even is that? I mean, you're gonna just gonna get a sandwich up, bro. I see the word Gale, and that's it. Yeah. Nigri Lierad. Post Queen Quacker. Hmm. Snails. Oh, what is it? It's just Gale Sandwich or something. Yeah. Gale, uh, <laughs> of course. Roast beef, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, hang on. Before we go, we need to talk about something. Uh, okay, here's yeah. the situation. If we lust phase two on boss three, we will have lust for Iridicron. If we lust phase three, I don't think we will. We won't have it. Um, so what do we want to do there? Do we think we need the lust on Iridicron to skip the final shield? Or do we think it's better to have the lust on third boss at 50% uh, where it's taking double damage? I would probably lean towards having Lust on Iridicron to just guarantee that we get the correct timing and burn his boss HP down more. What do we think? I think that's better, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, last boss is very scary. Yeah, okay. In that case, we are going to Lust on phase two of Blight of Galakrond on that one. And we will have Lust for boss HP um, on Iridicron. That is the plan. Ready check. Check your builds. I don't want to see any non-dispellers, okay? Right. Pull 10. It is Snizzle's key. 
I'm just going to go ahead and start the uh, <laughs> the rise instead. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. I'm dead. Guys, I'm on the wrong build. Mm -hmm. I'm trolling. Yep. I'm lagging. Yep. Oh shit, I'm in with Kira. Yep. He has Soulmonger. Guys, I need to equip Soulmonger. Sorry. We have budget, Kira. Yeah. <laughs> budget, Kira. Dollar store, Kira. <laughs> Kira from Tesco. <laughs> Alright. Bust! Silence. Silencing again. It's done. I am going to run away soon, and it's going to feel good. I am running away. I think I'm okay to actually live now, FCDs. Or maybe not. Are you eager, bro? Nice. Okay, well, mm. yeah, that's fine. Pulling in three. Wait, no, oh, no, no, oh, wait, no, no, you're not pulling. Yeah. We're not doing the. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're not yeah. pulling. I think yeah. the Yoda meme. Hang on, need to wait. Need to wait. All right. Oh, come on, make it in. Alright, three, I mean, you can pull two, now. one, here we go. We hold the line. I think that's okay. I think theoretically, timer shouldn't be super tight. My signet run went away, guys. It's over. Oh yeah, it's fully over. You will not get past me. Your lifespan is mine. You can cut me off. It's fine. I'll drop a pull over here. As a second affix. Yeah, I have to fucking affix yapping. It's a bit harsh. The weak ore is only trying to help you, bro. That's playing the game for me, yeah. Yep. You need it. All addons should be removed. True. Also, faulty mine raids. It's a very base <laughs> take. Fill in the gaps. It's like frag. Yeah, I'm going there. I'm looking. Oh, I have made a mistake. I need something on the next tank buster. I pressed that too soon. I need something here. Uh, 
I'm in. Okay, we'll start. Mm, we'll start moving towards the exit pretty soon. Set here. Time itself cannot stop me. Okay. It's gonna be a leap and boss dies. Let's pump the boss. It should die kind of during the leap, honestly. Keep blasting it. Touch of death. It's time. He didn't do it. Go, go, go. Alright, we're, yeah, we're, we're a minute ahead of our previous other run, so that's good news. How? Well, the first time we did this was, uh, I guess it was just very cursed. Okay, pulling the big guy. Uh, he fed, but I didn't this time. <laughs> Don't pull the pack that spawns, guys. We do not want to pull that pack. Do not pull it. Do not pull it. Do not pull it. Okay, we can pull pretty soon. Yeah, 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 I see. I see. Right now. And pumping the big guy. Kicking him. Dropping a silence. Big guy dies. Let's move. Kill this stuff and we'll pull the dog pack. Okay, here we go. Gripping everything in. Silencing. Bloom. Nice Next bloom is scary for me. How about the kid the dog then? I'm gonna darkness. It should die. Okay, it went off. That's actually a bit spooky. Grip. Kill this shit. Finish these leeches. I'm gonna pull the big guy back. Ooh, awkward moment. Uh, the dog's patrolling. Let's go around the back here with these. I'll silence them. We can just move. Okay, be very careful. This is gonna be a little annoying. Kick the volley. I'm um, gripping. I, I have a stop. It should go. It should go. Kicking innovates. Focus the big guy, guys. This is going to be a bit rough. Kick him. Silencing. Hey, okay, kill him before the next chrono burst, guys. There's going to be a bolster. Molly. He has to die before the next chrono burst, or we're fucked. Go, 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 go. Kill him, 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 kill him before he casts it. Okay, we're good. Nice. That's great. Okay. Dog. Wait, what? Oh, I got that. Never mind. Oh, do I die here? I cheat. It's fine. There's an afflicted thing. Watch the explosion.
I'm in trouble on next bloom. Oh, I can follow them. Yeah, do it. Now. Good. Leeches. We can pull these on boss. It's a little bit scary. I don't have cheat, but it should be fine. I have Fiery Brand. Uh, let's hit them a little bit, though, shall we? Because we don't I, don't... I don't know we want these alive for long. Okay, I'm going to move towards boss. Okay, I'm setting up Fel Dev, then we're pulling. Pulling now. Ripping. Gotta kick those. I have silence. Come on. Yes. Yeah. Watching orbs. Watching orbs, watching orbs. They're under the mobs. It's uh, Vivi Snizzle. Affix is up to Affix. Sands of time, I call upon you. Orbs. Count the seconds. It's Vivia Bindo. It's uh, a Bindo Snizzle. Orbs. Bindo Snizzle. Orbs. I call upon you. Rated Snizzle. There's Affix on boss. We need to see all that immediately. We see how. We have two. Uh, yeah. We have both. Well, both. I mean, I died. Oh. So, does it been the FCR? Uh, well, also, no, we don't have enough. We have to try and finish. What, ha what uh, happened there? Why did we die? Hey, we, we took long to go into this uh, fucking thing. I'm like waiting for the spell, I think. I stood on the white side then. Mm, okay. Uh, I mean, this is... Mm, it's play, it's maybe I mean, it playable. was not that long, right? I mean, it's... There's no way two of them went off in the tank. Mm, it's 30 million. Really, uh, it goes up because I'm... Mm, I mean, I can kill yeah, it, I... but it is too long, I think. Unfortunately. Oh, I, oh, actually, no, Afflicted. Afflicted is going to kill me, I think. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's a bit fucked. I mean, yeah, we lose the time, right, even if you kill this. Yeah, we do. I guess we just go to Blackwood, then, huh? 
Yeah. Because, yeah, I, I'll just die. Let's, die. Let's go, Blackrock. Unfortunate. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Blackrock hold. Here we come. Dude, maybe I should play... Uh, I'm going to play Signet Brand on Blackrock, too. That's going to be good. All right. Uh, I'm not going to run that, though. No Signet Brand for me. And this should be relatively straightforward. I mean, shoot is a bit scary, but maybe focus the archers, I guess? I mean, we kind of made it last time, except he was sanguine. Yeah. No, it's bullshit. I, I think just focus the archers a bit, I think. Um, and get rid of that. Get, kill the cat, kill the archers. Because knife dance, it shouldn't be a problem unless unless we're bad, no? So I think um, that's that should be the plan. How hard can it be? And we can do the meld shit as well. We'll do the meld stuff on end boss. That should make that way easy, right? Yeah, I think like if we do the meld tank, just send rally, and we shouldn't need anything else. I mean, we should be. I mean, we shouldn't need puzzles. anything realistically because we're going to be. Well, yeah, but like it's still some damage. Yeah. So, and it's like, damage, it's but we'll be part. we'll be juiced up, right? We're going to be juiced. Yeah, but like it's like 400k or something yeah. with no mitigations. I mean, yeah, I guess we can. And we'd still lust first phase, of course, and press some fucking buttons for the Shadow Bolts. Shadow Bolt! Ready check. Yeah, we'll do the meld stuff, and that should hopefully smooth out the end boss transition so we can save more personals for the swarms. Because the swarms are not going to be fun, guys, okay? The swarms are not going to be good. Also, you want this um, at least rated. Uh, wait one sec. This me. Wait, what? Boom. Ah, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bolt. Yeah. Be very careful of the mini boss, guys. Try and prior the mini boss as hard as we possibly can, yeah? Because it will one shot yep. you. With, if it gets bolstered, it's just going to be a one shot uh, with the glaive. So we need to really make sure that she doesn't get bolstered as much as possible. It needs to be big prio on that. Big prio. That's just um, like the vehicle you just sent. That's like the timer, right? For the shadow. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Man, I'm really scared of the last pull, to be honest. Fuck, you know. That's not going to be fun. Mm. Maybe we do it in two. I think we look at the timer. If timer is really free, then we do it in two rather than uh, all in one. Maybe you also stand in a safe spot. Because it's. It's going to be. It's 12 mobs, so they're going to be doing 240% damage. It's not going to be nice. Ready check. All right. Ready check again. We can do that key though, guys, honestly. Like that 34, that's doable. It's fine. We just gotta get the good run. I mean, we can roll it again. We're just gonna get a 31 fall off this, and then we'll time the 31. Hmm. It's happening. And wouldn't it be cool to have a 31 timed? I think 31 at all is doable, I think. And maybe we just pop off and we plus plus this, and then we plus 33. I think we could do. Easy. 31 fall fortified as well. It's doable. Yeah. Yeah. On the giga push week, maybe. Yeah. With the yeah, we last week of the season is possible. Oh, I've been noticed here. Okay, ready check again. It is rated's key. Rated. Mage main. Snizzle going for Worgen mm. is a bit sus, to be honest. He's gone for it again. Oh, the second time. Yeah, he keeps this. doing it as well. Yeah, he does. Are Woof. You Yep. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Barked like a dog. Abindo is jumping up and down, but he's not ready. Are you ready? I'm thinking. He's plundering. He's thinking about what build to play. In plunder storm, yeah. Uh, or signet brand. Um. 
Signet Brand I'm, should be pretty good, I'm, I want to say. Yeah. You well. And you're losing it after the first boss, after the second boss as well. Yeah. And, and after the third boss, you're most likely losing it. Unless well, he'll he'll have boss. it. Um, he'll have probably 15 stacks on end boss, right? Well, yeah, on last boss. Yeah, yeah on yeah. last boss. Yeah. It's gonna pop up. He should he should have it for most of the bosses. I feel like. And the fights are going to be long as fuck, so it should get to a good chunk of stacks. Alright. Let's go pull 10. Here we go. It begins. Five, Bolstering. Four, it's still working. Three, two, one. It is going to be very important that we get the kicks and the stops, guys. The bolstered soul blade is going to be pain. Bolstered shoot. Bolstered knife dance. This is the time to press some buttons. I have kicked this one. Okay, it'll be my silence into my stun. Stun, and then my silence again. Kill the protector. No drop darkness here. Uh, it's Snizzle next. It's Vivi next. Okay, it's uh, Rated next. Oh, it's done again. Oh, nice. I kick this kick. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Finish retainers, we're gonna need a stun here. Actually, we don't, they're not gonna cast. All right, Giga Prioing uh, the mini boss, yes? Giga Prio, because that, we do not want to deal with that on bolstering, trust me. My stun. Uh, Vivi kick, caster next. Yep, Epic's behind. Yep, Vivi kick, a Bindo kick next. Uh, there's Protector. Uh, my Silence on Caster now. Good. We will actually move with the mini boss uh, a little bit so Abindo can keep his uh, stacks, right? Okay, bolstering, this is going to be a bit painful. Have fun. I kick next on caster. I'll stun the soul blade. We want to start shuffling with this too. So we can try and maintain stacks. Okay, I'm going to move now. She just did the frontal. Let's move. Uh, glaive toss and then run ahead. Just go ahead, guys. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. She's gonna do frontal. Yeah. Just, oh, just run. So. Just run, guys. Just run. Just run. Just run. Just run. It's fine. Just, just run. Just line of sight the glaive, and we'll just go immediately. Uh, getting a soul here as well, just in case. We're in combat now with this. Glaive toss oh, spread. I'm gonna pull the boss this side, other side than normal, guys. This side, this side. So the mini boss runs to me. Uh, watch frontal. Oh. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And now kill me. One fixes all. Yeah. And kill mini boss, guys. Kill mini boss. Uh, Avix went off. Kill mini boss quickly before frontal. I'll turn it. I'll turn it. I'll turn it. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Uh, weird frontal. I'll, I'll just tank in this vision, guys. I won't move. We'll just play here. Please don't grief me. Nice. Wait, what the fuck is this? It did what yeah, I did. I think it might have. Yeah, not... it did, but we lined the Yeah, it, it was lined. It was so behind the wall. Thing, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. the shit. No limit testing. Good. Bolstered shoot. It's on its way. Uh, kill the spider quickly, guys. If the spider gets bolstered, it will kill me. And I'll be sad. 
I was planning to nuke the Arcanist and then the Archers, actually. Well, that's fine, as long as the Spider dies and doesn't get overly bolstered. Double aff afflicted is up. I should have taken Signet Brand. I'm sad. Fifty percent is coming up. Gripping on one side. Hmm. I feel like we kind of worked against each other there. Unfortunate. Yeah, I mean... All stun. I was waiting for the grip. Alright, let's just get it. It's fine, we got it, we got it. Wow. That was a lot of damage. You didn't believe. Nope, I did not. <laughs> no limit testing. It's a bit goofy. We'll kill the small spiders and then move up. Okay, good news. We are 23 seconds ahead of our best 30 attempt. I'm doing something zany here. Yeah? What is it? I'm pulling these mobs. Yeah? So I can keep us clean. Oh, yeah? Yep. Mm. Pretty tense. Oh, actually. Uh, yeah, we'll kill small spiders, then we go up all the way. Yeah. yeah, you can hold, yeah. Hold CDs, kill small spiders, then we'll go up all the way. Understand now. You, you must find yeah, the second boss farmed us on full 30, unfortunately. We broke within seconds. It feels bad. I am ready for bolstered spinner. That's going to be the real content. Give me a speed boost. I'm going to I'm going to hit that spider there. Yeah. Okay. Invaders have got the passage to the crypts. Ilisana. Um, Bam. We have much to lose. Your father's life is to all. Oh. You need not worry. Ow. I will not. Kill the small ones. Bam. Men, the invaders come for us. I have 17 stacks. I will. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'll die. Spilling on cooldown. I'm ready to die. 21 stacks. Okay. When I get dispelled next, we move. Actually, no. We can start moving now. I have only one stack. We're good. Woo! Silencing again. Grip. Get rid of the ad. Nothing around. Spitter needs to die soon as well. Knife dance is in eight seconds. It's gonna be snizzle stun. Okay, and then oh, you got it. Oh. Apex. Arch. Look at the archer, guys. Look at the archer. Look at the archer. Next knife dance, okay, it's still leg sweep, we still have it, so we'll do that. Shoot. Legs, oh, uh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. it's yeah, immune. Yeah, we're stunning him. What the fuck? Okay, never mind then. Alright, we're good though, we're good. I'm not gonna chain these because I think, uh... Ah, bolstering the next pack with two mobs is maybe uh, not the play. No, imprison the, the cat. That's way better, here. Wait, why imprison the cat? Because that's that cat is fucked up. I mean, just nuke it. It's not gonna get bolstered. Yeah, 
Okay, first up is Shockwave on uh, Knife Dance. I'm gripping Shockwave. And then uh, next is going to be... Can we hodge this one, actually? Hodge this one. Next one, hodge, go. It's done, man. Okay. Never mind, then. I'll grip again for Archer. It's Barrage. I have a stop for Knife Dance. Okay, next Knife Dance is in four seconds. Uh, do we have anything? I have a Fear. I'll Fear it. Yeah. Should get it. Okay. All right, kill them before they cast again. No more Knife Dances. And they should both die. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Easy Fear. Wait, it's undead. Yeah, yeah, but they, they're they not immune for some reason. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll always forget. Uh, misery is not a fear, right? It's misery is a or, or something. No, it's a different type of fear. Well, yeah, it's because they don't run away. I saw. Do we? Never mind. First knife dance Let's is. Uh, it's. Hmm. It's my stun. Got it. Uh, I don't have a grip for a while. I can grip in five seconds. Silence. And then grip. Uh, let's go Hodge next uh, knife dance. Hodge go. Uh, I'm just going to start spamming some stops for the these. Oh, nice. I got it. Dude, that was actually insane. I got both of them. That's actually insane. Gaming. Try and just Good. stun them. Try and stun these if you sit or line aside them or whatever. Do what we got to do. Okay. I have no grip for a while. Gripping now. I should get the knife dance too. Uh, I don't have anything for that. Next knife dance is Vivi Disorientate, I think. Hmm. I, I can move to this one, but I can't grip the other one in. Maybe if we line of sight it, we'll run around. Yeah. Okay, Disorientate. Go. And then Shockwave is next. Shockwave, go. Or Ring, that will do too. Uh, it's Blinding Light next. Okay, they're going to start to die. We need... Yeah, we got it. Uh, I wasted my grip. That's, yeah, no, yeah, I can, uh, I can move over. I have no grip for ages, so... Oh, nice. No, so actually, move closer. It's convenient. Bolstered Shoot. Kill that one. Alright, and then finish this. Actually, very clean. Nice. We love to see it. All right, we want to preserve Abindo's stacks here, guys. So we're going to pull a lot. Of, we're going to kill the archers, and then we're going to go boss with the big guy. Wait. Why oh. does Abindo deserve that? Well, we always do this, but, you know, it's an extra priority because he's signet branding. Mm. Yeah. I don't respect... I've never heard the same of like Yeah. I yeah, don't yeah, respect yeah. casters. That's, look, that's what's going on here. Yeah, I admit it. It's afflicted. Um. Okay, get rid of this last archer, and we're just gonna run. We're, we're not doing any fucking bullshit where we like run, hit him while running. We're just running. Okay, and we are running now. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Um. All right, is everyone here? I'm going to wait for it. Rated a bit. Everyone's here. Three, two, one. We will bury okay, it's lost. Watch the frontal on this guy still. You cannot escape. Yeah, that's Frusak. He's something. Okay, hello. I need something for this. Yeah, uh, get a bubble up with you afterwards. You have a bubble up with Trash dies. Oh, never mind. Oh, no, I... he's, he's bobbed. He's fine. Yeah. Affix. I dropped. You gotta do one more glaive, I think. I oh, know, no mind. We're good. Oh, stay. I will burn you alive. Watch these. These are gonna hit very hard. Next kick is uh, Snizzle on Arcanist. 
Oh, no. Okay. I'm stopping That's him. That's perfect. It's I'm silencing. I'm silencing. It's on. Hang on. They get aggro on this shit. Dude, the fire is in a bit of an awkward spot. Hang on. Silencing again. Holy. Wait, what the uh, fuck was that? Nice crib, dude. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't think it can cast from there. I think it's fine. Yeah, it's line of sight, dude. Is no, it? I'm getting lost. It's what? <laughs> the fuck? Uh, I can, yeah. can I grip it up again? What is this? Uh, well, yeah, we don't have... What? Like, uh... Hmm. We have now. Nah. Okay, we can just... Hmm. Are you fucking serious? Judgment day. <laughs> That's actually insane. How is that even possible? I uh, Can we time this? Right yeah. uh, you should just play regardless, to be honest. I mean, yeah. Like, see how the balls think back after this boss is. That was actually going so well, too. That's insane. We he just got completely outplayed by a random bug. I like that. That's good. Why is Vivi so far behind? Um, He's a snail. He's a snail. Wheelchair. All right. I pull. I think we still. I think it's honestly still timeable. It's still timeable. Because everything has been so clean so far. I need something for the first. Need something I'll again. Do this time. Oh yeah, I don't have to pop this time. Well, I mean, I guess we'll have it at. Oh, well, it's three minutes. Guards, hold them off. I will burn you alive. Three. Oh. I'm silencing again. First kick's gonna be me after silence wears off. My kick. Next kick is Vivi. Next is gonna be a window. Window. Snizzle next. And then it's dead. The hunt you cannot escape. You cannot escape. I need something. No, uh, double affix, double affix. He's cocooned. You cannot escape. Oh, oh that's I am fucking... Yeah. That's a lot un unideal. <laughs> well, goodbye. Oh what see on that's costing nothing. We have CR. Yeah. Resin. It's one more. Well, actually, we have to live a lot longer, don't we? Actually, it's double affix it's coming up. Second next. Yep. I need a shield for this or something. I don't know. Yeah, just Bob this time. Bob. It's the last one as well. I mean, last one on this intermission. I should just let that kill rated. 
Wait, what is it doing? Fix. Yeah? Okay. Oh, the beam is on me, actually. The fuck? Wait. Oh, enjoy. <laughs> Next gig is rated on ad, if possible. Uh -huh. My kick. He's dead. Finish the boss. Ah, it's actually still timeable, guys. It's still. Able. It's still. Able. But the, uh, oh, I can move after the front song. It's still timeable. The next trash has to be good, which is a bit scary, but how hard can it be? Okay, this has to be good, and we can still time it. All right, the fun begins. Don't hit that. Didn't hit it much. I'm gonna hit the uh, blade lord. Rip. Okay. My stun is first. I wake for you. No money. I wake first. Right? My stun is next. And there it is, my fear. Snizzle next. And then my fear again. My grip. Uh, shockwave next, shockwave go. And then blinding light next. Okay, I need to start running at this point. Yeah, I like the ring there, that's big. Just try and blast them, I've got nothing. Just spam everything you've got, guys. I need to run, I'm running. One's yeah. going off. Uh, I have a grip gripping them. I think I can. Going off as well. It's uh, been no guys. I stun, I stun, I stun, I stun. Ball string's wearing off. It's, worse yeah, uh, yeah. Be it's on me, it's, on, it's, like, it's on me, it's on me, it's on me, it's on me. Okay, we're, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. Oh, nice, I got uh, fixed up. Okay, that's good. Uh, careful with these again, guys, yeah? Don't uh, go crazy. Okay. Oh, hang on, I need to set up this. Fucking cancer. Okay, should be good now. I'm gonna have to run again on these, so watch out. Yeah, I think it's behind. Uh, first wake. is, sh oh, yeah, wait, yeah, wake and then shockwave next. My stun next. Let's see if that even works. Stun, it worked. Okay, disorientate next. So it's uh, dragon's breath next. Yeah, dragon's breath. Drag uh, okay, and then Dragon's Breath now. Okay, I need to run. I'm running, I'm running. Oh, I cheated. It's fine, that's fine. Right, fine. I just need to run. I uh, just send some fucking Ooh. random shit, guys. Send some random shit. Yeah, yeah. Right. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Yeah, I can re-engage pretty soon. Actually, can I? I'm not sure about that. Really. I recommend okay. not doing Don't. that. Don't. Okay, <laughs> okay, let's go. We're, we're still good, guys. We're still good. We're still good. We're still good. We got this. We got this. This boss is clean, the next trash is clean, it's playable. Hmm. We have a lust. Do we want to use it? No, because we need it for the first phase of last boss, don't we? So we don't. Uh, that kind of sucks. That's I mean, might as well just right lost these guys. Invis? Like, it's an additional lust. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, gonna... we, we need we need it for the first phase, no? Yeah, 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 I guess. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's... It will be up by then. Right, no, definitely no, not. Definitely Look at timer. Not. Pulling? No. no. I like your sight. Yeah, fix this. Uh, 
I'm getting green. Okay, we want to pull these onto boss pretty aggressively, I think, if we want to make this work. Okay, not anymore, we don't. Okay, it's uh, I'm next green, Snizzle next purple. And then a Bindo green rated purple. We can go when I have a cooldown, which is in like 10 seconds. And then a Bindo gets this one. Alright, hang on. I'm gonna start moving. So I'm back me, uh, if possible, Vivi get green and then Snizzle get the, uh, the yeah, other one. Yeah. I soak. Good. Finish off the trash. Oh, I live with this. Easy. Uh, get the lines right. Lines are relevant here. This is a bindo soak. Next is Vivi Soak. Vivi Soak. Soak. Not even close. This is a window soak. Affix is up. Uh, it's okay, we can... We should start to move. I'm just gonna move across. This is uh, Vivi Soak. Vivi Soak. Yep. I have a line. It's maybe a bit... Uh, just try and drop it as best you can. Yeah, we're, we're okay. So. Uh, I have one I need to move a little bit here. I'm next Soak. I soak. I'm gonna turn to the gate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. I should. I'm blocking. So. Gotcha. Window soak. I will just cross here. Oh boy. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's fucked up. Uh, okay. I mean, some of them should be despawning, so. Yeah, these ones I got despawned. Yeah. It's my soak. I have a line. Oh, it's on you. It's on you, yeah. You just take it. Uh, we kind of want to stun. Wait, let's move into some of the space over here. Yeah, these are despawning. I have a line I need to move. I'm over here, so. It's my soak. Oh! I wasn't close. Kill. Alright, we're gonna have to do some serious fucking Hail Mary shit. We gotta do it all. 
We have to do all of it. Let's let's have fun here. Let's go. Don't hit these. Wake when they're in the yeah, room. Yeah, they're not here yet. Wake. I grip. And Bat is dying. I got stunned. I'm dead. Are you f dead? <sighs> well, I mean. That's actually insane. The swirly. I was just barely on the edge of the swirly. That's unfortunate. I have most of them. Yeah, I'm building. Uh, Obino's not there, by the way. This is about to get a bit spooky. Ah, uh, big CD. Yeah, I can live. Epics in the group. Oh. I need. I need to run away soon. I think. This is a runaway moment now. Right outside. Yeah, fix. I'm out. Blipong. Bolstering. Yeah, bolstering's not ideal. This is an incredibly tragic run. We were so unbelievably far ahead, actually, on second boss. It was that. In fact, we were so far ahead that we were only a minute and thirty behind on uh, there. Hmm. Definitely a little bit unfortunate. Sigil of chains. Yeah, I mean, I, I have to say I got outplayed there. I wasn't expecting it to pull it the off the wall, you know? I didn't see that yeah. one coming. And then it also wouldn't line of sight, and it would just keep casting anyway. Like, that's like the double meme, you know? It, like, I, wait. Yeah. Okay. Need to wait Finish for him in there. there. Yeah. Where is he? He's, I don't know, he's non-verbal event, AFK. Hmm. Unfortunate. Yeah, I've never seen that, uh, that bug. Yeah. Not even during Legion. I haven't seen that one before. I like that you know, I, I I've never seen that in all the black rooks we've ever done. That's crazy. Hmm. I mean Legion dungeons so though. We're doing the debugging, now. guys. We are debugging big time. I feel like <laughs> Legion dungeons are the most bugged. Even like, you know, uh... for example, um like what is before Legion, but I feel like I mean, I mean, at least Everbloom doesn't have that many bugs. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, Ever compared to like fucking DHT, Black Rook Hold, and Nephron's Lair last season, like, these are the way more bugs. 
What's going on, Jester? Wait, Frosty is breaking. What's going on? Break. Ah, he's moving. Very good. I like that the uh, Arcane Blitz from the castle that could get as a 1.6 million overkill. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it killed me through cheat death. I didn't even cheat, so... That's <laughs> yeah. uh, a snizzle. Pretty insane damage. <laughs> Just fucking blast it. Yeah. yeah. Holy Vivi, you've got even... Like, you have 2.4 million overkill. All right. We lost on, on pull. What? We nuke. On the Arcane Blitz. Oh, yeah. Obendo 3.4. <laughs> Alright. I'm going in. You shall never have our world. I took one of the first bolts. It's pretty good. Blade is on me. I'm bending it towards the edge. Moving. Second blade. Blade on me. First one. Is... Yeah, we're good. Oh. We yeah, are uh, good. Yeah. Right, meld technology. I only uh, use rally pretty much. Be enough. So what's the timing? Yeah, I can call. I can call. Yeah. Do I taunt? So yeah, you first? taunt and then, and then I meld. First. Yeah, then I meld. Yeah. Snizzle taunt, but meld, keep a taunt, snizzle meld, yeah, it should be good. good. Yep. Easy. Swarm. I can block it. Ah, nice. nice. Okay. It's huge. I should have stayed in block longer. Ah, <laughs> I actually can't believe that we got bogged to that degree. <laughs> that's crazy. I think that's our first genuine bog. Yeah, I haven't seen anything quite like that before. Ethics. Kill the swarm. Nice. I need to live a little bit longer. Okay. Enjoy. I saw darkness, so I'll use it on a dangerous swarm. Ethics. You can uh, spam barrier, by the way, because it's... Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna... I was saving yeah. it for that thing. Swarm. Well, I mean, your personal barrier as well. Yeah. No. <laughs> so I'm not spamming it, I'm dead. Kill it on the next burn. Let's go. How long is this boss fight? It's gonna be... Is it gonna be less than five minutes? I think it probably is. Hmm. That's good information to know. There's a sleep on the boss, be careful. Something do. Break him out. Destroy. I have. Oh, I can barely get my fucking shit. Through. Yeah, touch of death is really good, yeah. Kill the thing. Hmm. 
Oh, I'll darkness you. Oh. Enjoy. Surely it pops off. Yeah. No. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. That's, uh, yes, yeah. Mage special. I fix. I divine shot this one. Yes. Oh, we can kill it. Yeah, we should be able to kill you. Go! Yeah, we're good. Uh, four minutes. Actually, very quick. Interesting. Oh, dark yeah. art. Dark art bullshit. Yeah, we lost about four minutes to. Uh, yeah, we did. The meme. Yeah, we so got like, fucking owned. And no, no, I was five, five twenty, five twenty. Yeah. A bit more than that. I guess we kind of lost to bullshit as well at the end. I mean, we lost to this. 10% damage and then you didn't pre-stack. I mean, it's very good, I think. O on any boss fight that goes even a little bit long, it's pretty insane. Yeah. Giga pops off, like, after, like, four yeah. minutes. That's a bit tragic. Um, okay, I guess, do we want to go, go, do, go do the Dark Art? Can we do Dark Art 29? That's actually a bit fucked up, isn't it? But we'll see. Thing. Oh, wait. I have a good route for you. Oh, yeah? Look at this one. Yeah, we're not doing this, by the way, but... I'm ready. Uh, hello? Org root. <laughs> hmm. It's like the the, the route the uh, Chinese are doing. Oh shit. It's insanely oh, zaced. Dude, pull 4 is zaced. Pull 4 is incredibly zaced. So wait, do they... Yep. Yeah, okay. Pull wait, it somehow seven don't pull the zaced. keeper. I guess they... they CC. It's cageable. Sleepwalk and... Uh... Yeah. Oh. Other memes. Yeah, it's cageable, so probably that. Yep. Augmentation also, of. Pool 9 is interesting. But pool 7 is <laughs> giga zaced. <laughs> it is, yeah. They kill the slimes. I mean, great. Instant, yeah. Instantly run with the elemental on top of the dragon. Hmm. If you live that with Aug, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, like, I guess it, the elemental does nothing, though, right? If, um, yep. if you play it correctly, it just hits the tank, so it's not a problem. Yeah. I mean, also there are no cats in this uh, road, if you've noticed. Zero cat. Yeah. Uh, so I, I think, well, what, what are we doing? Are we doing Dark Art 29? Or, wait, what else do we have? We ha we actually have a 29 fall. Um, but we don't really need that, do we? No, not really. Uh, do you need the ring? Uh, oh. Same ring, but with the socket. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's 29 Dark Art. Here we go. It's time. Three rating for us, guys. I'm excited. Wait, did I finish the quest? Have I timed four keys this week? I'm going to check if I finished the quest. Did we? Not, I don't no, know. I think it's three. Oh, okay. I think, I don't yeah. know then. It's over. Maybe I can get pips, you know. Oh, yeah. Mm. Well, and you get pips on the Mythic Reekler. Boom. You get pips. Sure. I get the Thorncaller Claw. And it, I got the same worthless item on all my ults, which is like um, <laughs> the, the um, you know, the belts. One of the belts, at least. Wow. Here we go. I'm out of range. Uh, Are we doing dark art or? I don't think so. Yeah, it's it's either dark art or level up the fall and try and roll another thirty black rook, or do the atal. I guess if we want to mix it up a little bit, do an atal instead and level that up. I'm down for anything. Wait, hang on. What is there any key that um, uh, rated in the sense of what key do you need on on trying to uh, thrones and everbloom? Oh. Yep. Dude, everbloom this week is fucking cancer. Oh my god. <laughs> Bolstering Everbloom. Yeah, let's uh, let's maybe leave that for the next tyrannical week, which is push week. So that's the uh, that's the good news, I guess. But yeah, let's uh, I'm not too worried about Everbloom this week. That's barely so playable. Up, so. We need to mega prio the bear here as well at the start. Otherwise, it will it will kill us. The bear will Pretty end. Sure, it just dies. Yeah, it should so. do. Yeah, it shouldn't be too much of a problem, I think. Yeah. I think this is. Is this timeable? 
Yeah, I think we're more at risk of dying than not timing. The first boss. Yeah, first boss is very scary on this. That is for sure. We have lost many keys to the arch dude. Yeah. We need to handle the adds extremely well. I think that's... I mean, on our 29 Fortified, I feel like our ad management was incredibly cursed. But we just... We got through it because it wasn't tyrannical. Wait, was it? Yeah, it was I just cursed got as fuck. I got like four ad spawns on me. Yeah, and we... That means that everyone was covered in shit. It was terrible. The disaster. Well... Man, it sucks we didn't get that black rook. Like, well, I know not to chain the mob off the edge now, though. That's the, the good news. Now we know. For first boss. Uh, uh, you can get the toy. There's, a, like, a toy thing. You can just check, yeah. Yeah, there's, like, no, one... No, you can't, you can't use that. Wait, what do they fix it? In, uh... They remove you mean it. this one, right? The worn doll, it's called. Oh. I thought you yeah. Meant. Yeah. There's a like a thing you can oh. use. Like, and let me. No. Nah, 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 nah. And let me. Let me get it. This. Look. Here you go. Oh wait. Oh, Bindo's gone. No mind. Oh. I'm also yeah. checking. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll show you. Boom. There you go. Look. You put it down, and then after a while, it like aggro's on you, and you can attack it. I think. Not in combat, so. Or well, maybe not. I don't know. Oh no, yeah, there you okay. go, yeah, 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 I'm in combat, yeah, I'm in combat with it. Yeah, you can just AOE it and hit it, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, that's only useful for a window then. Yep. Yeah. Also, it's a 20 minute cooldown, so, yeah, it's over. It's called the Worn Doll, it's from somewhere in... Where is it? I think it's from Legion, actually, I'm not sure. It doesn't say, actually. All right, hang on a minute, I'm, I'm coming, I'm, I'll be right back. Break. Where are you going? Uh, if, you, if you want to join us in the prequest, uh, now you can. Still. Yeah. Oh, uh, hello, Teapot. Uh, Frosty, do you want to tell us what, what happened to us? <laughs> Wait, what, what happened? You mean the perfect Yeti hide incident? The, the perfect Yeti hide incident. So, that thing doesn't drop unless you have the Yeti hide quest, I'm pretty sure. Huh, interesting. And uh, I, I just made that connection right now, and uh, we've been there two hours. Yeah. You shouldn't have to. Almost all 750 XP. Hmm. We also had a park with us. Oh, yeah, like and the Yeti, yeah, the Yeti hide is 750 XP. Well, it's less than that, actually. So, yeah. That's what we. And, and we cast lit a park into thinking that's a very important pre quest. It's like the glue that holds the old hmm. like, pre quest list together. Yeah. That, I mean, that's unfortunate. Well, you did it. Just the... That is definitely yeah, a problem. problem. Well, yeah, I'll be. Uh... Do you want to join us? We're gonna um, do it. I can. No, uh, I, I can join in a bit. Yeah, I need to. I'm finishing off these keys, and I got to eat something that I can play. I can play all night. Yeah, don't worry. We're, we're not doing it right away. You, you'll get to join for it right oh, in yeah. time. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah I'll, uh, I'll be around. <laughs> oh, but, yeah, but like Frosty was like. I'm back. Let's go. Yeah. Ready, check. It's the uh, one of the rares in. Uh... Wait. Yeah. It's I'm a gonna. Rare. It's a rare mob. Fly over to the rare. Wait, no, 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 oh my god, let's just play the game, guys, holy shit. It's time. We are not going to deplete and not brand. having Signet Brand, no, please, I beg oh, you, don't leave the key. Oh my god, he left the key. I'm already outside. Jesus Christ. I can't believe you've done uh, this. Signet Brand is probably over the oh key. Oh my god. It's like on this hill somewhere. It's over. I think it's here? It's completely over. I think it's this guy. Mm. Yep, stairs. You got it. Big? Big. I got us all.
Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can attack it. Yeah, yeah, you might AoE it and then it puts you in combat. Yeah, just AoE. Yep. Alright, ready check. Let's die to the first boss. What's the plan after this key, actually? Full 10. Actually, um, am I on the right build? Might be a sleep angle. I'm on the right build. Pull 10. Let's do our best. Yeah, because it is pretty late, actually. I'm also pretty hungry. It's rated key. It's pretty late. Four, yeah. three, two, one. Go. Send. Honestly, we just pop off and it's free win. Book. Eh. Already up. Me silence. Oh my god, I still have fucking ice block. There's no way. Rated never checks his builds. Pretty good on this dungeon. Honestly. No. <laughs> well, he's like on the first boss. Oh. Kill the bear, kill the bear, okay. kill the bear. Okay, he needs to also die before the next roll. Last boss. Kill it before the yeah, next roll. Epix as well. That's the thing. Kill this shit. I'm zoning out. Right, kill, the no cat, kill the cat, kill the cat, kill the cat. Cat's all. He's gonna kill. Yeah. That's a instant death, though. Those who challenge me only speed themselves to Kick these. Death. So says the shadow of Zadius. Surely I can change it. Sans. I'll stop next. Boom. Kicks on these. I have silence for next. Sounds in there. Pushing charges. Casters, we can chain these ones. Chaining. If the cats die fast here, we can do this next pack as well. Hang on. I'm waiting for a silence and I'll go. Oh. Nice. I got stunned and died. Unlucky. Gripping. Silence. And the cat goes up in two, in one. Okay. This one is Dude, going. These ones are well. fucking big. Enjoy your poison. Oh my Hello. god! Oh, tank, bro. Oh. Kick that shit. Okay, well, we're good. Bolstered despair was pain. Kill the cat. Silence. Try and stun the cat now. If you have a stun, use it. Immune. Don't let it go off. It's dead. I think sorry, did the poison the spell. these cats. I don't really have any don't really have any of this right now. Silencing. 
Uh, wait, what, what, what pulled that? Oh. That was probably me. I was just avoiding the uh, star meme or suffix. Uh, this is this is cursed, by the way. That's a lot of cats. Yeah. All cat out. Nice. I'm in pain. I think we're all in pain right now. Kill the cats. One's gonna go off. Good luck, boys. Okay. I can jump through the fucking ring. I'm out of range. Uh, we can just do the patrol instead. Me silence. Ads are very high prior on this boss, guys. They must be farmed. All right, let's go. Onwards. Ah, I'm through. Unlucky. We're going in. All right, be good with space, focus ads, and we win. I'm gonna start there. So. Pulling. Defilers. So it is you who have befouled these woods with a nightmare. Leap. Frontal. It's leap and ads. Ads. I mean, yeah, Gripping. after the leap, you can go back to melee range, so they spawn in melee. melee. Something. I stun the ants. Frontal's next. It's gonna be leap and then ants. Pumping ads. Should be good. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Just just pump the answer. Hopefully. Watch leap, watch leap. Okay. From you. Uh, I'm gripping that one back in. There you go. Kill it, kill it. Frontal. Gonna move a bit. I'll move. Watch my character. Watch out, watch out. It's leap next. Uh, that ad is far. I, I don't have a. I do have a grip, but it's out of range. I'll try and get them now. I'm getting them. And then try and stun them if we can. I have a stun. It's gonna be ads next. I need to move here. There's no leap for a watch frontal, guys. Watch frontal here. Frontal. Okay. I'm gonna move back. I'm moving a little bit so we can save space. Oh, oh. Don't move like that. Uh, I, mm, I can grip them towards boss. Pulling. I need something. This, bro. Leap. We have ads. I, I can move after the tank frontal. I can't move until af afterwards. Okay, let's move into some fresh space. Uh, they're both there. I'm going to not use a grip here. We just stun these. Oh, Vivi's dead. Vivi's dead. You need to see all that. The ad just fucking put me for like. Stunning, seconds. stunning, stunning. Gotta kill the ad. It's frontal and then more ads. Kinda wanna stay here for a little bit. Uh, gripping ads in. Pump them. I'll cross after the next tank frontal. We'll go to the other side. Basically, where rated's at. Okay, it's going to be ads and then tank frontal, then I'm going to move. Okay, we need to move now. Uh, I'm going to try, I'll, I'll wait for the leap before moving. It's going to leap, then I'll move. Okay, moving.
Epix. Stun the ad. Tank frontals next. Are you good? We have room here. I want to move a little bit. Watch my character. Watch my character. Uh, I can grip that out in a sec. Okay, I'm going to grip them both together. Then I stun. Need something again. Never mind, actually. It's going to be tank frontal. Need to finish the boss here. Uh, I have a grip. Gripping you. behind the boss. There's Affix. Just try and nuke the boss. I'll just spam stop something. Kill the boss. Alright. Oh, it's playable. That's, uh, yeah. yeah, that was a bit cursed, but we got there. <laughs> Hang on, I need to wait for the dryad. Caging it. For your true power what? rests in the light. Uh, I think it's okay. It's okay. No, it's not, I'm not oh. in combat with it. I'm not in combat with it. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Okay, now what? They need to... Yeah. Yeah, I guess we trained them. I got him. I got him. Okay. Yeah. The other dryad? Yeah. It's done. I need I need to wait for the these to rotate or she'll do the thing and we're gonna get fucked. I am in the snap spot. I'll grip the dryad in. Okay, I think we're good. We're good, we're good. Yeah. We're good. Oh no, that pulled that pulled the keeper. Wait, what? Okay, that's not good. Need to kill the keeper. Do I lost this? Uh, no. Uh, what killed me? First? Okay. Oh, the shroom. Fucking spawn log. Uh, the dryad in the back is also... Yeah, this is, this is bad. That's weird, because, yeah... Over there. I mean, Plater just... Plater showed me as not in combat, but... I guess it was wrong. Plater lied to me. I mean, do you not have a combat timer? I do, but I, well, I guess I didn't look at it. Well, I was in combat from the <laughs> plants, but um, I was in combat anyway because of the plants. But, I, oh, yeah, well, it's fucked. Unlucky. God damn it! I think it was fine, but what pulled is that um, maybe the blossom was too close to the, the, the uh, keeper? No, it's no, no, no. Like, the way it works is if my plater doesn't go red, it means the dryad is fine. Um, and plater was not red. I guess it wasn't. It was a bit scuffed. Well, that's unfortunate. Do we want to do one more key before bed? Or what? Just do the Atal or yeah, something? Just, yeah, let's just do the Atal. Something else. Let's do the Atal. I want to do the, uh, yeah. yeah. I want to see the the tech, actually. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's go Atal. Yeah. No, I no, th that was... Um, I do know how to do it every time. It's just that, that just it didn't work out well. Like, uh, something went weird at the start. Defilers. At least we beat the first boss, though. Like that's you know that that boss went pretty smoothly. Yeah. Actually, that went well, I think. That was the gatekeeper before this. Yeah, it was. We have passed the gatekeeper. Again, Did you so see uh, Yoda's route on uh, at the other No, what is it? Uh, it's this. Crank. And that's pretty similar to what we do. I don't know. It's uh, it's on Ford, by the way. They did this yeah. last week, so. Yeah, I mean, I this is what I would. This... Optimally, this is what I would want to do. Yeah. Basically. Well, um, Paul two is uh, where things get a little bit zany. Yeah. They just pull everything back to the start, and then they just like there's a safe spot there. Yeah. On a flagpole. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I guess that, yeah, that's not the same thing, but it's the same kind of pulls that I'd want to do for sure. Get in this Atal. Yeah, the pulls are the same, but, uh, 
the order is different, I think. Like they stand on that spot right there. Get in here. All right, surely we don't deplete this. That would be crazy. It's the big bro. It's... I'm ready to deplete. Do you want to go Razan first, actually? Because it's um tyrannical. Maybe Razan first. It is Someone. bolstering, though, so we also want to delete the other trash bag. Yeah, but we don't want to... We're not going to pull it big anyway. We're not going to do all of it in two, one pull, are we? Summon. <laughs> Wait. Summon. Wait, how, are we not summoning yet? I'm on my way. We didn't. I'm coming to help. I'm moving in. It's too far. Let's do it. Get in here. It's time. Get in here. I need to get closer. Go to Razan. I'll pull the swords onto Razan. We'll lust that. And then go uh, priestess afterwards. We'll do the same thing as we always do, right? We'll kill the first ad and then. We'll do paralysis, then miseries. You getting in here, rated? Are you coming in today or tomorrow, bro? He actually went AFK. It's over. Is he actually AFK? I guess so. He's back. So let's go. Get in here, bro. I'm here. Surely we're not going to die to a spider. That would be kind of crazy, wouldn't it? If we just died to a fucking spider. Wait, are we doing anything different? Are we doing nope. Razan? We'll go Razan first, yeah. Razan first with Lust. I'll pull swords onto it, just as we normally do. Can you also pull that back a little bit closer to uh, the spot there? Yes. You know, so I can stand on the ledge. Also, uh, this back. You know, I can yeah, stand there. Yeah, I can pull them. I can run ahead and pull them back, yeah. yeah pull okay. 10! Here we go. Using the fish, I see. You're going Five, for the ninja, though. He four, wants to farm the ninja. Three, He's not getting it. Two, one. Deploy the key. Deplete. Oh shit, I'm on the wrong spec. Yeah? He's on, oh, on, okay. on Windwalker. I guess we, we're too tanking this. I'm okay. He's Brewmaster. He doesn't have the spell. We can just jump down. Let's bug the swords. Yep, let's do it yep, immediately. Let's you jump in the thing. Yep. It's immediately grief. We're going here. I'll drop darkness. Four, three, two, one. I got feared. The it's over. Uh, bearers? It's over. Because I'm a demon. I'm too. I'm huge. The demon massive hitbox fucks it. Yeah. Razan is the dumbest boss ever. It is literally fucking harder and fortified than it is in Tyrannical, and I hate it. it doesn't make any sense. Oh, it's, uh, it's fortified is harder. It's unhinged. It does nothing on Tyrannical. Four, three, two, one. I can meld. Any melders? Epics. Four, three, two, 
One. So I got fit again. Holy the... shit. There's a raptor. I was a little too greedy. I was limit testing. It's used on me. Fucking hell. Goodbye. Yeah, this is gonna be up a million raptors uh, now. This is not the way I want to get some raptors. Yeah, there's gonna be a couple. Ah, but this is all part of my plan. We will now pull the two screamers on the next pursuit. Uh huh. Uh huh. Dude, it's Dale. It's too hard. Four, three. Uh, there's another raptor. Maybe we don't pull them just yet. Actually, maybe we do, though. I'm running. I am going to pull them. Yeah, you look. Uh, I've done it. I pulled them. A little bit testing. I'm just going to pull the boss back to here. Let's let it come back. Do a bit of AoE here, because this is going to be pain. Oh, I'm yep. not there. I'm dead. Three, two, one. If this is a... Don't uh, invis this. Sounds. Should be okay. Four, three, Wait, oh no, four, one of the what? fucking ads went off. One. one of the ads went off, guys. Uh, kill I'm them, sorry. kill them, and just run and kite. Yeah. I have boss, I have boss. It's fucking cursed. Oh, fix and touch. Quite what we were looking for, but it worked out. I just got feared before the fear went off. So what the hell's going on here? Let's go. Rizan was a powerful lord. Perhaps you will make a worthy sacrifice for Do this stuff. Protect the priestess. Let no one Big damage. Through. Silence. Focus on uh, Confessor. Oh, they have more. Stop. I like we instantly immune them. Oh, yeah. Would that really be. Would it really be us if we didn't make every mob immediately stun immune? I feel like it wouldn't even be a real run. Focus the high health stuff. Like a little bit. Bolstering. Are you pulling these two? You are, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, then I'm just gonna run to the spot. Hold them. Yep, that's it. I silence. Yep. That's not answer. Okay. The Colossus is going to be pain. Let's just put it like that. It, this is not going to yeah. be fun. Whoa. What's nah. Up? What's I can't up? cast. You need to stand a little bit uh, okay. towards me. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll shuffle. Shuffle. Oh, that pulled. Okay. It, oh, the fucking totem pulled it. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Let's do that. Hey, can you cast now? Oh, my God. Bro. Bro, mm. how does this not work? Wait, mm. I'm gonna check off thing. Get the bomb sandies. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, I need to move now. Ah, oh, fucking meme. Oh dear. Hmm. Oh, fuck you. Bolstering.
Did the mob dispelled. Confessor's down. We need to kill this Juggernaut, or the Colossus rather. It's gonna just start one-shotting people. I'm gonna start dying now. Jesus. I'm fucking healer DPS over here. Hmm. He actually is. He's literally lower than healer DPS. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I missed the full combust and just standing there do nothing. No. Oh. The technology did not work. No. <laughs> this is coming down. Thanks, call me. Uh, gonna have to silence. Replace. Yeah. I can, well, actually, maybe that one's okay. It's okay now. I'll just stay here. My science now. I stoned. Converter dies. Full string activates. I think time is still perfectly fine. Yeah, it's good. Nice. Man, we need this on a 30, don't we? This would be a very free 30 to time. We can farm it off that fall. Yeah, that's pretty unhinged, Snap. Jesus. I'm out okay, here we are. On. Wait a bit. Me grip. Silence. Okay, these fuckers. <laughs> How's he going with the technology? How's the tech going, bro? Going well? No. Rip. Silence. It's my stun next. I guess there's nothing to stop anymore. Might need to run here. Yeah, I'm gonna run a bit. I'm baiting. GG. Oh, there's an auger. Kick him, kick him, kick him. Hmm. Eston's on next kick. Uh, I silence him, I silence him, I silence him. Not quite what we had in mind. I don't get this. I can kick him next. Spot. Listen, how many times do you have to go over this rated? Mage is too hard. It is far too hard. <laughs> no kick. Look, what do they next always spot. show? You know in those videos where they say, oh yeah, wow is way too hard? What rotation do they show? They show fucking arcane mage. Because it's too hard. It is too difficult. Yeah. Alright. Pulling, we kill first. Killing, gripping it on boss. Epics. Can we stop moving? Not oh, really. Blood. I am not the DPS. Surely it's fine. I'm moving out. Yeah. And this is paralysis. Paralysis. And blood coming up. Let's go. What? How the fuck did you get her? Oh. 
I stole the blood. Not both. Okay. That should be fine. Gripping. And then misery. Holy shit. Plus nearly you instantly orb. killed me. I also orbed, yeah. Blood. Oh my god. Wait. No, it's fine. I got it. I didn't see you there. Ethics. Ethics. Uh, grip. I can misery again. Can you pro uh, pro can you process the new one? Can you do the new one? Yeah, I can. Okay. Should be fine. Try to yeah, 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 I'll just move a bit. I'm moving. Move. Uh, oh, one of those three. I mean, boss just dies, I think. Yeah, but fine. Kill, 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 kill. Oh my g no, 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 no. That is fucking bad. We need to kill this, we need to kill it. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Yeah, it does now, it's fine now. Nice. Oh, that was, uh, we are all five, we just didn't have them, like, instantly. So, yeah. Yeah. That was a very cursed moment. Right away, we've got 34 okay, to gonna... five. Stand there. Surely it works this time. Bro, you're not gonna try a third time. He is going to be not even. Yeah, I don't even I'm know what DPS up. he's gonna be. He's gonna be like fucking beyond the healer DPS. Ethics. I am coming back, have no fear. Hang yeah, on. I'm too deep to come back. Bro. Hang on. Wait, I, uh, he, I, oh, he died instantly. <laughs> it's. Yeah, it's way too far. Well, yeah, but I have to gather the mobs first. Like, I'm coming back. I, you know, I, I yeah. yeah. I'm feared. That is not good. Okay, I have cheat, though, so I should live. Yeah. I cheat. Silence. Guys, come on. Help me out here, dude. I, I, oh, my God. Anyone kick. Anyone fucking kick, boys. What was that? Oh, I can't do everything. I cannot solo every kick. Have to pull everything now? Yeah. Well, we don't know. Um, this is really bad though, because we're fucked. Kill the the swords, then we move on. Wait. What? What is this? Where is everyone? I don't understand. What? What is this? Well, because we release on that. Well, you were still like doing the fucking. Back. Wait, no, I release as well then. I can just. Yeah, but like we released before you because we died during the fight. I can just aim this past. Mm -hmm. Oh my. We have double affix. Actually, can I fucking aim this past? No, we're coming to you anyway, it's fine. I'll just move over. Yeah, but I'm a bit... I'm safe, I guess. Oh. Uh, I need to pull this. Someone fucking kick that. I need to go. Okay. Silence. Honestly, time is still fine. This is a cursed ass run. Yeah, it should be. Cursed ass day, you mean? <laughs> yeah, I mean, in, yeah, 30 black root and 34 would have been nice to get. I've been 20 rating, actually. And juicy. That's fine, we're gonna reroll one of those from here anyway. Two out of eight chance. Snoots. The chat thinks the key is over. The chat's wrong, though. We have time. The list stuff, then we'll chain into next. Up 
fix. Sounds. Oh, this is actually very scary on bolstering. I'm afraid. Yeah. <laughs> Bolstered shield bash is not going to be fun. Grip. I silence next. Silencing now. Epics. We have a stun user on the shield bearers. I survived shield bash. Are we supposed to lost somewhere? Havix. I mean, yeah. Havix. Havix. I'm pretty sure you should have. Well, well I was. Yeah. Mind of signing me. Uh, we have to lust. We can't, we can't lust on this next boss. We have to lust Yasma. <laughs> so fucking bad. Me. It's like four lusts gone. Here we go. Meeple. You are there. You are mine. Double affix on star side. What's the jump? I'm gonna go help Moon. Next kick is gonna be a bindo. There we go. This is next kick at Bindo again. Uh. Just dispel yourself. Okay. And then there's a it. Get ready to kill. Here we can just go. Here we can kill. Yeah, let's go. Epics. Kill the boss. This is the most worthless tyrannical boss ever. We're fine. It's free. I've now called that, and now we will deplete.
you go. Let's go. Yeah, six minutes is free. Ish. Volcar is in pieces again. The HP? Yeah. The HP on these ones is pretty high. You haven't seen this one yet, bro. Like, this is going to have some serious health. It's like 180 million. This will take 15 years. Watch the spiders. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Pump. Have a grip. Grip. Spider in front of boss, I'm moving ahead of it. Moving, and then you guys go ahead. Double affix. Spider spawning on boss. Grip. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Oh, we see Sorry. are, we see are. I'll move in a moment. I'm going to move after our dice. Moving now. There's one spider ahead of us. It's trying to lure it in. It's baited. We need to move now. There's one ahead. We want to move past it, I think. Let's move past it. Let's go. So you have Soul Run coming up. We need to move. Go in the cubby, I think, again. In the side area. Gripping. Let's move. We move when the spiders move. Let's move. There's some spawning, be careful. There's one ahead, watch out. Watch out for the one ahead. We want to move now. Yeah, 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 I see, I see, I see. I'll move it. Okay, there you are. Probably go ahead again with this. Don't even go on the stairs. I need something for this. Yeah, I can take it. Affix There's one on. affix up. Yeah. I'm gripping ads back. Gripping ads. Affix. It's Minus one. Ah, oh, he's fucking spiked them. That's fine. Resum, resum, resum. Uh, what's this? Yeah, 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 that's tough um, to see. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to wait a bit, I think, to get him. Yeah. We wait until the spiders move, then we need to move. Let's move. Uh, maybe try and get him after the next soul rend, maybe? I mean, good go now. It's no, it's runs in three seconds. It's gonna be fucked, I think. Go ahead. Yeah. I'll I'll just run away. I'll run. I'll move boss. Move boss. Gripping. Trying get Vivi. I'll move after the ads. Okay, moving. We need to move a lot. Try and regroup here, guys. Cause I got a bit. Scuffed. Alright, get into this corner. Finish that ad, guys. That ad is still alive. Okay, it's dead. Get into this corner, and now we need to move now. We need to move, we need to move, we need to move. I'll let it run all the way over here to me. You guys can probably go in the cubby again, I think, for Sorrent. Yeah. Yeah, you can. I'll, I'll just grip. Watch the spiders on your way out there. Gripping. Yeah, get the fuck out. Now you run away. There's spawning on us, we gotta go. Watch the puddle here. 
This next soul run is going to be insanely cursed because the spiders have got a bit disrupted. Go ahead with them. Go ahead. I'll figure something yep. out. Uh, well, probably. Oh, okay. Oh boy, that. Uh, no, it's fine. You can. Oh, it's fine. I can. Yeah, it's fine. Like, yeah, uh, ring a piece I, as well. yeah, okay. I need. I need to run now. Oh. Yeah, this is fucked now. Okay, just kill. I think that adds yeah, kind of irrelevant, boss. even just kill the boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. Not even close. Nope. Not at all. Yeah. <laughs> it's Dark Heart again. That's actually cancer, to be honest. That sucks. Do we want to reroll anything else? Maybe. Do we want to reroll anything? Hmm. I guess reroll the other Dark Heart, I guess. It's yeah. only a 28 anyway. I mean, yeah, I was fucking paramount out there, by the way, so... It was a it was a very cursed key. Uh, the Everbloom? Oh, okay, I mean, that's, oh, that's something we can, we can try. We can attempt that, that's for sure. Alright, I think it is bedtime for now, is what that is. <laughs> oh, man, that was brutal. But anyway, yeah, we'll come back and send some more. We'll probably do the fall tomorrow as a warm up. Try and reel all that black rook. Oh, I think that's a key we really want to get is the black rook, and we know we can do it as well. We just need to. I mean, we lost like four minutes on the second boss there. Well, honestly, maybe even more than that. It was tragic because we lost an entire lust. That was a bit unfortunate, but. We'll come back and slam that tomorrow. Get some upgrades done. But anyway, that's it. I am out of here. Okay. Uh, all right. It's bedtime. Let's get some sleep. Recover. Come back tomorrow and not deplete. Oh, actually, yeah, I can see. I need to fucking check these safe spots. I'm getting this. Uh, I'm getting the rage chart. Here we go. I'm getting the rage chart right now. Here we go. It's going to happen. Tank a plus 30 spider as tank? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, probably not. Like, you will, you, it will own you. I think you could lift the spider, but the boss just kills you insta after yeah, that. Yeah, the, the spider is pain. Like okay, here we go. Meta, I think you could maybe tank it. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is it, here comes the raid chart. Oh my god, close. I got ashes. Ashes of the Ember Soul, there we go. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Not yeah, not exactly what we're looking for, but you know, it's it's close. Oh well. Not lucky. Right, I'm out of here, boys. Good night, lads. Tips. See you later. Good night. Wait, what do I? Oh man. Okay, right, guys. I'm done. I need to go eat something. It's food time, guys. It's food time. I am raiding Planix, guys. Raiding Planix right now. They're doing fucking WoW prequests. I'm gonna be joining up pretty soon. After I get some food, but I'm not going to stream that because I'm tired. I've been going for seven hours. I'm back tomorrow, guys. We're going to talk Guild Wars 3. We're going to do a variety of things, I guess, you know. You guys know the usual. You know, big content, big gameplay, big memes, big everything. But yeah, follow, subscribe, social media, Guild Wars 2, buy merch. That's it. I'm out. Say out of Plenix, guys. Take it easy.